maintain a high quality rugby right throughout the day. We extend this invitation to all the Candians to come up here and support the course initiated by Trinity College class of 99 and what better way than coming up here, turning up here at Bogambaro Stadium and support your team. First game due to start in, in any minute. Some of the familiar faces. And uh, I have with me in the comp box, long serving, highly respected rugby faithful and also a Candian, SW Chang. Very good morning. Uh, good morning, Lambika. Good morning, everyone. It's good to be back home at uh, the Boca Number Stadium. Fantastic idea, definitely. I mean, it's out of the box. I will go one step further. If the 99 batch can continue this and go a bit more further, if someone could organize the tennis side, it would be fantastic. But absolute fantastic idea. It's good to be here. And I had a chat with Kavi right when I was coming up here. And I asked him, Kavi, did you play in the 99 season? He said, yeah, OK, I got good memories here, I said, in that year, in 99. He said, yes, I know. We lost by one point. Passionate rugby players during their school days getting a chance to wear the college jersey, college colors once again. Such it's silver. Fantastic runner. And let's stop looking at the quality of players on display. We can expect a high octane clashes. And what a fixture to start off the proceedings. Is Sipatana taking on St. Peter's? Yeah, fantastic. I mean, you can look at the names, Spatana, St. Peter's, over the years, uh, Treaty and all those schools that are taking part have been a, a force to reckon with. An absolutely fantastic idea. This is just, uh, just, just the first year, first time, right? Uh, there might be some teething problems, but I'll tell you, the interest is going to go up. Absolutely going to go up. There'll be a lot of players who are willing to come and play in this tournament. No doubt about it. They have set an example, I'm sure. All... The OB units of prominent rugby playing schools in the country will take this initiative forward and hopefully we may be able to see few rugby events being organized by the OB units of each and every top-notch rugby playing schools. And as you can see, everything in readiness, teams once again wearing their colors. I think the organizers have done a fantastic job to get this tournament underway. Tough task these days, getting all these chaps organized and looking at Isipat on a team. They even have a coach, PCO and manager, which means they've been keenly looking forward for this event, which was on the cards and it was announced some time back. And all the teams, all the schools, take on the idea forward and uh, coming up with a uh, strong units and uh, I have no doubt that all rivalries will be ignited and this is a champion reunion yeah, it's good, good, very, um, actually absolutely fantastic I, I didn't know actually what was happening I, I thought it was touch rugby golden oh. oldies but then I was told, no, it's not the golden owner story. It's a serious rugby tournament where some of the club players will take place, uh, play, take part in this uh, tournament and the schools have been divided. So it can be from 21 to 31, 41, it doesn't matter. It's open. Uh, absolutely fantastic. And Kavi has led it very well. There you go, the first fixture. As I mentioned, Isi Patana taking on St. Peter's and these two teams incidentally played in the knockout finals as well as league decider. St. Peter's of course, current holders, double champions, league as well as in the knockouts. And our referee is in the middle, the officiators, assistant referees, they are lining up and everything to start off this wonderful tournament. Lions Rugby Sevens. 
Yeah, because this year we St. Peter's had to get a they had to get a foreign team to beat them at their own servants tournament, other than that they remain unbeaten. Fantastic side, very well coached by uh, Martis and a super rugby they played this season. Yes, their pride's at stake. They cannot take this lightly purely because they are representing their beloved alma mater and all the teams looking very keen and raring to go first up we go through Isipathana team Nasra Najibuddin Faik Najibuddin Kavidu Vimala Chandra Malid Mehisara Vinoga Keshavya Tahir Ali Hiranta Perela Lukman Lakmal uh, Renujo Silva David the Patrinage, Chambot Fernando and Sonal Samsoni, their coach Tushar Rabandara, Piso Dilan Galage and Manka Sirivardana acting as the manager for Isipatana and for St. Peter's. Strong unit going by the names Chetomina Netsara, Hirun Gunaratna, Dilan Fernando, Venuka Ratnayaka, Anuka Fernando, Rushan Madhushanka. Kamesh Fernando, Charan, Tissarachi, Jason Karnaratna, and Tikshana Eshan, Mangala Darva Priya act as the manager. The team's SW well organized. I'm sure they must have had at least a week of training, which would have definitely helped them to gel well and get their team together and move forward with a strategy and a plan and do well in this tournament. Yeah, it's good. It's uh, I mean, it's it's going to be how serious it's going to be in the future. Uh, maybe at right now, yeah, as for inaugural year, it might be a little bit of you know uh, social rugby type of thing and not take it very seriously. But in time to come, this might go into a serious effect. It might go into the calendar of the rugby union because this is a fantastic idea, absolutely fantastic. This gives the opportunity of the boys who have left school to come back, as you said, and not about wearing their jersey, but also having a go, boys who can't make it to the club uh, rugby. So that even, uh, as I said, if somebody can come up with the tenor side, there might be some selections done, serious selection done for the clubs. And also SW couldn't have asked for a better time window just before the start of league season. And most of these players already well underway with their preparations, getting ready for upcoming task, upcoming challenge of league rugby. Some of the players representing the best clubs and obviously the schools, I mean all the uh, associations, uh, they will be, they were on the hunt for best players to represent this tournament and uh, by the looks of it, we have quite a few players in good shape, in good physical state. We'll get to see how well they get their old skills and how well they get their act together in the middle. Two teams walking into the middle. Sipatana, St. Peter's cannot ask for a better start for this tournament. The officiators are ready and the first game. Some, some familiar faces among the rugby fans in the country. Mr. Patana, very proud rugby playing school. They will be no doubt getting their best game and they will have to do it first up. The jersey is looking very colourful, traditional colours of respective schools. Robin Alexander officiating the first the game and in a moment I'll let you know who are the two line judges and uh, so here's a wearing jersey the number nine, Renuka Silva gets us underway as usual, first things first. Working the ball out wide, St. Peter's trying to find a way through, straight away, holding on, conceding the first penalty. Oh, Sipatana in with the chance, bit of a careless pass, not finding anyone. It's a penalty, not rolling away. 
Not rolling away is the call from Rev Ravin Alexander as Ibatana hurrying things up. This is their game, working the ball out wide. Long cutout ball. Ish directed himself into heavy traffic now he had to go way down to catch that one winger trying to find a way through and he was bundled in to the ground good pressure from St. Peter's and here comes the ball out from right to left okay release it now roll away still both teams trying to get a measure of each other. A little bit of nerves, I'm sure. Yeah, good seven's play so far. I was trying to get at the referee, Alexander Ravi. He did the school's finals this year in the knockout. Uh, what a fantastic game he had. How about has a tremendous game out in that uh, finals. The referee is doing the thankless job and I think ref Alexander did a fine job as SW just mentioned. Zipatana on the attack. Try to power his way through. Chabot. Looking for wider channels, which is the ideal way. Looks like the first try of the tournament for Isi Patana. They've been hitting hard. Got the opportunity and good thing about this is they didn't waste the okay, opportunity look at it once again found space the defensive effort from st peter's wasn't up to the mark on that occasion is nevertheless in front now st peter's will have to provide some answers yeah, absolutely. It all taken almost two and a half minutes to score the first try. I was wondering, the yards were coming in, the position was coming in, and the continuity was coming in. I was just wondering, when is the five points going to come? They had so much control. The conversions are not good. The underfoot condition, I just walked across the pitch, is very slippery. So the kicking is going to be a bit of an issue uh, over, the, uh, over some time. I think with the sun being very strong, we might have a dried up uh, pitch. Cindy, Cindy, number four. We are hoping for a clear day lately. Can be experience some heavy showers. Yesterday it was a little lighter in comparison to the previous days. Number four gets its start. Malit Mehisara, a familiar name amongst the rugby fans. Boise Patana. If I'm not mistaken. Once again, get a chance. St. Peter's. Jason Karnaratna. Looking for support. Support arriving just in time. Now deciding to work the ball inside there. 22. For a moment, thought he was just about to get a lovely offload, but that was straight away handed over to Chamot Fernando. Now St. Peter's. Good piece of offloading release and it, good it. pressure from Mr. Patana defensively. It would be, it'd be interesting <laughs> to see that quick line out. I don't think that was a legal line out because the ball was thrown in quickly on the on the front in the front of the uh, the touch judge the, or the AR. So you have to take it behind or beyond the AR's okay, mark. Huh? Probably got away with that one. Anchor. I got to be one of the best referees ever to officiate the game here in Sri Lanka, S.W. Chang. So you will get his prospect Change right throughout the day. But thank God, uh, from the line out, uh, St. Peter's have got the advantage right now. So there was no damage done. But um, just a click, uh, I might be wrong, but just a click, something was not right. <laughs> They're probably trying to hurry things up. I'm sure both the teams will take this game to settle themselves down. A tough game, of course. Two very famous units. So they just got to get their best game right from the start. Usually in a day event like this one, it's about power output management because you will be moving into tougher rounds quarterfinals semi-finals cup plate shield 
So you will be obviously looking at preserving your energy. We got player already on the stretcher. I mean, the ground conditions are very soggy and not even. Uh, that's the only uh, minus at the moment, like what I can think of, because you might have get all these anchors coming in. Uh, uh, hopefully that uh, it'll get dried up because very slippery and also not uh, not even. Look like it's a case of player went down with a player on top of him. And... St. Peter's already got player stretched out of the ground. Not ideal, but this is rugby. Tough, tough game, not for the faint of heart. We'll let you know who's the player. Just got injured and in the meantime, Sipatana and St. Peter's. Ref Robin asking to resettle for a scrum. Five minutes up. Seven minutes, half. Coach! Seven Rugby five. has totally changed. I mean, that's absolutely. Six. Look at the feeding by uh, St. Peter's. It's it's uh, like, it's a feeding from the tight head, not the loose head. I mean, we are used to feeding from the loose head, not from the tight head. Here it is, W. Play on, play on. Three players in the front row. No hands, no hands, no hands. They must have played in the back line during their school days so they are not so conversant with ball how in, the forwards in. are operating St. Peter's securing position goes to the right they are trying to find a room within a very small pocket of the ground now it's time for them to get it out Looks like he got some gas in the belly. Number 12 for St. Peter's. Roll away, roll away. <laughs> Take Shana no, no, St. Peter's <laughs> getting the advantage once again, not backing Get away. Back it's the card. Outside. Get back here. Lucky break, I guess. Just come down. Just come, come. My fellow commentator out here, one of the best referees you've ever seen, and uh, I think in, in, in time to come, uh, talking on to the front row of playing sevens, uh, we are still Last looking at the line. backs Rush. playing in the sevens. In time to come, the forwards, Nine. the real forwards will be in Six. the front row there because the 15, at, 15 as a rugby in modern rugby. Everybody runs, everybody rocks, everybody mauls. I mean, that's, that's been used. Now, those days, the, the threes, they hardly came into contact. But Nine. nowadays, they have to contact because Six. the game is played Steady. in such a way that the closest man to the ball carrier, immediately what position you play, you come in there. You Pretty. look at the All Blacks hooker, how many tries has he scored? As you just Advantage. mentioned about the fact that we witnessed it during the World Cup just concluded. Forwards, they're competing with pace for pace against the backs no, no, short, in terms short. of speed. Now St. Peter's exploring opportunities just about a few Advantage. meters away. It just about being <laughs> composed and number 12. The man with a fancy hairstyle goes over for the first try. Things are evened up just before the end of the first half. Five points each, okay, okay, and for St. Peter's, the conversion is much easier than for Isipatana. So we will probably, get, probably see St. Peter's go up by two points. No, conversion was <laughs> successful. It will remain five points each at the end of the first half of the game, number one. And we'll take a break and join with you with second half action in a moment. We are looking at some of the replays, some of the highlights. And 
And now we'll move to a break and come back in a minute. Second half action just about to start and uh, St. Peter's level things up just before the end of the first half just as we expected a close encounter. Isipotana striking first blood, St. Peter's coming back and exciting second half. Whoever does well should prevail and uh, St. Peter's goes deep. A slender looking a back player. Gets it out wide to Chamot Fernando, who got speed during his school days. I mean, we cannot expect the same level of fluency yeah, yeah. and speed from these players. Most of them given up rugby and joined uh -huh. respective okay, Bagatal okay. establishments or so move forward with their careers. But good thing is. Most of the players who are taking part in this tournament are playing for clubs, playing mercantile rugby. So we are getting to see the quality of rugby is very high. St. Peter's in with a chance. They're moving from right to left once again. Try scorer, Eshan, trying to break through a few tackles. Is he put under pressure? Right at the beginning of the second half. Now two against one. Little bit of room. Oh, fantastic offload. He's still looking for support, which isn't arriving and conceding position back to Zipatana. Lucky escape, SW. Yeah, absolutely. They should have actually scored over there in the corner. But as you said, they did clear up the cupboard. And the, as the day goes by, it will be fantastic. It's a matter of time, first game, maybe long time. I don't think so. These boys usually look young and fit and good. And the skill level is good. Look at the side step, look at the goal step, and then trying to run around the player and placing the ball for continuity. But the only thing lacked there was support. And as you mentioned, underfoot conditions aren't the greatest. So players finding it hard. And this time, the pass went forward. Ref Robin Alexander, in the right position, judged that. Still five point each. Still anybody's game. As you can see, some of the players taking deep breaths. Sevens rugby, such a hard format. You're doing continuous running up and down, defending. It's not a moment you can take a breather unless, of course, you're settling down for a quick voice. Come on. A scrum like Coach. this. <coughs> I think whoever gets the next score will have a greater chance of winning this game. Isipatana inside their own <coughs> half, Time looking for on. opportunities to get out of it. Coach. As I went on to mention, Set. they are pride stay at stay stake. Board. They are representing Isipatana once again, so no excuses. Now St. Peter's getting a few passes to the left now. Moving forward. No, 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 ball. Very good ruck clearance by St. Peter's. Karwaratna gives it out. Tall, lean. Get back, get back. A center trying to barge through couple of defenders wasn't successful and once again Jason clears it he was trying to get some fancy footsteps wasn't working knock the ball forward in the process and uh, SW good thing about this tournament is W is 
the teams have got sponsors in addition to this whole event attracted quite a few sponsors we'll go through the name of the sponsors in a while St. Peter's and Izzy Patana battling hard. Fight back. Touch. Bind. Sit. Steady, steady. Ball out. Izzy Patana with a feed in. Shabot trying some of his steps. <laughs> Sorry, no. Pressure on top. Created that opportunity, holding on, says Ref Ravin Alexander. Get back in. Cannot ask for a better opportunity for St. Peter's. All they need is to get the next score. Most probably, they will have the upper hand of this game and they decided to kick it into touch. Which means they've drilled their line outs pretty well and they get ever so close. Just about two minutes remaining. Cannot ask for a better timing, SW. Yeah, absolutely, there was a, a, a good turnover, good uh, commitment by the St. Peter's defense. There he goes in, held up quite rightly. The penalty come in and then he, they decide to go to the corner. Why not? Short line out taken. Now to the center. Fabulous tackling from <laughs> Isipatana. Isipatana know for a fact that they will be they will have to be vigilant and now Jason Karara that tries to sneak his way through but the tackling from Isipatana is good but yellow card first of the tournament Isipatana losing a man seven against six advantage St. Peter's yeah I just saw the name Tushara Bandara managing the St. Peter's uh, sorry Isipatana side oh my gosh the day he's doing his playing days he was a happy fit he was so fast, so diminutive, and then his size stepping was absolutely class. On the line, on the line. Cannot ask for a coach. better coach for a sevens tournament coach. like this, Tushara Bandara. As SW just Today. mentioned, such a fantastic player. Jason Karwaratna feeds in. Good pressure by Sipatana. Oh, opportunity gone a begging. They had the man out wide. The try scorer on top of it. But unfortunately, Isipatana getting a chance to escape. I'll be heading for a draw. Just a few minutes remaining, SW. Five versus, uh, sorry, six versus seven. And you have the put into the ball. Or the, you have position of the ball. You don't just throw it away while. You keep it with you. Cardinal mistake. Lost a great opportunity. And Isipatana may do something special to uh, for them to uh, get in front here. Isipatana, no one. For their resilience and now he moves forward and Ishan just Ouch. managing to get the man by <laughs> the edge of the jersey and the first game as we expected a close one and in fact a draw a tight game five points each we haven't seen the okay. best sevens rugby from both the teams but the competitiveness the fighting spirit the warrior spirit coming through and First game, just like that, ended in a draw. In a while, we will get a chance to see some of the highlights of this game. There goes the first try. Isipatana drawing first blood. Then St. Peter's, keeping themselves calm and composed. They had a chance of converting and winning this game, but was missed and will join with the second game action in a moment. Welcome, Welcome back, back live. live.
Sinanayaka, another crucial encounter. No easy games for any of the teams. Looking at the draw. Diaz. Kick starts things. Smart move by St. Sylvester's. Range kick taking the play all the way back to midway. A little chip kick. Well timed and man immediately found under pressure. Now St. Sylvester's. Looks like a man with some nifty footwork. Finds the touch. Yeah, I'm going to see the, he, the good passage of play. And then the last uh, uh, player who got that ball, he tried to go through three defenders there, uh, where he had ample. He, all you got to do is stop, look at inside, and give him the ball out because there were three players waiting for the ball. So you rotate position. This is where we, I think we should step in, and uh, the coaches must step in and then get their boys on focus on the game. on. Hey, Absolutely. If you have the speed, it's uh, one thing you run around players. But if you don't have the speed, you are curtailing the chances of the other players working the width of the field by running cross. Now DS in position and uh, done it so illegally. Refa Bacon blown the whistle for a penalty. DS with the ball in hand. Looking for some room and uh, St. Sylvester so far has been vigilant in their defense, but these mistakes are coming through. Holding on, conceding a penalty. Ref Abe Kohn, one of the best in the business. Oh, very oh, lethargic, very lethargic pass, pass, pass from St. Sylvester's DS. Trying to strike, but unfortunately just did manage to hold on to the ball I think throughout the first round of matches we will be able to see the strengths and weaknesses of these teams for the first time we are getting to see these players in action DS looks like a very strong team on the other hand St. Silvestres look like they've got some speed in store Hometown, home, homegrown. Oh, we see another top referee on the field. It's good to have these top referees along with the mixture of the young coming up and coming referees uh, coming in. Fantastic to see. That's Yatavar, isn't it? The ref referee on the field. Ref Abekon, Abekon. Abekon, yes, Shad Abekon. Shad Abekon. He's, he had a good season this year. Yes, he did. I mean, even during the World, World Cups, you must have witnessed referees with all the technology, all the support, still went on to make a large number of iffy decisions, I would call it. So the referees in Sri Lanka, most of the times they are under scrutiny and always criticized. But I think referees like Yatavara, Ishanka, Alexander just went on to mention what a fantastic job he'd done throughout the school season. That's and right. They should be given the due credit. It's one thing you'll be criticized for their mistakes and you should be constructive and uh, you can always compare the standard with international matches. Now DS gets the ball and uh, I always knew that DS had it in them but taken three and a half minutes for them to strike first fantastic passes of play by DS absolutely fantastic while we were talking about the referees they just put the gas on they hit the caps the ball was in hand and that's why the five points for DS uh, on the scoreboard a fantastic move just by looking at the physics of DS players, they have the physical advantage. Looks like number two wearing jersey, number two, yes, Marlon De Silva, the try scorer. This is Balasuria doing the conversions in Sylvester's trailing by seven points to nil. 
You don't get too much time to strike back. Sevens, it's about staying in front and maintaining the lead. And uh, there you go. Going over the top. Conceding another penalty. I think he's just saw a swimming pool there. Just drived on it. I didn't know absolutely had control of the ball and nothing has to do he comes in oh my gosh this is a lovely pool four feet no inches i'm sure the coach for dear sinanaika asela deshapriya got something to work on coming up the second round of games that's lahir wattanagoda familiar face former saint sylvester player played for candy renowned name in candy rugby good to see everybody getting together this is like a, a reunion of champion uh, we are starting to see familiar faces some of the big names in the business such a fantastic idea We can now see another player walking out of the field gingerly supported by his colleagues. It's about injury management, it's about energy output management in the game of sevens and uh, since Lester is not ideal so they will have to find a replacement. Hopefully this is a minor injury so the player could come back and Sylvester's hoping and DS once again, man with the speed, the run around, two tacklers and goes over. For the try number two. Looks like DS stamping their authority well inside the first half, just the way the coaches as well as the team management and the supporters would have wanted them to do. And DS in front by 12 points to nil, conversion. Just a formality, 14 points to nil and just about six minutes gone. St. Silvestres, they will have to find answers. Just a moment ago, we saw player walking out, not making matters easier for St. Silvestres. Look, 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 number good. 11 it for is. Saint, uh, number 11 for DS getting the second try. Hasaranga, Patum Hasaranga. Band with the speed, always useful in the game of sevens. Oh, just had it over, trying a chip kick and giving it back to Saranga Udavata says thank you very much. And he goes over for try number three. All but one sided now. Diaz in front, 19 points to nil conversion. Just a formality, I guess. What's your take on that, SW? Absolutely surprise shocker. He said thank you very much. It's a pass off the boot. Uh, but it came from the opposite number and it was uh, just a gift. Uh, we, uh, Christmas has come early for him. Saraka Udavarta, saying himself, try, score, try scoring doesn't get easier than this. Just like that, first half ended. The Asinanaka in front by 21 points to nil. Staggering score on the cards for the Asinanaika. Now we'll get a chance to see the highlights of the first half. He is in front, 25 points to nil. There goes the first try, just doing the basics, trying to channel their way through the gaps, and eventually, nice piece of overloading gets the first try for DS Naika. Conversions, hundred percent so far for the Sinanaika. Now there goes the try number two. Man with the speed goes around two tacklers and got it down for try number two. The Sinanaika. By then, up by fourteen points to nil, and they got a gift, just like that. Udawatta says thank you very much. Goes under the post. 
21 points to nil it ends the first half looks like two teams in readiness to start off the second half St. Sylvester's will have to find answers for DS Sinanaika just a matter of keeping up the momentum earning a penalty in the process DS calm and composed looks like a good team uh, I think uh, we've seen four teams in action so far looks like DS could be contenders yeah they look very very good in every department it all depends on the of course the opponents whom they play with uh, but uh, nevertheless they look very good they look calm they could uh, uh, they have a vision to run into gaps and make uh, possible all the avenues to score that try and uh, on the other hand it's good to see Piranza Gunrath running uh, touch as an assistant referee the 20 under 16 uh, coach good to have him back as a, uh, in a different role I mean he has done a fantastic job with Trinity under 16s winning two titles within a year under 16 champions as a Trinitian, you must be very happy about it. Already contemplating winning a couple of Bradbys. I'll be happy if the 16s play good rugby. I'm worried about the trophies at that level. As long as they have the correct attitude, the attributes to play good, good rugby, that's what matters. No doubt about it. Sean Altaf, already a big name in Trinity. Did a fantastic job with the first 15 outfit. And quite a few players of that caliber in their position which means they can work out something in the coming years Trinity haven't had much success meanwhile St. Sylvester's we were talking about St. Sylvester's providing answers and here's the answer try number one St. Sylvester's well the Sylvester's at last in the second half decided to trouble the scoreboard and they lead, they they can they, they are behind by 21 points to five with the conversion to come well so it will remain 21 five in favor of St. Sylvester's the candy schools still a lot of hard work for St. Sylvester's because they are still trailing by 16 points which means more than two converted tries so they will obviously have to get their work rate up the previous try was a fine example that if they can get their act together they can immediately pressurize the opposition and opportunities being created oh tip tackle ref isn't too happy i can see he goes to his pocket it's just the color yellow Ten, two minutes in the bin I'm just about to mention 10 minutes the whole game lasted 14 minutes so it will be two minutes in the bin advantage for oh, oh, I think the ref got the color wrong there that's definitely a red there is no doubt about that but I don't know whether the it, it can be any type of game it doesn't matter it doesn't matter but dangerous play has to be taken off otherwise you ruin the game of rugby that's a red there's no doubt about there no mitigation there that's a red I gotta go with you on that We had a World Cup. There are so many controversies when it comes to referees' consistencies, especially in the finals. One high tackle, player goes out for. A this time the pass went forward. It's the call from ref Rishanka Bacon. Just about 11 minutes gone. The chances of St. Sylvester's equalizing or getting in front is out of the window. It's just a matter of narrow the gap down and add some respectability into the scoreline dear Senanaika all but wrap this game up by scoring 21 points in the first half itself it, now it's just a matter of holding on for another couple of minutes for dear Senanaika doesn't have to do anything fancy but for St. Sylvester's their pride at stake and they are getting a free kick what can they do with that with this six player unit at the moment wasn't the smart decision but fortunately he looks like he's getting the ball back 
courtesy of a knock on by a DS player. Ref already looking at the watch. Not too many minutes remaining. Just about two. Yellow carded players still have a minute to come back, which means his part for the game pretty much done. Since Sylvester's not making things any easier for them. Really, it's uh, two minutes, right? So he he can't. It's it's an early ice bath for him, I suppose. Extended break and a little sloppy on that occasion by dear Sinanayaka. Since Sylvester, this man in particular breaking through the tackle and go for the second try. Because of the stripes on their jerseys, I couldn't find his number exactly. There goes the man. Fantastic job. Yeah, the front part of the jersey gives the uh, look of the Candy Sports Club jersey. Uh, it's nice, it's beautiful, but even nevertheless, for them to score a try with a one man shot, I think absolutely fantastic. They had it in their ranks, this man. Obviously, they could have utilized him more. Looks like he's wearing jersey number six. Situm Palavat, strong lad. Scoring the second try for St. Sylvester's. They're coming back into this game or winning it out of the window. It's just a matter of getting another try. 14th minute in progress. DS moves forward. Looking for support. Arriving at time and not releasing is the call from ref. It happens. But the tacklers are rushing things up a little too much. So it's not an early bath because uh, Sylvester's got seven on the pitch. Uh, so they're equal now in numbers. Yeah, they got a minute to play with seven players. Hopefully, add another try and... and get back to the uh, arena and say, oh, just <laughs> too close. We just lost by seven, two points. <laughs> Absolutely. That's the whole point of playing rugby. Battle it out right till the end. Resilience we spoken about during the last game as well and uh, St. Sylvester they get a chance and uh, Yes, scrum in favor last chance To utilize the opportunity and get another score on the board They can't go in front even a converted try will make them score 19 points so DSL and by doing all the hard work in the first half benefiting but they look little lethargic in the second half we went on to mention they could be a title contenders because they've played such a fantastic rugby not so much here's the try scorer for St. Sylvester's Palavatta had a good game oh fabulous fast through the legs must have learned that from the New Zealanders. There you go. Fijians, New Zealanders, they used to do this very, very successfully. Looks like St. Sylvester's inside ball. Who else? Oh, I think he should have gone his way through over the try line SW. He was looking for support, support arriving, but the pass wasn't good. Try scoring opportunity, definitely. Fantastic second half for St. Sylvester's, but not enough. 21 points to 12, it ends. Dear Serenaika getting the first win of the day. In a moment, we'll take a look at some of the highlights of the second half. There you go, Udawatta, the try scorer. In fact, I got that wrong, number 10 for St. Sylvester's, who scored the first try, Chetia Abe Singha. I beg your pardon for that. Chetia Abe Singha, the first try scorer, and the second try was scored by Udawatta. Fantastic second half for St. Sylvester's, still not good enough. 
Yes, Salonaika, the winners. Game number three just about to start. We'll take a short break and come back with live action. Ape Shaktiya Obe Rakavarnei Api Orient Traction Samagama. You are secured with our strength. Orient Insurance Limited. Ape Shaktiya Obe Rakavarnei Api Orient Traction Samagama. Light Hygiene Plus. Refreshing walls for generations. Simons Rugby coming thick and fast and Anthony is just about to take on Royal Thormian combined team must be a strong one to these two schools known for producing such high quality rugby rights so Anthony is with a kickoff game number three this should be a good one Roy Thor combined team in position working the ball out wide Any familiar faces? SW? I still can't get to the players as yet. But it's nice to have a Royal Tobin combined team. And of course, San Anthony's over the years have produced rugby players too. Would great rugby back? players. Uh, I think one of the great skippers came from there in the form of Prince Ekanaika. And they have produced some good players. Nice show and go from Royal Thormian combined team man with a fancy hairstyle flip pass. Finds there are a few familiar names in the school's rugby machine, Jaden Koch. Former Thormian, if I'm not mistaken, but St. Anthony strikes the first blood. Goes over for the first try. They were a little bit of a slack play from both the teams to start off the game. Ball went this way, ball went the other way, and eventually St. Anthony's had the presence of mind to catch the ball and gets it over. Looks like this man got some speed and uh, he got quite a lot of work to do for St. Anthony's moving forward. So the home team, St. Anthony's draw first blood as you may call it and then the conversion's good. I think it's seven points to nothing. We had to start score by Royal and St. Thomas's combined team. Good to have a combined Royal and St. Thomas's team on the field. It doesn't matter what form, as long as you're on the pitch playing rugby. As referee has part of the uh, oh, kicker in front and he come back for a short term uh, penalty for, uh, at the restart. Right at the beginning, we mentioned this should be a very good game. Royal already proven that combined team. We'll go through some of the names of the Royal Thomian combined team. Anruddha Villavara, such a famous name in local rugby scene. He's in action for Royal Thomian outfit. Back, 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 back. Now gets their work rate up. Oh, good pressure by the scrum half from St. Anthony's. First, second. Knocked it forward. Scrum in favor of St. Anthony's. Fabulous piece of play by the scrum half for St. Anthony's. You mentioned Villavara, he's back. He's on the field, is it? According to our team card, uh, he is. I saw his picture in the launching ceremony. So he should be in action. We are just George. finding ourselves to recognize him. Bye. 
line. Oh, he's a little tubby dog. Fantastic, my gosh. Strength and speed. Uh, oh, he's, he was absolute class. He's obviously making this Royal Tomian outfit a Step strong back. one. Back. St. Anthony's working the ball from right to left. Right at the center. That try scorer moving forward. Takes the tackler. Clears the ball. These are basics in the game of sevens. Oh, knock it forward. Could bend down enough for a playing advantage. Will Lero with a fancy pass. Not finding the man. And the ref will have no option but to go for a scrum in favor of St. Thomas's Royal Combined Team. If you quickly go through the names boy, of the team from Royal Tomian, Anuruddha Villavara, Sadat Ishak, Jen Koch, Christian Delisle, oh. such a fine player. <laughs> Idura Lokupriya, <laughs> Samudita Tiwanka, Avishka Kunavardana, Possibly Heshan and Abdullah okay. Yusuf. There are some familiar names and they are in front and they should do well from here. Just about four minutes gone. Tackle. I mean, their Step strategy back. could very well hovering around Anru the Villavara. We just went on to mention the strength and speed. Ball with one hand. Touch too high is the call from the ref. Royal Thompkins getting another penalty. Nice show and go, but the tackler was vigilant on that occasion. Moving forward, takes the tackler. Down. Offloaded straight into the hands of an Antonian. Now he moves ahead. Antonian still in front. <laughs> Royal Tommy and combined team trailing behind, not by much, five points to nil. Don't touch! And don't touch! Oh. Number 13 for St. Anthony's, Warnakula Surya with the ball in hand, made some large number of meters and he's given it out to number seven, Rumesh Ramdas, familiar name, goes over. For try number two and St. Anthony's safe and sound. Ten points to nil. Conversion shouldn't be a difficult one. Just at the stroke of the half time. Ramdas, did you represent uh, police or air force? I remember playing for some club rugby. Ramesh Ramdas. Familiar name. Can't recall which team he represented. But a good player. Well scored. Fantastic fry. St. Anthony's just about to go up by 12 points to nil. Very well done, easily done. As predicted, St. Anthony's applying pressure on Thomians. Short inside, not too many players. They will have to you know, be vigilant about not getting too many players injured throughout the tournament, St. Thomas's. Only 10 players in the squad, so they will be watchful. And just like that, the first half <laughs> <in> that, <laughs> Anthony is in front. Obian Hill, Anthony is 12. As we take a look at some of the highlights. <laughs> Here's the first try for St. Anthony's. Not too much of room, but the guy had too much of speed. Nicely channeled through the open spaces. St. Anthony's looks like another very good team, hometown favorites. As SW went on to mention, produced number of high quality rugby including a famous skipper, Grant Ekanayaka. And just like that, first half then we'll go for a break and come back with a second half action. Hite Nidahase Ratayan Air Ticket Tekana Dam Katakana Candy Travels and Leisure.
the crunch in every bite. Vairaha, mm. wow beef. Second half just about to start. St. Thomas's didn't go 10 plus meters with the restart. As a result, St. Anthony's get a free kick. In sevens, it's about position and Thomians and Royal Combined team providing too much of position for St. Anthony's that they are benefiting from it. They are just doing basics, not doing anything extravagant, not trying anything fancy. Just Stackle. get the ball out wide Stackle. and uh, let the speedsters to do the talking. Once again, St. Anthony's goes from right to left. Trying out a goose step. Couldn't find any a room as a result. Now to the left. A big man with a ball in hand trying to barge through a couple of defenders. Well collected on the bounce. Tackling from St. Thomas's very good. Hey, stay back. Once again, most of the side this time, St. Thomas is in position. Nice turnover. Leon. Oh, he got the backhand pass in, but there wasn't a player in presence for Royal Thomians. I think to have a chance of finishing this game up on top, Royal Thomian combined team will have to score next uh, SW. Yeah, they're going to score next uh, RCSTC team. Uh, they have combined. Uh, they 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 have. Uh, looks like they are not really 100% prepared for it, and uh, it doesn't matter. It's the first year. I'm I'm just trying yeah. to even still trying to fathom the idea of this. That's of the Kavi and his uh, batchmates of '99. Uh, it's a fantastic idea. I, I mean, I'm just trying to give the opportunity for each and every one who has left school who is not in the club scene, also who are tapping on the door for the clubs to come and play this. It's, it's absolutely fantastic. Such a fine idea. I'm sure many OB units, OB outfits from the respective schools will move on with this idea. And it gives clear indication that the old boys who have given up rugby, not playing not playing for a club Steady, scene or mercantile establishments, they are still willing to come and play rugby. Most of them keeping self them, themselves uh, very fit. There goes the speedster who scored the first try and he's just about to go on to score the third for St. Anthony's. Number 13, K. Warnakula Surya. Such a fantastic job. St. Anthony's already in front by 17 points to nil. Looks like it will be very, very Maja hard side. for the Royal Thomian outfit to come back into this game. We've said the same about St. Sylvester's in the Maja previous game, but St. Sylvester's did fantastically well in the second half. Looks like St. Thomas's and Royal combined team has very little fighting spirits in the second half. We haven't seen them getting their basics right, working the ball out wide, though they have quite a few good players like Christian Delisle and Anru the Villavara. Try scorer, number 13, Warnakula Surya. Looks like another player who's gonna have a, a fantastic time out there. Speed is the essence of sevens. Leon, Leon. St. Thomas is moving hey, forward. Back, back. Working the ball out wide, Villavara trying his sidestepping skills and uh, finding space. Unfortunately, the player this time hey, directed himself into heavy traffic. Oh, well charged. Good pressure from St. Anthony's defenders. I was just about to start to wonder where was he running. There wasn't too much of room. Touchline. Just about a few meters away, he's still oh, no, no, trying no, no, no. to run across, and as a result, was it a high shot? Or, uh, it looks like it. And uh, found a space. Leon, Leon. 
Play on! Don't take off, Leon! From St. Anthony's was way better than Royal Domain combined team in the first half. But in the second half, we've seen Royal Domain combined team getting two, 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 two. up, getting some of the passes. Why don't you yeah, it's just a matter of time. I think I, I think it's it just just playing for the remaining minutes. Anthony in 17 points, and Royal and Thomas has to score. That's the trouble in the scoreboard. Uh, having said that, yeah, the Anthony's have got the act together. Um, but so far, I wait, think wait, wait, the Uka. impressive team has been DS, Uka. and St. Peter's and St. Peter's and Spartan lie on the same level as Uka, us. But I think uh, uh, DSC two. team speaks volume so far. Okay. Yes, we've seen that DS got a little bit of extra skills, extra power when it comes to penetrating the defenses of the opposition. So Anthony so far haven't done a bad job. They've scored three tries, looks like. They're just about to score another beautiful offload. One against one. It was inevitable who's going to go over. Big man with a fancy hairstyle for St. Anthony's goes for the second try, the, the third try in fact. Yeah, it was mostly like one against one carry one. Twenty-two points to nil, conversion isn't successful, which means there you go, St. Anthony's. Starting off the tournament on a right foot, 22 points to nil, Royal Thomian. They will have to get their act together, work even harder in the second game, which will be against a formidable opponent in their group. As the second, as the third game of the tournament ended, St. Anthony's, the proud winners, we look at the highlights. The first try, Warner Kulasuria through the middle, no stopping. Number 12, Amara Singh. I think he's the brother of Dinu Kamara Singh. Let's go for a small break and come back with live action in a moment.
secured with our strength. Orient Insurance Limited. Next up, we have Darbaraj taking on St. Joseph. Some familiar names in local rugby scene in action. The likes of Radhika Hetyarachi, Royal College assistant coach. He's been out of the scene playing rugby for some time and interesting to see whether he'll be able to get his old skills. Darbaraja with a kickoff. St. Joseph's. There are some family names as well. And they are inside their 22 meter and drops the ball in front. Given out the opportunity to Darbaraja to launch an attack. Raja doing the basics, looking for space. Nice offloading skills from Dabaraja. Immediately strike King as a team who have trained sufficiently for this tournament. Dabaraja, hometown favorite team. Let's quickly go through Two teams for Stubbs St. Joseph, Dinuka Diaz Vijayaratna, Priyanta Ekanayaka, Piyum Jaya Singha, Godfrey White, Russian Gunaratna, Aaron Pereira, Yvonne, Wall, Yvonne Wallace, uh, Jonathan Ch Janit Chanaka, Sachit Silva, Speedster, Malit Pinto, Vidusha Veera Singha, and uh, uh, Mohamed Rifan. And uh, 3D Engineering Solutions, the sponsors for St. Joseph's. Barbaraja, of course, sponsored by Candy Innovation Center. Both the teams haven't been able to score the first try. Meanwhile, Barbaraja gets a kicks deep into St. Joseph's territory. St. Joseph's getting a penalty in favor of them immediately the ball and uh, there should be a warning ah oh, yes there's no hesitation whatsoever from ref madugala yellow is the color and darba raja sending a play into the bin looks like uh we let you know who's the player walking into the scene skills by the Josephine. I thought he committed suicide by trying to run the ball from there but he did beautiful absolute uh, fantastic uh, basics leaving the ball down then picking it up and Okadam Raja went in and tried to get it as we see St. Joseph's on the run on the move and they troubled the scorer with a beautiful sidestep a slip uh, tackle and five points right under the post for St. Joseph's. You went out to mention there were committing suicide but I think they have the right set of skills to work ball inside their own 22 and this man with a fancy hairstyle goes over for the first try for St. Joseph's in front looks like another team to watch out no. conversion isn't successful uh, starting to wonder if he tries to kick the ball too hard Ref Madugala had no hesitation awarding Yes, this is Udan Gamua. He will have to stay another minute. Bengi, bengi, bengi. Oh. Okay. All in all, St. Joseph's had a dominance in the early exchange. Now they are in position. Dabaraja 
right at the beginning of the game I went on to mention that they are distributing the ball really well amongst the players looking for space but all of a sudden committing mistakes now six players on the middle not helping their course once again gets a kicks deep into St. Joseph's in goal area and touched on by a Josephian it will be 25 22 meter dropout for St. Joseph's already in front they will obviously trying to slow the game down they are in front just two minutes remaining in the first half I think it's a, it was a five, it's a five meter scrum because it just just before the goal line uh, the uh, the pit right uh, the St. Joseph player uh, carried the ball over the goal line I don't know why he did that because he virtually had the other boy diving over the this he had no defender but of course he can't see from behind his back but he just touched down and he took the ball over so it's a five meter scrum to Dharmaraja Dharmaraja gets an opportunity to equalize things now the speed to number six Odar Maharaja goes over for the try number one and uh, this is a convertible try. There you go. Simple things. Is he wearing jersey number 10 or 6? That version is successful. Odar Maharaja in front. This is all about playing sevens. If the opposition strikes, you have to strike back. You can't just let the score go beyond two scores. It will be very, very tough for you to come back. But Darbaraji doing the right thing, scoring right after conceding a try. And now they are all of a sudden is in front. It's a different vibe inside Darbaraja camp. Good pressure by Dharmaraja runners rock, rock. immediately. Ball player out. goes down and clears the ball and a little sloppy. Condition underfoot improving with the scorching sunshine. He went a little too high on that occasion. Upstairs says the ref, the try scorer, working his way through the middle. We are still in the half face and Joseph's looks like very well drilled, well trained unit. Some famous name, oh, two against one and the pass. Not finding the man. Was a little too high. But St. Joseph's still in position. Works it out wide. Oh, that was clearly a few foot forward. I think Darbaraja lucky there. St. Joseph had players out wide, but the pass went forward as a result. The score remains seven points to five in favor of Darbaraja at the end of the first half as we look at the highlight package of the first half. Crunch in every bite. Mmm, Bairaha, wow, bee. Pentalite Hygiene Plus, refreshing walls for generations.
second half just about to start. Dharma Raja trailing behind by two points. Dharma Raja scored the first try, but a really good comeback by St. Joseph's. Looks like Russia in Gunavardana with the ball in hand. Just about to toss things off in the second half. St. Joseph's with high hopes of wrapping this game up. Dharma Raja deciding to work the ball out wide. Trying out some steps. Didn't work all that much, but that was a very good offloading. Now the speed star find space through the middle and almost an ankle tap. Wasn't successful. Darbaraj strikes. We were expecting Darbaraj to strike next, and just as we expected, Darbaraj goes over for the try number two. And this conversion, they will have to get it right. Rajan's coming back uh, 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 in the second half with two-point lead. Strikes early. Early bird. Catches the worm. They strike very early uh, to extend their lead with a conversion to come. Sure, that's better and better. So that should be uh, 14 points to five. Two goes to one try. Looking at two teams, both units comprising some of the best players during the school days. Of course, Radhika Hetyarachi, a legend from Dhammaraja, played for Kandy, played for Sri Lanka national squad number of years. One of the best sevens players ever to have come out from Dhammaraja. Pay for yourself. See the sponsorship list here. The gold sponsors, Orient Insurance Limited, Official Healthcare, Healthcare, Swa, uh, Swa Sevana Hospital Private Limited, Event Partners, Elite Ventures Private Limited, Clothing Partner, T-Shirt, Raja Rata, and the Hospitality Partners, Devon Hospital and NSP Green University. Hats off to them to come forward and sponsor this tournament. Absolutely. Without their support, this event wouldn't have been possible. And on behalf of the organizers, we are thanking them two meter, two meter, for two helping. Meter. Red, this course getting this wonderful tournament underway. Right. Lions okay. Rugby Sevens. Wait. This will be a permanent picture in the yeah. island's yeah. rugby calendar, hopefully. Now St. Joseph's looking to strike back. Nice pass. Wasn't finding the man and almost went into touch. Still in play. Dangerous ball was presented for the Josephian. Unfortunately, Tabaraja not being vigilant had he Stop been a little here. more alert he could have easily grabbed the ball and went on for a try but sevens rugby it's about being vigilant it's about seizing the moment on that occasion but on the occasion from st joseph's we haven't seen us from st joseph's yes we haven't seen that uh, it was there, there were rugby from St. Joseph running okay. from the in their own indoor area and they nearly got the better of the Dharmaraja there but it's just a spill pass couldn't go to hand deprived them from a brilliant uh, try as we see the ball is making a lot of mistakes here uh, I think it's very slippery and uh, the knock on by Dharmaraja and uh, the opportunity for St. Joseph's to strike back If Sun remains beating down Sun, like Sun. this for a couple of hours, condition on the foot will obviously be a better one. Okay. But at the moment, we can see the ball is slippery. Conditions aren't the best on the foot for the players, especially in the game of sevens. St. Joseph's trailing behind is Darbaraja, up by 14 points to five. St. Joseph exploring opportunities to strike once again the try scorer under huge pressure advantage. eventually drops the ball and Dharma Raja fabulous work I think the best play from Dharma Raja right throughout the game on that occasion immense pressure on top and made the player drop the ball collects it Gets it out wide and beautiful offloading at the end. Sends the man over for try number three. Darbaraja looks like they are just about to wrap this game up. 
Many more opportunities, uh, tries being scored by the Armour, taking every uh, mistake made by uh, St. Joseph's to gather the ball and do the counter attacks. That's why they're leading 19 points to 5. Having said that, they're playing some good rugby. And uh, St. Joseph only have to blame themselves because they had plenty of position, plenty of uh, areas and space to uh, run. But they uh, uh, somehow or other make that crucial last no, no, minute, no, 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 second no, no, mistake. On top of that, they did the mistake of trying to be adventurous inside their own 22 and paid the price for that. If you don't have the right skill set to back your attitude, you will obviously get in trouble. St. Joseph still inside their own 22, still trying to work the ball out wide. Trying to play the game the way the Fijians are playing. You just need a little bit of space and speed on that occasion. Damaraja, knowing that they are in front by two scores, not hurrying anything up. Was it a high one? No, not quite. The try scorer. We'll let you know his name in a moment, but he looks like a nippy customer. Once he gets through, he obviously make room for St. Joseph's and Sachit Silva goes over for the try numbers. Two. Could be too little too late, but try nevertheless. Yeah, Joseph got out a very speedy guy. Speedy Gonzalez on the wing. Absolutely fantastic with that hair looking daring down and also keeping the skills of running in and out and keeping the ball alive. Fantastic uh, comeback. It's nice to watch them play uh, some good rugby. <coughs> As you said, no, it might be a little bit too late because it's a, it's a two-scoring uh, game right now. Not even a converted try can get St. Joseph's in front. They left it far too late to strike with a second try. And going over the top says the ref and they're not releasing the tackler. Another penalty given away by St. Joseph's seventh outfit. This is all boy units. Well, good wrap around tackle by almost a case of going over. This time, the Maraja utilizing the space available. Not sorry, number seven. Comparison to St. Joseph, Dharmaraja got quite a few speedsters, but for St. Joseph, we've seen both the tries being scored by a single player. Arbaraja doing the right thing. Kick it into touch. He gets the game done with 19 points to 10. It ends Arbaraja with the first win of the tournament as we're taking a look at the highlights. That's the first try. Number 10 for the Maraja. Ashan Indika Bandara. Man with some serious speed. We will be able to see this the second try from the Maraja in the second half. That's the solitary try from Sachit Silva. Nice passage of play for St. Joseph leading up to this try. Ends the game and we'll join you with the second game action and uh, moving to a small break. Unlock your potential at the Candy Innovation Center, the creative hub of NIBM. Explore your passion for design, computer science, artificial intelligence, data science, psychology, counseling, and language. Our cutting-edge programs and We've spoken about power output management, Isi Patana in no time back in field. Drowned the first game against St. Peter's and they're once again uh, up against a formidable opponent, Wesley. Wesley, we all know 
really, really good when it comes to schools rugby. Used quite a few very good players. Wesley gets the opportunity to work the ball out wide and looking for support. Good wrap around tackle by Superman. Okay, man goes down still. Wesley gets the ball cleared. Looks like this man with some serious speed. Just the sweeper to cover him up and uh, the edge of the jersey works for <laughs> Isipak and a tackler. Oh, no, no, but no, no, unfortunately, no, no, no. he went on to hold on and conceding the penalty back to Isipakana. This should be a good game, SW. Yeah, I know. I mean, it's a two renowned schools. I'm sure the players they are representing must have represented the school uh, in whatever uh, age group. I'm sure there must be some good players in that lineup. For Vesti College, we saw earlier uh, Isi Patana did have it. So it's one minute and ten seconds gone. Uh, nobody has scored as yet. Uh, Patana has the, the greens. Uh, they have lockdown boys have position right now. And there's a huge gap. It's still going forward. There's a penalty being appealed and they have not got it. The opposite side has got it. Patana has got the uh, the yards, the ball and the space to run through. Decides to cut in. <coughs> oh no, oh no, player in front, obstruction, the ref. He's not the one to miss. Mr. Patana had a fabulous opportunity but he given away a penalty very cheaply. We still haven't seen the likes of Kingswood and Vidyartha. We'll be shortly seeing. We're already seeing Isipatan in action for the second time. Yeah, as you mentioned, we are not seeing the host team either still. Two meter, two meter. Two meter. They are waiting for the right moment to start. Going through the groups, Pool A, Isipatana, St. Peter's, Wesley. Pool B, DS, Sinanayaka, St. Sylvester's, Trinity. Haven't seen in action. And Pool C, St. Anthony's, Royal Tomian Combined Team and Vidyartha. And Pool D, Dharmaraja, Joseph's and Kingswood. Just a moment ago, we saw Dharmaraja and St. Joseph's in action. And as we speak, Wesley moving forward. The pass was good, but not the collection. St. Peter's, uh, Wesley rather, had a chance a mark. to create an opportunity. Handling errors, coming back to haunt them. Hindering their process and Isipatana, some of the players taking deep breaths. They were made to do all the defending right throughout the game. Just about four minutes. Coach. Usually, Bye. they are the ones who do all the Sit. attacking in Sit the it. game of sevens. Now for a change. Missy Patana in position and the ref Alex asking to reset the scrum. Set! Steady! Now Missy Patana doing what they are so good at. Shout out Fernando. Oh, that one unfortunately went forward. Chamot was little careless on that occasion. He just let the pass go without looking at the player. And Wesley getting a chance inside Isipatana territory. We haven't seen the exuberance we are sure used to seeing from Isipatana so far. During the first game, that was against St. Peter's, well equally well played. But in this game, Isipatana so far made to do all the defending and Wesley once again launching an attack. Okay, release it. The ball is well cleared. Now they've got two against two. Big man goes to the ground. The ruck is well cleared and Wesley. Exploring opportunities, going sideways and put the ball onto the boot and uh, kicked it touch too far, I guess. No, 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 no
If it is, it will be possession back to the Zipatana. <coughs> We've expected all these games to you know, go at a hectic pace, but so far we haven't seen that SW. That's because of the names that we have uh, used to, like Patana, Westy, St. Joseph, King. So we've seen the names playing schools, rugby playing at a different pace. But nevertheless, now we are playing with those names. The players are of yesteryears, so you might not see the same pace. But it's just a beginning, as you see, we see here on the Pera here. Uh, from Havis and uh, CH Centre, played for Sri Lanka too. Yes, we are expecting the same of level of skills which you have seen them while they are playing for their respective schools and clubs. But still, it's always a fantastic sight to see the players we loved so much back in action. The thing about Isipatana is they are not trying to hurry things up. They know exactly what they are capable of. And Wesley, having get all the attacking opportunities, still haven't been able to score a single point. Must be disappointed. This time, getting a penalty. The tackler not releasing. Now clearly... There was a player in front, but ref says it was all right. And this time for sealing off. Not supporting the body weight and conceding a penalty. Sipatana back in position. Will they be able to use this to come up with the first score of this game? This game in particular, the second one for Sipatana, understandably tired. They haven't had too much time to recover. Well, as we approach the half time, they have one minute to recover, and hopefully that they'll recover well with all the hydration drinks that's going around nowadays. Not like how we had glucose and <laughs> and orange juice, or orange pills, or maybe lime pills during our days. Not even oranges. Yes, it's pretty hot out here. Plenty of fluids is in order. Almost stolen, but not quite. Now Wesley. Oh, that was a good pass. Now to the winger. Instead of, instead of giving it back quick enough, he went a little bit further. Still Wesley. Initially, looking to go through the channel. Now the big man. Thundering into the tackler. Wesley with the ball in hand. Nice long ball being presented. Isipatana ready and waiting. And now this time space open up. Yeah, I saw a high shot. I think Rev will come back to that. I think Rev must have missed it. No, he gave a penalty for high tackle on the high one. And Wesley drew a quick one. Quick and then couldn't score, went into touch, he blew half time. So there was no going into the pocket, it's just a high, high, high tackle on the shoulder. So at the end of the first half, first, it's nil all. Is it yet to strike? So is Wesley. Millennial Higher Education and Visa Consultants, your key to a global future. Unlock your potential and study at your dream university with our expert guidance. Our experienced team is here to make your educational dreams a reality. Don't wait. Take the first step towards a world-class education today. Millennial Higher Education and Visa Consultants. Your future. Our commitment. Ape shaktiya obi rakavarneyai. Ape orient rakshana samagama.
Raja Raja Tiles. You are secured with our strength. Orient Insurance Limited. Game number five, second half just started. It's about an versus Wesley. Both the teams haven't been able to score their first tries. About an work the ball out wide. Shamot Fernando to his winger, trying the goose step and gives the ball out wide. The tackling from Wesley on that occasion was good. So it's about an But was settled now. A sudden burst of speed from Isipatana. The pass clearly went forward, but the ref didn't spot look. And now Wesley with the ball in hand. Trying to come over the rock and uh, there's the opportunity they've been waiting. There's no catching. He's saying catch me if you can and goes over for the first try. Wesley, they've been trying hard right throughout the first half. But not being able to score the first try but right at the beginning of the first half ideally went on for the first try and they get a chance to go up by seven points fabulous start sw yeah, you know, they were, it's a, it was a matter of time that for Wesley to come in and uh, go over the line because they they uh, they were threatening they were threatening and they were making the last few minutes adjustment mistakes and uh, this time they got an opportunity clear cut in the center and that's the team. And as you said, catch me if can. He did catch him, catch him, but on the ankle tap. I mean, at the beginning of the second half, it's always sp uh, special efforts like that will put you on the right foot. Obviously, kicks it deep. Sipatana finding it tough under pressure. That one, there you go, the mistake. As a result of being under pressure, Wesley doing all the, everything right at the moment. You missed that conversion? Or is it two points? I also missed it. Hopefully, the scorers keep five, keep five. haven't missed it. That was scored under the post. Most probably, whenever the try scorers goes under the post, the conversions. Pretty much a formality. I think the, it should be seven points to nil, but since the Zipatan haven't scored, Coach. Wesley is in front by Five. us. Try. Six. Today. Wesley bowling, feeds bowling, in. Bowling. Going sideways and uh, <laughs> Zipatan are renowned for their tackling, but uh, on that occasion they were taking measurements. Try number two. Wesley goes over. They are stamping their authority against a much fancied Isipatana team. Try number two on the cards. They're just about to go up by 12 points to nil, at least on the screen. That version is good. 12 points to nil. With this kicking technique, I think he must have got the first conversion right. We've missed it, but if the scoreline should read as 14 points to nil in favor of uh, Wesley College. Now is it under huge pressure trailing by 14 <laughs> points to nil and not releasing Mr. Patana looking for opportunities and this is their opportunity it's now or never for Mr. Patana they got to go the two tries to get in level terms with Wesley Oh, nice pass. Sending the player through the middle. To your hand. Last two and a half. 
I think SW, the scoreline should read as 12 points to nil. The first conversion was missed, in fact. Last one off. Coach! Bye! Set! Steady! Bowling, bowling, bowling! Now, is Patana looking for an opportunity to score their first try? Time running out for them, just about three minutes remaining. They will have to score twice if they are to have any chance of getting back into this game. Is Patana getting their passes right? Well, they have a little bit of space. The winger trying out the goose step and give the ball. Clear opportunity and clear path for the first try. Sipatana strikes and they want to get it under the post. This is good. This is typical Sipatana way of doing things. SW. Yeah, quite good. Although it's very risky, but they had the confidence to get now their one score away. I mean, if they score and goal it, and they're going to be in front. So it's it's 12 points to seven. And they, they got to take the kick. <laughs> Uh, so Wesley will have possession with a couple of minutes to go. Wesley got caught off guard on that occasion. Now clearly Zipatana, if they can get a try and convert it, it'll be their game. We were expecting the fighting spirits from Zipatana and slowly but steadily the fighting spirits are coming through Zipatana. Getting their tackling efficiency right. Wesley in position instead of clearing it, giving away a high pass. Another dangerous ball by Wesley. Working the ball inside their territory and conceding position back. Here's Isi Patana's opportunity. He got the support and Oh, conceding a penalty for jumping. Jump. Basic mistakes. He was clearly in with a chance of going over, but he decided to put on a jump. Deep dangerous, hence the penalty. Oh, it takes me back to the semi finals of the Loka tournament where uh, St. Peter scored that uh, crucial try. Jumping over, I wonder whether he was timing over to score that try. As we see, it's 14, uh, 12 points to seven. Uh, Wesley has won the game. They're beating Isipatana 12 points. We have a, a cracker of a joke with regarding to jumping over tackle. It became the talking point of the town. It became the talking point around rugby circuits. But here is the first try. Try number two for Wesley. Wesley looks like another team. Could be title contenders. Now as we see, Trinity doing the warm-ups. They are ready. They are in action next. NSPM Harita Sarsavia Obi Balapur Millennial Higher Education and Visa Consultants, your key to a global future. Unlock your potential and study at your dream university with our expert guidance. Our experienced team is here to make your educational dreams a reality. Don't wait. Take the first step towards a world-class education today. Millennial Higher Education and Visa Consultants, your future, our commitment. Unlock your potential. Host of the tournament, Trinity in action for the first time. Trinity OBA unit this time sponsored by Millennial Higher Education and Visa Consultants. And dear Sinanayaka. Already into their second game, 
haven't had too much time to recover like Isipatana. Pretty strong unit traditionally. And then completing a penalty okay. for hands on the ground. The ref Priyanta Gunaratna, experienced campaigner. Nice inside ball, Trinity. I like the speed from Trinidians. Quick hands, swift hand. Considering another penalty, Trinity gets a chance to advance. Now Trinity, they got the, the numbers. Coming inside and creating room. Nice piece of work. DS Sinanaika all of a sudden looking rattled. Trinity just giving out an indication that they've got quite a few players who got the skills and speed. DS, they got their work cut out going through the Trinity team card. Uber Pfizer, Sepan Shakir. Shavin Premaratna, Coach Kulanka Bandara, Fine. Sham Robinson, Duli Samarakon, Rashen Bandar Nayaka, Harsha Samarasinghe, Sanjay Somusari, Samidu Vanigaratna, Gishen Petiagoda, and Ramidu Vikramasinghe. Coach Tarindaratta, interesting, and PCO Chemot. Mutunaika and the manager Umar Ismail Trinity strong unit release, release. top to bottom Yeah, we might be, it might be no surprise if Trinity needs time the Ratta to the Sri Lanka seven skipper uh, Will be on the field taking the field, but I doubt it. I don't think so uh, All the youngsters on the field and not that he's old. He's very young, too But uh, in a crisis you can have the Sri Lanka skip on I'm, think, uh, I'm thinking he's not risking his preparation for the upcoming club rugby season. He will be starting first December and the Candy scheduled to play their first game at Big Pavilla. Take on the facelift. Haven't seen a game for a while. Should be good. Let's go to the DH Sinanaiga team. Lahiru Malinga, Marlon Di Silva, Saranga Udavatta played well in the previous game. Lanka Vijay Surya, Vishwa Akalanka, Tilanka Vishwagit, Denit Sitmina, Umesh Ishara, Manjulari Ratna, Tisara Bala Surya, Patum Hasaranga, and Nisal Malaka, Coach Asela Deshapriya. Done a fantastic job with DS in the first 15 outfit this season and PCO Sankari Silva and manager Hasindu Dinusha. Pretty despite being adventurous, still not being able to put up the first points on the board. Close encounter in prospect. Now DS for the first time getting the ball out wide. Trinity defense is up. Now he found the space, big man, haven't got enough speed, but powering his way through. Trinity tacklers, release, release. taking measurements, <laughs> haven't been strong okay. enough with their tackles, okay. but all of a sudden he conceding position back to Trinity as a result of holding on. Number six. There you go, the first card of the game. Not retreating 10 meters. That's what the yellow was. For not retreating 10 meters is the call. Now Trinity once again gets a chance. Finish, finish, tackle, tackle, finish. Quite a contrast in terms of physical appearance from both teams. Trinity looks much leaner and speedier. And uh, 
DS and Eichel looks like a very strong unit, but we've spoken about speed as he's Trinity goes over for the first try. You got the speed. You will do well in the game of sevens. Trinity scoring the first try. They are up by five points to nil at the moment. DS Chaser started his chase touch too late. Trinity in action for the first time scoring the first try everything Hello. looking up play in the bin for DS Nanaika not helping the course against a strong Trinity unit coached by Tarinda Ratwatta must have given out some serious coaching sevens captain now DS thundering into the Tackler dropping the ball, ball in the process and conceding position back to Trinity. I think on average uh, there are about three to four moves in a half. Looking at the pace, the tournament moving forward. But I think Trinity looks like a team who are prepared to go beyond hands up, hands up. the traditional number of paces. Now Trinity, nice inside ball, getting away from a tackler. This time Trinity got caught offside, conceding position back to DS. DS will definitely utilize this chance to get out of the jail. We have proven wrong, DS deciding to work the ball inside their own 22 meter. And Trinity eventually kicks come. the ball into touch before that there was a knock on our clock we see just uh, about six minutes but what matters is the ref's clock just like that first half ended I think we will get a chance to look at some of the highlights of the first half BS versus Trinity close encounter there you go nicely collected and he immediately spotted that he is in front and uh, there's no catching he moves like a road runner and gets it under the post try scoring opportunity is taken and Trinity is in front by seven points to nil as we take a small break and come back let the candy innovation center the creative hub of NIBM Explore your passion for design, computer science, artificial intelligence, data science, psychology, counseling, and language. Our cutting-edge programs empower students to shape the future with innovation and creativity. Join us to harness the knowledge and skills needed for an exciting career in these dynamic fields. Your journey to success begins here at Candy Innovation Center, where your dreams are transformed into reality. Call 0701981000 today. With a restart of the second half, Trinity gets the kick in. They are in front. They will surely deciding to slow the game down. That's the strategy whenever you are in front. There you go. Seven points to nil. DS Serenaika is in front. DS, uh, I beg your pardon. Trinity is in front. DS Serenaika trailing. We saw right at the second half, Dhammaraja came back into the game by scoring a try just as the second half started. But dear Sarnaika, they will have to contend with the line out. 
some serious speed into the ranks by the looks of it uh, SW yeah absolutely I just want to see how the why the what happened on that line out earlier a treaty defense is quite up in strength now DS getting a chance on well tackled and as a result ball went backward Ref Kunaratna blown the whistle for a penalty in favor of DSL Nayaka. I think that's a red card for Trinity for a deliberate knock on. Yes, that's right. That's a yellow for against a Trinity player for going deliberately knocking on. We'll have another look. Coach! Set. Yes, it can be deemed as a deliberate knock on but he was clearly going for the tackle and uh, unfortunate now he moves forward DS Senanayaka this man earlier in the first half made a breakthrough but didn't quite went on to score the first try for them and DS gets a penalty for an offside This is really, really good from DS. Cut out ball to the speedster. Gets to the ground and uh, yes, player on top. Trinity benefiting from the mistakes. DS commits. Knock back, knock back. From time to time, we can see players not deciding to work the ball out wide and uh, on the receiving end of punishment but he is coming forward gets good sport Phyllis, Phyllis. Play on. Back. nicely stolen by DS Naika number two with the ball in hand trying to make a breakthrough enough speed enough space DS Crying hard right throughout the first half and goes over for the first try under the post. This should be an easy conversion for DSL America. Looks like we got a game on our hand. Seven points each it will be. Take a look at it. Shock here for DSL America. He tried a couple of times prior to this. And finally gets the first score in the second half DS looks good yeah it'd be good that trade you made a miss some mistake of playing uh, one shot how left uh, having said that now it's uh, uh, substitutions gallo we saw substitutions coming in for trade and DS and uh, it's seven apiece with three minutes to go one, two, three, four, five, Crunch six, time for seven, both the teams. Attack, DS attack, attack. ready to restart. We can quite clearly see there's a contrast in approach by DS in the second half. First half, they just try to hurry things up too much. But during the second half, they look a little more composed, calm. The ball handling was up to the mark right throughout the second half lets it bounce and <laughs> lets it go into the touch it will be a line out throw in favor of trinity but some serious yardage in the kick for ds Sinanaika, just as they expected Don't cross the now gap. they are Hello. doing business inside trinity's 22 just what the doctor orders trinity gets the line out throw no kicks, just trying to work the ball out wide. Looking diagonal. Finally meets the tackler. There you go, Shakir goes over. Opportunity stick. Penalty being awarded, he quickly gathers the ball, taking a quick tap and goes over. What a fantastic effort by DS Sinanaka. I think I made a mistake of uh, 
introducing him as Shakir. He's Marlon De Silva. Beg your pardon for that. Marlon De Silva, two tries on the trot. Player of the game so far. Grenade got less than two minutes to come back. Yes, and I got best 12 points to seven. All it takes for Trinity is just a single score. They will have to do it within the space of one and a half minutes. Yeah, the crucial mistake that Trinity made was waiting for the bounce in the corner and going ball in touch. He had no pressure at all. He could have collected the ball, had position and done everything what they wanted to do. He not only let that bounce and uh, he lets it go to the touch. He should have done better. Back, back, back. That was the opportunity he is lo looking for. And eventually got it. And finish it up with a try. Pretty still in with a chance and knocked it forward. Just about a few seconds remaining on our clock. As... Diaz working the ball out wide once more. They have the numbers. I think they are just trying to kill the time. There was a obstruction. Ref clearly spotted and there you go for not backing away. Another yellow card. Diaz in trouble. Provided much needed opportunity for Trinity. Trinity. Advantage over. Gave away the position back to DS. Now DS moving forward. Juggled the ball a bit. Finally catches it. Back, get back. Play on, play on. Play on, says the ref. And get back. Back, back, back. Once again, DS maintaining good stream of play. Number two. Who else? Marlon De Silva, try number three, done it, such a fantastic way, got the dive over, DS, as you predicted, SW, strong contenders, very strong side. Absolutely very strong side, they know what they're doing, and Arsenal, Arsenal they will play. I mean he's a, he's a top class coach, uh, going around in the schools and the clubs so far, he's, he's been just appointed as the uh, coach of uh, Air Force 2. And uh, it's fantastic, doing a very good, excellent job. 17 points to 7. Uh, DS and Nike in front of this old boys, old boys games, and uh, not, not the current person boys, organized by the Trinity Badge of 1999, led by Kavin the Jayasena. Try scorer, two tries for Marlon De Silva and yes, famous win for them. The school's rank is seen, Trinity ranked much higher than DS and this victory must taste very sweet for the old boy unit. There you go, put up the dive and finished it fantastically well and uh, yes, and I got the victors as we take a small break. Ape Shaktiya Obi Rakavarnei Api Orient Traction Samagama. Secured with our strength. Orient Insurance Limited.
Next up, we have DS Megapod uh, St. Anthony's taking on Vidyartha. And St. Anthony's with a restart. St. Anthony's, of course, we get our mentions. 16, 16 Cree Private Limited and Bayraha sponsoring them. Always good to see Mugantile establishment coming forward to help rugby. Vidyartha in action for the first time they look strong yeah they look strong they look they look strong but not that pass it was too strong and the ball found touch and not the player and two of the candy schools battling it out as Faisal is keeping Mark there on the tight line as a assistant referee as if the Antonians will throw the ball in into the line out it's three against two won by Antonians, they're moving the ball to the center, they have found a little gap there and then back to the where the line out took place. Antonians in with the hand in with the in with the ball in hand, won the first game. It was it always a, a different feeling when you started off well, but looks like they are up against a very well drilled, very strong with the other unit, very strong particularly in sevens rugby 2022 schools sevens rugby champions you can clearly see immediately the way move it's like almost autopilot moving on to the gaps instinctively good support and but unfortunately drops the ball Those strong units for Vidyartha, Arosh Ratnayaka, Kavisha Kaluarachi, Churanta Lukuarachi, Isuru Lakshan, Vimanta Senaviratna, Chaturanga Dilshan, Kasun Bandara, Imanka Aryapala, Nimal Kumara, Danushka Pushma Kumara, Charita Senaviratna, and Radisha Senaviratna. There are few famous names in Vidyartha ranks. and. We have Sumedha Malavana as the head coach for Vidyartha OBE outfit. Anush Kolarne, the PCO and manager Khalana Varna Kurasurya. Japanese moving forward. Oh, that was well tackled. But unfortunately, he was offside. I think the tackle was a bit late after the pass was being made. So late tackle was spotted by the referee. As St. Anthony's move forward, the squad for St. Anthony's DLS Dananjaya, Chase Sila Gamage, Ishara Lienage, Johnny Duhimsara. St. Anthony's getting close. Immediately. Grab the ball back by Vidyartha. Gonna do him Sarah. Jai Surya. Ramesh Ramdas. S. Wazim. Emmanuel. E. Nigel. Pavitra Di Silva. E. M. Amarasingha. I think he's the brother of Dinuk Amarasingha. K. Varnakula Surya scored two tries during the previous game. A Paul Watta. Sorry. P. Uyange is the coach. And PCOP Chaturanga and Kushan Michael, the team manager. You've already witnessed okay. St. Anthony's DS Trinity. And Last but not least, Vidyartha from Candy. Six schools from Candy and six schools from Colombo. Seven schools to be precise. Royal Thormian putting up a combined team. Player sitting on the pin for Vidyartha. For a late charge. As the games are long, uh, we can see. I hope the cameras can get onto the the dancing girls on the stage with the lion. 
Absolutely, that's right. The entertainment follows in this uh, special rugby, Lions Rugby Sevens, Bogama 2023, the inaugural sevens. As you see, uh, two of the candy schools, Vidyat and uh, San Anton, is battling it out. This is an old boys tournament, mind you. Anybody who has left school could represent them. It doesn't matter what age you are. I was hoping to represent too, but they said I'm too old. About the team's bragging rights up for grabs, Vidyarta did so well. Oh. We for a moment thought that was a tip tackle, but ref was moving on to the earlier infringement, which is in favor of Vidyarta. Trying to push the man away. The tackling from uh, St. Anthony is on that occasion, back. right up to the mark. Back, back. And as a result, Let's move. Stay back, back, back. Back. I think Outside. the player on that occasion for a moment forgot that this is Sevens Rugby. Just like that, Vidyartha strikes first. Immediately we spotted there should be a strong team. Vidyartha did so well in the Sevens circuit during the school's tournaments last year as well as the season previous to that. Vidyartha in front by five points to nil with a conversion to come. Vidyartha's uh, game, although they're playing one short with a yellow card there, uh, their game is they're keeping it short, keeping it close, and the support is coming in very, very uh, on the outside or the inside, but they're very close support coming in. So they have been drilled that you keep it close, and when the time comes, you have your wingers on the side to move around. And their offloads have been absolutely fantastic to watch, but not to be outdone, Antonians have stood up. Uh, to that level too, as we see the replay wait, 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 of the wait, 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 try. Okay. I was expecting someone like Kamidu Perararu to turn up for Vidyartha outfit. Understandably, club outfits not very keen on releasing players to play in a tournament like this. There's a possibility of player catching an injury and uh, the whole season is in danger. Avidyartha doing the basics hey, hey, right, tackle. left to right and right to left. This time good pressure, though Vidyartha managing to secure the ball. Moves forward looking for support and sends in a good offload. Sends in the man under the force. Try number two for Vidyartha. All of a sudden, Vidyartha stamping their authority and one of the favorites in my book. Oh, fantastic. It's, 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 it's a good side, well knitted side. At the stroke of uh, half, uh, half time, uh, they extend the lead to five points and conversion will be better and better right in front of the post. And it's, the conversion is good, uh, so it'll be 14 points to Vidyata and Anthony just to score. 12 points to nil it ends in favor of Vidyata. The first half catch you with live action as the beginning of the second half. Here are some of the highlights. First try, Vidyata. Ibanka Aryapala, famous name in the candy. Try number two, very easily done. Vidyartha realizing the fact they've got what they needed. They are in front at the end of the first half. We'll catch you after the minute break.
taste the crunch in every bite. Mmm, Vairaha Wow B. You are secured with our strength. Orient Insurance Limited. Starts just like that with Jarta. Comfortable lead, looking to create more opportunities and given away a penalty in the process. 17 points to 7 in favor of a big partner. I saw the wrong scorecard on the screen. There you go, 14 points to nil in favor of Vidyarta College. Here's the opportunity for St. Anthony's to strike first in the second half. Already two converted tries behind. This man had a fantastic first game. But during the second game, Leon. didn't have much of a say. As with the other gathers the ball back. Nice tip pass to the man with a unique hairstyle kicks it out and gathers the ball beautiful inside ball still still searching for supporters finally finally St. Anthony's defenders battling back and gathers the ball what could have been a certain try opportunity missed just like that and Vidyartha St. Anthony's thundering into the tackler, Virasinga, Amarasinga rather. Fourteen points is a sufficient lead to carry forward in the second half with Jartha. Good thing is that they are trying to create more opportunities and come up with more try scores. Okay. You okay? Wait, wait. Oh, no, no, no. Tired legs, repumping the lungs, more than injury. Um, oh. It must be pretty hot out there because we are feeling it in here, and uh, it's it's good it's good to dry the grounds up, but it'll take a toll on the and the players, and everybody want your breath. Because there's been a ding dong battle, Doctor. continuation of position, one side attacking, the other Doctor. side uh, coming back Doctor. with Doctor. position Doctor. to Doctor. counter attack. Doctor. Looks like for Vidyata Ishuru Lakshan in a bit of uh, discomfort. Okay. He looks all right, being cleared by the medics, and uh, we are ready to restart things. With Jartha, as usual, moving forward while working the ball to either side. Deliberate knock on, it seems. Here comes the yellow card. St. Anthony's not making things good for them. Now it will be seven against six for Vidyartha. Certain try scoring opportunity went backward and looking for support. With that, in comparison to their first half, little bunched up. Everybody is so keen for a try scoring opportunity. It's about letting your best man through. Here's the try scorer. Nice side stepping Imanka Arya Pala. There was no support on top for Vidyartha. As a result, Amara Singha gathers it and moves Bandage. forward. Still with Jartha, he's in danger of conceding first try. If Anthony's managed to score the first try, they are still in with the chance of level things up. But as we speak, with Jartha, looks like they are going over for the try number three. Yes, they finally did. Looks like they are very keen on getting the tries under the post, working their way inside. 
finally he decided enough is enough and goes over for the try number three 19 points to nil in favor of uh, Vidyartha it'll be very very tough for St. Anthony's to come back into this game started off the tournament really really well St. Anthony's not helping themselves with man down Vidyartha everything is going right for them up and as you can see the cheerleaders getting their dancing moves the fabulous scenes up here all you need is to turn up here to witness fantastic rugby tournament organized and conducted by uh, Trinity College class of 99 wonderful initiative this initiative of course created by class of 99 to support funding Get back. for their center for excellence which they have opened to support the students to get themselves well equipped to face the challenges lies ahead in the society trinity pioneering educational institution in the hill, hill capitals st Athan is still searching for their first try scoring opportunity with the other, understandably slowing things down. Tackle! Stay back! Really nice turnover ball. And Arya Parler moving through the middle. The pass was a little too high. And this time, number 11 for Vidyartha. Charita Sanaviratna created a little bit of a gap. Kushan Bandara gives it out. Another try coming up for Vidyartha. All but one sided so far. So Anthony seems to have found no answers. Absolutely. They, as I said, they're keeping it close. The support play comes in and very close to them. They're not going wide. At the, uh, when it's only necessary that they they used to go wide. I mean, that's good rugby. Thinking rugby, good rugby, keeping up. Um, it's just a matter of this thing. Uh, uh, they they can keep the ball as long as you want once you cross the line and without touching it down. Yeah, but the good olden days, the referee will tell you you got to touch it down because it's a time waste and. Uh, I, it, it has got changed now. I know it has got changed, but I, I can't see the reason why the day changed it. More than anything to kill off the time. They can wait till the challenge is coming from the opposition to score the tries once they go under the post. There you go. They are clearly in front, so they know for sure. There you go, with Jarta starting things off really really nicely with a victory over much fancied St. Anthony's 24 points to nil I didn't expect that that scoreline SW to be honest yeah that's true we never expect that's that kind of a scoreline but to having said that with the other place it's so close as you see the full time it's 24 nil and uh, we'll be up on commercial break or the highlights these are the highlights powerful Speedy, skillful. Bidyartha got it all. 24 points to nil. That's a serious drubbing on their hometown rivals as we take a small break and come back with second half action. Sarsavia Obi Balapur Jai Kanwan 
Millennial Higher Education and Visa Consultants, your key to a global future. Unlock your potential and study at your dream university with our expert guidance. Our experienced team is here to make your educational dreams a reality. Don't wait. Take the first step towards a world-class education today. Millennial Higher Education and Visa Consultants. Your future. Our commitment. Unlock your potential at the Candy Innovation Center, the creative hub of NIBM. Explore your passion for design, computer science, artificial intelligence, data science, psychology, counseling, and language. Our cutting-edge programs empower students to shape the future with innovation and creativity. Join us to harness the knowledge and skills needed for an exciting career in these dynamic fields. Your journey to success begins here at Candy Innovation Center, where your dreams are transformed into reality. Call 0701981000 today. Hidde ni dah hasil rata yang ia tiket tengkan dan mengatakan Candy Travels and Leisure. Apa syak dia obi raka warni ay? Apa Orient Traction sama agama? Yet another hometown favorite team, King Sud in action for the first time. This time they are up against another team from Kandy, Dharma Raja. Straight away, given away a penalty for not releasing the tackler. Dharma Raja with the ball in hand, works it out wide, looking for room. Nice offload. There you go. If I'm not mistaken, this man scored something like two tries during their first game. And starting off the second game on a higher note. For Dharma Raja, number 10. Ashan Indika Bandara. Dharma Raja, just like that. In front. Striking first always matters in the game of sevens. Just seven minutes per half once you get in front it's a different feeling altogether rather than chasing the game Darbaraja done fantastically well seven points to nil it seems Darbaraja strong unit the likes of Bhavanta Udan Gambua in their ranks Ashan Indika Bandara played so well right throughout the tournament It looks like someone who got nifty piece of footworks. This time for not supporting the body weight, Kingswood gets a penalty in favor and they are moving forward. Right to left on that occasion, the pass was touched too high, wasn't collected cleanly, provided that much needed opportunity for. Dharma Raja defenders to hovering around the ball carrier for King Sud. Still in a Vijay Singha. There are quite a few good players in the Trinity ranks, I uh, beg your pardon, in the King Sud ranks. Such a good team when it comes to schools. Rugby provided quite a few fantastic players 
went on to represent the national squad in the Vira Singha playing for Navy had an outstanding season last year and ref Vishank Abad Khan awarding a penalty for playing offside Kings would in position just about three minutes gone Now Shehan, number 12 for Kingswood, trying to penetrate through the gap. But didn't really work. Ishara Kure gets a ball and for not supporting the body weight, the Kingswood earning another penalty, moving forward really nicely. They absolutely need to get their next score. Sintanth with Dabaraj, a very, very strong outfit, and you can clearly see Kingsud not too far behind at the moment. This time, ref playing advantage, the ball was knocked forward once again. Gives it out and goes over. Tabaraja stamping their authority over their hometown rivals Kingswood 10 points to nil conversion should be a very very easy straightforward yeah, that's right so it's Tabaraja two scores in front with the conversion to come it should be over so that's 12 points to nothing. Kinswood in their first game this morning or this afternoon. Yes, absolutely. You're right. Kingswood in action for the first time. Strong unit. Mohamed Abzal, Tilina Vira Singha, famous name. Divanka Ratnayaka, Asela Vira Sekara, Akila Dilshan, Shamika Bandara, Janita Rajanayaka, Ishara Kure. Apurva Vijay Singha, Heshan Sandeepa, Iranga Sandarwan, Mohamed Sheshan and the coach, Mohamed Azvi. Sadhun Vikrama Singha, the PCO and the manager, Mohamed Fasli. Strong unit, though they are trailing behind by 12 points to nil, Kingswood. For a glimpse, I thought we would have seen Fazil Marjo on the field playing for Kingswood. Oh, that would have been a sensation. Uh, Dharmaraj are in 12 nil, and kids would have position right now. Would have been a fantastic addition for Kingswood OBA unit team. Of course, Marija retired. Must be busy with coaching. Kingswood, the ball handling not all that swift understandably oh nice flip pass now we looking for room met the tackler good pressure by dharma raja gathers the ball and goes over fantastic passage of play for dharma raja doing all the defending and he saw the opportunity gathers the ball did it legally importantly and goes over for the try number three dharma raja dominant yeah, in a, in a short term, in a short version, Kingswood, yeah, it doesn't look much fit, fitter than the Rajans because they're not going to the, now that time, uh, there was a collection by the winger, went to ground, there was nobody in sight to do, uh, he shouldn't have gone to ground because he come in to a support, but he went away from support, went to ground, nobody was in sight to pick that ball up and Dharmaraj said, thank you very much, keep doing it. Now we spotted DS Sinanayaka and we reckon DS Sinanayaka a strong unit for the title. Just like that, 19 points to nil ends the first half. We'll catch you with second half action in a moment. These are the highlights. Bandara so far having a fantastic tournament. Dabaraja so far doing everything right. Look at it. Fantastic piece of work. Turn defense into attack in, within a matter of 
split second and to create a scoring opportunity 19 points to nil in front Dabaraja dominant first half we'll catch you with second half action in a moment Kingswood went touch long and ref Ishanka Abekon asking Kingswood to retake Ready? the kick start. This is the second half. The game between Darbaraja and Kingswood. Darbaraja in front by 19 points to nil as you can see. Dominant. Play on. The Kingswood have quite a few Outstanding players in their ranks still haven't been able to register any points on the board. For me, they've looked a little bunched up together in comparison to Dharma Raja. There you go. Nice chip kick. The chasers in plays and gathers the ball. Oh, beautiful. Fantastic. Dharma Raja, in my book, one of the favorites. It looks like a team who gelled well together good understanding amongst the players and uh, as a result it reflects in the scoreline 24 points to nil against a strong looking kings with outfit i must tell yeah tom roger running away with it uh, a deep kick into the uh, they, they, as looked as if they had planned it practiced it when the kick came through the chaser was good the ball bounces very very uh, towards them and then he skipped the first man who came in to support and gave the ball out to a wider person who's coming to support who had ample uh, space to run and that's why it's 26 points to nil Hurry up. it will be very very tough for kingswood to come back into this game let alone getting in front they are already five 26 points to nil behind if they are to get in front they need four converted tries we can't see that happening strong team on the card some famous names like Tilnavira Singha Absal there you go Unfortunately, on the second attempt, he couldn't gather the ball. Now, Kings would try to work something out, but eventually bundled into touch, and it will be a line out in favor of. Looks like they are moving into a scrum in favor of. Diamond. Oh. There you go, Dharma Raja so far. Very efficient with their defending as well as in their attacks. It's about getting their patterns right, trusting each other. And be there to support the ball carriers in time. He said, this, We have seen that quality from Dharma Raja right throughout the tournament. This is their second game and. If I'm not mistaken, they won their first yeah. game quite convincingly. So, two out of two. They will be moving into the cup round very proudly. There goes the man. Line out catches the ball and touches the sideline. Line out throw in favor of Dharma Raja. I'll be surprised when this goes from strength to strength next year. This particular tournament, I'm sure Nalaka Virakodi might fly down uh, from France to play for Kingswood. 
couch. There are many Bye. players if they are to come down. Sit. Kingswood have produced some fantastic rugby players. Virakoli brothers, Mareja, Ronnie brothers. The list goes on. Backwards. Meanwhile, the Maraja trying their work, trying to work their way out for another scoring opportunity. Tackling from Kingswood wasn't all that good. Let quite a few. A runners ran through the defenders a few more times than they would have liked to. 26 points to nil. Huge gap. I'm sure this will definitely get their morale up. Double Raja. There's no question. They must have trained at least a couple of weeks for this tournament. Well coached. Well thought game plan. Ball handling up to the mark. As you can see, once again, no, no, gets okay. the ball and puts a chip kick. And finds a touch. There's no catching Dhammaraja by the looks of it. 26 points to nil. It's just a matter of Kingswood getting another try or two. Less than two minutes remaining on our clock. It will be very, very hard for Kingswood to gather their thoughts after a thumping. I change, Granil. Looks like this. Yeah, it's a tough task for Kinsu to make a comeback now because he, it's, it's 26 points to nothing. But as, as the saying goes, you fight to the last minute and they're going to give up. Uh, line out taking place in their own half. They're virtually defending that uh, line, but they have the put in the position with them. Let's see if they're moving across the field with that ball that they get. But not to be done so because Dharmaraj has stolen the ball from them and uh, it's. Tom Raja on the move, 26 points to nil. Looks good. Radhika Hetyarachi gives it out. A fantastic ball, but unfortunately went forward. Now try to finish off the game, but outstanding effort by Dharma Raja. One of the favorites, if not the favorite. Yes, Dabaraja in fact went on to score the try. 31 points, 33 points to nil. Huge victory. Take a look at the victory margin. Dabaraja had very little trouble right throughout the game. Got their game plan right. This is the final try. And for a moment thought, uh, Radhika Hetyaraj, he thrown that one forward and as you can see, he was Ted Nori. I, for a moment, thought the ref was blown the whistle for a knock forward. It wasn't the case as Dabaraja, a race starting and not finding 10 meters. In fact, gone into touch on full. It means it will be a free kick in favor of Kingswood College right at the center field. It will be nice to see if Kings would get a try in their favour to boost their confidence moving on to the second round of games. Because this doesn't look good on them. Such a strong team on paper. The likes of Tirina Veera Singha. You and I discussed about it. Mohamed Abzal, such a fine player during his days at Kingswood. Coach. Bye. Set. Steady. Nevertheless, now Dharmaraja once again getting an opportunity to extend their already impressive scoreline. Udan Kabua with the ball in hand. Nicely moving forward. The tackles aren't working for Kingswood. Last foot, last foot. Providing the opportunity for Dharmaraja players to get their offloads right. No real pressure. Oh! <laughs> he tried out a step and fallen over. Fortunately, he bounced back. 38 points to nil. Pumping win for Dharmaraja. 
I did expect that. I did expect a very yeah. close tussle between these two units, but Darbaraja looks like a far more seasoned, well-oiled machine, like a team. No. Did manage to get the conversion over. 38 points to nil it ends. Darbaraja strong favorites for the title. Lions Rugby Sevens 2023 organized and conducted by TCK class of 99 impressive scoreline I'm sure the supporters for Darbaraja will be considering the possibilities of turning up to support in the coming rounds their first round games were fantastic Pratik ahead to Arachi providing a quality ball for his teammates to go over just like that dominant wind for Darbaraja as you take a small break tiles St. Peter's taking on Wesley both teams playing the second third game as you see a good run in the center by the Wesley uh, player can't see the numbers very clear to get the name across but it's uh, all that hard work is of no use when you go and give a penalty uh, in the center field for both sides to use both as we St. Peter's on the counter-attack passing evolve and super support coming in look at those toss up and it's a try what a fantastic start just 41 seconds st peter's is in front st peter's against this ipatana didn't start it off strongly the game against st peter rather ended in a draw but fabulous start for their second game st peter's look like they are rejuvenated jason kanwarada got the conversion over seven points to nil wesley all the pressure Going through the team cards for St. Peter's, Chatomina Netsara, Hirna Gunaratna, Dilan Fernando, Venuk Ranatunga, Anuk Umavin Fernando, Rukshan Madhushanka, Kamesh Fernando, Sharan Tisarachi, Jason Karnaratna, and Tikshana Eshan. Manager, Mangala Dharma Priya. And for Wesley. Kevin Helpwood, Ruchita Hapugala, Rajesh Moralitharan, famous name who played so well for Wesley a few years back, Malaysia Tiranagama, Russian Rashdan Shahabdin, Ravin Nishanta, Akida Gamman Pillar, Dinit Shramanta, Shem Elgisha Shark Jurampati Shark Jurampati is Rukhara and Sahar as we see St. Peter's got it close but Wesley keep the ball away and escapes the prison already going by seven points and Venus once again we'll have to start oh what a fantastic work he tried to kick that one and move to the safety and Wesley nice start down and collects the ball and goes over says thank you very much absolutely look at that replay kicked a second time in the tournament that the kick has gone to hand and a try has been scored 
but starting off from that old goal line, it was a kick and chase, kick and chase, couldn't make it. St. Peter's recovered it, passed it. They tried to get out of jail by kicking the ball and straight went to Wesley player. But the conversions is not right good. So St. Peter's lead by two points. What a try. What a try indeed. St. Peter's still holding on to a stand the lead of two points. Wesley, what a way to come back. We expected a close battle, a close tussle. And previously, Wesley went on to beat Isipatana. But fancy unit in schools rugby. And St. Peter's drowned their first encounter against Isipatana. Starting off the tournament. Now Wesley inside St. Peter's 22. Always the right place to play rugby. It doesn't matter whether it's sevens or fifteens. This is what the coaches asking you to do. Play rugby on your opposition's half as much as possible. Wesley understanding the fact good team one against easy partner so their confidence must be high for a strange reason oh what a beautiful sidestepping skills i was just about to say for a strange reason he's looking to go to the shorter side but this man had other plans beautiful work goes right under the post for Wesley Ishak Jurampati fantastic Wesley up by 12 points to 7 St. Peter's all of a sudden toiling behind started off fantastically well yes defenders frozen on their foot beautiful work St. Peter's trying to barge their way through the passes not finding the man man with a ponytail of st peter's they know for a fact they need to hurry things up they are trolling behind not by much just five points could be anybody's game still still in the first half his footsteps i like the steps that he was going through one two three inside outside and then he finds the gap beautifully like a like a knife going through butter simple as that under the post okay, good. that was knocked forward just about and St. Peter's had the opportunity of counter-attacking that time and they, took, they take the wrong option. They keep it on the short side, which is very good. Opportunity of drawing the defense to the side and then they have numbers on the outside. They must remember, you need space to run in the sevens. That's where you create the space to run. He should have added it, kept the ball in hand and looked for support. He decided to kick it out and eventually presenting a gift for Wesley. Gratefully accepted. As a result, they are in front of once more. Wesley penetrating the defenses of St. Peter's. <coughs> oh, oh, harsh, harsh. Ah, the, the, the second kick that, that has gone into the hands of Wesley came beautifully and, and, and they, have been, they have been slicing through a bit of nice little Okay. slipping through tackles having position and St. Peter's are finding it difficult to read their game Thanks. and uh, keeping it close dance making a dance in the alley and then hitting the gaps I think Wesley eyes bunched up a little too much on that occasion there was a player clearly in front ref yeah, calling yeah, yeah. for obstruction and <laughs> St. Peter's I think they should use this opportunity to get some score on the board that will set up a beautiful second half. Two very strong schools rugby players. Look like he got a player injured from Wesley. He's carried off the ground. This looks like the final play of the half in this game between Wesley and St. Peter's. Two strong units. St. Peter striking first. 
Now they are trailing behind. Only got themselves to blame. Trying to fend off defenders. Didn't work. Now Wesley opportunistic. Gathers the ball. Unfortunately, tumbles over. A couple of times and support not arriving. So St. Peter's coming around. It's a knock on. Half time, yeah. <laughs> there goes the first half. Wesley in front, 12 points to 7. I think we should have a look at the highlights, especially that gift given away by St. Peter's to Wesley, which is why they are trailing behind. There you go, nice offload to get the first try for St. Peter's. Absolutely brilliant start. And this is where they concede the position back and the lead. Take a look at the sidestepping skills. Defenders frozen. One of the players to watch out few key matters coming up as we take a small break you are secured with our strength orient insurance limited Every bite. Mmm. Bairaha. Wow, bee. You. This is not like. Wesley with a restart. Goes deep. And St. Peter's. With the ball in hand and moves forward. Looks like. He found a space and finally met with a tackle by the time. He has gained large number of meters in favor of St. Peter's this is good oh nice ball number two for St. Peter's had a fantastic game so far Hirun Gunaratna provided some serious support there for his fellow teammate after getting out the pass now St. Peter's Still, look a little unsettled. They started off fantastically well, and there, there goes no, the base. yellow card. And the referee indicated it's high tackle, high tackle. That's why he went for the yellow card. So, firstly, we'll play the next minute with six. But they lead by 12 points to 7 over St. Peter's. And this side have been this team, this game has been a ding dong battle with both sides coming uh, close to scoring, not finding support, and there's a counter attacking. Now, they're now in the, uh, St. Peter's in a very good position to, to position to equal or to be in front. Number three, two Absolutely. Get back. 7 against 6. The momentum is with St. Peter's. There should be. Utilizing this opportunity to get back in front and that will set up the game really, really nicely. Okay, roll away. St. Peter's forwards rather reluctant to give it out. Advantage. There you go. Lost it forward. 
This was on the cards for some time. I think SW they started off the second uh, first half brilliantly with a you know some really nice offloading skills and uh, looking for support and all of a sudden uh, all the players from St Peter's whenever they get the ball they themselves trying for try scoring opportunities rather than working as a team that what hinders their progress uh, and it with the score line 12 points to 7 even with <laughs> A one-man advantage. They're still trailing behind. What happened there? He was trying to take a quick tap, and uh, Saint Peter's wasn't backing off ten meters. I for a moment thought that Alexander saying play on. Yeah, for a moment, because Alexander was on the way. Yeah, he was uh, obstructing there, and, and there was a court win, so we were only one. And I think Wesley should actually go deep and give position to West, uh, St. Peter's without uh, moving around in the 22 because they're one man short. But that's absolute guts to come play around there with one man short. They got a penalty now. A quick tap taken. Oh my gosh, and there's nobody to catch him, just moving. Absolutely, Churampati is the man of this game. Absolutely, he took the quick one. Nobody at home. Thank you very much. Fantastic play, opportunistic. Churampati, player to watch out. This is just the second game for Wesley, and by the looks of it, St. Peter's just about to go down. First game, they didn't manage to win, came up with a draw. But the second game, Wesley clearly in front, having beaten Isipatana. Their confidence must be on another level. And I rank them right up there along with Darvaraja as the contenders for the title. I'm sure he must be connected to the Jurampatis of the cricketing famous uh, Jurampatis who played for Wesley. Uh, nevertheless, the boy was very quick. Look at that tap. Quickly took the tap, all were watching, and nobody home. Here I go. This is my second try for the game. Thank you. Defenders for St. Peter's looking at the referee and hoping uh, he'll blow the whistle at any time. But that didn't happen. Referee says play on, and as a result, obviously, it will be very, very tough to catch them. 19 points to 7. St. Peter's still trying their best. With men, even with one man down, Wesley come up with a score. St. Peter's still a solitary try. Once again, Jurampati in position, opportunistic player. I said that a couple of times, he's one of the players to watch out along with Bandara for Dharma Raja. Now, Wesley found space once more just ambling across for try number four expected a close fight whenever these two teams <coughs> clashing against each other but Wesley looks like a very well drilled well trained and well thought of team yeah, absolutely. If you see the replay of the try, who is there to support him? Jurampati. He's there. He's all over the place. Fantastic. Absolutely fantastic. They're showing this on Pure TV, you said, on what's the channel? Yes, uh, it's on Pure TV channel number 220, even TV Extra. For those who are not in a position to come down to Bogambara, gets a chance to witness this live action on SLT. TV channel number 220 in addition to Elite Adventures FB page as well as YouTube so there are plenty of avenues for you to join the live action Lions Rugby Sevens 2023 Wesley dominant victors over St. Peter's the game is still not over but I can pretty much conclude Having look at how St. Peter's plays <laughs> right throughout the tournament. It'll be very, very tough. Just a matter of seconds remaining. 
It'll be interesting fact that when somebody puts a TV on after you have mentioned or put it on to watch this thing, we never knew there was a school tournament. When did when is college? When did college? <laughs> when what <when's> tournament? <laughs> of course, these are all boys once again wearing their college colours and turning up and playing the game they love the most. At Trinity College, class of '99, providing that opportunity. Brilliant idea, brilliant timing, fantastic tournament. St. Peter's get a consolation try, try number two for them. Started off the game on a higher note with a try and finishing it off with another try. I'm sure the conversion wouldn't be a difficult one, but still convincing winners. Wesley, 24 points to 14 to conclude the game number. <laughs> game number 10. Plenty of games coming up. So we'll get a chance to look at the highlights of the second half between St. Peter's and Wesley. There goes the full time score. Jurapati, he's the man to watch out. Take on a quick tap, there's no catching, goes under the post. Wesley expected a tough, tough task, tough battle from the, these two teams and Wesley did everything right, did the basics right, being opportunistic, especially Jurampati is there to support the play each and every time and by being vigilant, by scoring a try. This is the final try for St. Peter's. Too little, too late. 14 points to 24. It ends. We'll catch you at the beginning of the next game after taking a break. You are secured with our strength. Orient Insurance Limited. Millennial Higher Education and Visa Consultants, your key to a global future. Unlock your potential and study at your dream university with our expert guidance. Our experienced team is here to make your educational dreams a reality. Don't wait. Take the first step towards a world-class education today. Millennial Higher Education and Visa Consultants, your future, our commitment. Next game is between another two hometown teams, St. Sylvester's taking on Trinity. Sylvester's lost their first game. And so is Trinitians. They lost their first game against DSN and Ayaka. And Trinity starting off with some speed eventually holding on and as a result presented another penalty Wesley sorry uh, St. Sylvester's taken a quick tap this band had a fantastic game though they went on to lose it starting off on the right foot once again moving the ball from left to right two against one overlap created looking for support and support arriving Sylvester's it's just a matter of being calm and composed oh just meter shot good defensive work by Trinity trying out the blue step tried to move forward lost the ball in process and St. Sylvester in with the chance, looking for someone to offload the ball and 
finally gets it i'm starting to wonder oh once again fallen touch shot finally goes over for the try number one saint sylvester striking first oh no been held up for a moment thought as he goes over trinity did fantastic well got underneath the ball finally they've decided to award the try confusing they've confused us i initially thought it was a try but ar assisted sylvester's in front five points to nil just not what the doctor orders for trinity lost their first game looking for their first win in the season as a host conversion beautifully done two more points being added since sylvester's doing everything right early minutes early dominance On that occasion, player was underneath, but uh, clearly, Sylvester's attacker clearly touched down there. Sylvester's with a deep restart. Trinity gathers the ball, moving forward. Oh, beautiful counter rocking Trinity under serious pressure. There were there was no one to support the rock. Still, Trinity lucky to be in position. Knocked it forward once again. Presented the position back to Saint Sylvester's. Trinity so far has been very slacky. Yeah, Trinity rugby has, uh, so far has not been up to the grade, up to the mark. Uh, even though that last pass was just a hurry, never knows this is hurry. They are not playing sevens, or oh, no, they are playing fifteen either, because they have been not. Looks like they just want to make up the numbers. They are not that uh, geared up to play the game. They were the fancied side against DS Renaika. Somehow lost it. Now trailing behind against another hometown team. Looks like. They're gonna go over for the second try. Rip once again. Taking the word of AR. Try being awarded. What matters is the ref's decision and quite a few players on that occasion for Trinity. Trying to deceive the ref. But with the help of AR. The ref was spot on. Conversion much tougher from deep, just about 38 meters out. Since Sylvester's up by 12 points to nil, Trinity will have to provide some answers. They were the favorites. Since Sylvester's going into this game as the underdogs. Now for St. Sylvester's, uh, Gihan Madhushanka restarting things. St. Sylvester's up with tackles. Trinity. Harsha Samarasinga gives it out inside. Eventually, presenting the ball back to. Oh, had he collected? It's just a matter of leaning over. But fortunately for St. Sylvester, that one didn't stuck. Yeah, I know, because it's it's because of the half hearted attempt. Although it was attempted, it was not fully hearted attempt. Just that hand out there, substitution. But uh, I think it's, it's a toll that is taking on the fitness on the 3D players. May have not been that prepared for this tournament, but nevertheless, I'm sure when it gets from strength to strength this tournament, things are going to be very serious. What matters is your intent. You are turning up for this tournament. You are here to do your best. And Trinity so far haven't been able to do their best. Some of these players 
uh, household names during their school days played really really well for Trinity so is the players for St. Silvestre's done a fantastic job they've been coached by none other than Lasita Attanagoda famous son from St. Silvestre's now much needed opportunity being created by Trinitians This will definitely make things interesting. As Sanjay Somosuri goes over for the try number one for Trinity. All of a sudden, it's a different ball game. Seven points to 12. I'll come from. Oh, he misses it. Unbelievable. I'm not too sure what went through his mind. Number eight for Trinity Harsha Samara Singh having scored the try. Easy conversion being missed as a result. They are training still behind just five points on the board and St. Sylvester still up by 12 points. Here's the replay. And we take a small break and come back with second half action live. Unlock your potential at the Candy Innovation Center, the creative hub of NIBM. Explore your passion for design, computer science, artificial intelligence, data science, psychology, counseling, and language. Our cutting-edge programs empower students to shape the future with innovation and creativity. Join us to harness the knowledge and skills needed for an exciting career in these dynamic fields. Your journey to success begins here at Candy Innovation Center, where your dreams are transformed into reality. Call 0701981000 today. Candy Travels and Leisure. St. Silvius is starting off the second half. Trinity turning behind by seven points, working the ball out wide. Good step in. But bet the tacklers. St. Silvius getting their defensive work rate up. Once again, Trinity goes from right to left. Eventually finding the space to the side and in front. Trinity much needed. Try scoring opportunity created and he just gone over. Just before the completion of the first half, Trinity scored a try, didn't convert it. Hopefully, they can convert this try and get things in level terms 12 point each, which would eventually make this game a very interesting one hometown clash. St. Peter's Trinity. Trinity, of course, playing in the Division 1. St. Sylvester's playing in the, the Tier B. So, St. Sylvester's got all the reason, but unfortunately, Trinity missing the second conversion as well. Trinity, for some time, had a little bit of a problem with their face kicking options, place kicking options rather. Looks like it okay. continues with the All Boys. Very easy drop goal being missed, not once but twice. Play on, play on. 
There you go, ref says, play on. <laughs> What's your take on that? Just being vigilant. Yeah, absolutely. Bananaika, the youngster. Well, surprise too. Everybody's surprised. Did I speak too much of, too early about Trinity's performance? They have come back with vengeance and rolling like lions, although they missed the two easy conversions. They should have been in front by 21 points. 21 points, nothing. Dude. Yes, indeed. The ball went loose, collected. Yes. Legitimate scores the try. Saint Sylvester's for a moment caught off guard, got caught napping. Absolutely. Now I know the secret because why they missed the kick. Bandaraga took the kick from the other 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 end from the in goal area. He should have been doing that right through. One out of three. He should he should be the trusted man for conversions and ideally okay. Time on. taking the kick okay. from in goal area. Now Trinity in front. St. Okay. Sylvester's enjoyed the lead for the best part of this game and Time. looks like taking the player in the air. Possible card coming up. Yeah, it's a possible card. Sam Kane card. It should be red. I think taking off him. Okay. Or the player is checking. Is he checking whether he's on the field or not? Am I to go down again? I'm just joking. <laughs> that should have been not tolerated. Okay, okay. Safety of the player is paramount. Soon as the card comes up, he should be okay just like okay. that. <laughs> you were right about that. Advantage. Knocked it forward. A ref playing advantage in favor of St. Sylvester's. Trying to move through the gap. Presented the ball. And the Trinity player was on the way. And ref had no option but to go back for the initial infringement, which is a scrum in favor of St. Sylvester's. Now, all of a sudden, the energy levels from St. Sylvester's not all that good. While they were in front, they maintained that attitude, that energy, okay. that Crouch. vibe, slowly but steadily okay. diminishing. Crouch. Interesting, there's no card Five. for that. I'm surprised. Set. You reckon that was a clear red? <laughs> St. Sylvester still in with a chance, just about four minutes remaining. This time. How about the referee? Madugala, definitely he should release the ball. He has daylight. And Trinity has the opportunity of keeping position for the next four minutes. If they don't score, but they're going to try and score. Bandanaika uh, wants to find touch, wants to bring the, bring the clock down. Russian kicks it out into touch and uh, they will be throwing in. Which gives them the chance to extend their lead. It should have been 21 points to 12. Unfortunately, missing two out of three conversions. All three right underneath the post or just about. Now, Trinity with newfound confidence. Bandaranaika gives it out. Oh, fabulous inside ball. Bandaranaika comes in support. Offload not finding the mark. Still looks like number one. Pfizer for Trinity College goes over for the try number four. Trinity dominant second half, first half they are they were trailing by 12 points to 5 but done absolutely brilliantly in the second half 
must have learned from their mistakes and got their work rate up their handlings their support is way better than in the first half as a result in front by 22 points to 12 just about three minutes remaining it will be very very tough for uh, St. Silvestre is now, as I mentioned, St. Silvestre is starting off the game as the underdogs for a moment. Or oh, for the best part of this game, they maintained the lead. But Trinity, just when it mattered, gets in front and extended their lead. Referee was not happy with the restart. But Trinity leading by 22 points to 12. The side that was sleeping has been woken very ru rudely. They're back with vengeance. They're back with some good play, good support play, good running angles, and keeping possession with them and recycling. Trinity in with the chance of scoring another try. Nice offload. Went backwards, says the ref. And Trinity still keeping in position, number eight for Trinity. Harsha Samara Singha conceding the position back to St. Silvestres, but on that occasion, coming through the side, says the ref, Madugalla. Trinity rams into his opposite number. Still, there you go, making things easier by working as a team. Plenty of hands. Plenty of players, plenty of support, and uh, lead extends. Fantastic second half for Trinity. I'm sure the Trinitians must have seen their coach, Talan Ratwata, warming up, wanting to come back and play. An inspiration to come in as number six for Trinity, taking that conversion. And he makes it good. He makes it good. So he got the two points to Trinity. I'll be a few seconds away from the uh, full time. Or is it full time? It is full time. I'm starting to wonder where was all these skills in the first half and the game against DS Zelenaika. Trinity well and truly on their way back. 29 points to 12 as we take a look at the highlights. There you go. Matt had a plenty of speed and the chaser started off late. As a result, not being able to catch the man, Russian Bandar Naika goes over. Opportunity to play legitimate. Given the lead back to Trinidians, and from that point onwards, Trinidians were dominant. It's just one way traffic for Trinity. So Trinity losing one, winning one, and their confidence must be high moving on to the second game or to the, the second round. Successful conversion makes it. Ape Shaktiya Obi Rakavarnei Api Orient Traction Samagama. As you can see, Royal Tommy and Combined Team today taking Vidyartha on. Vidyartha, one of the favorites for the title, at least according to our opinion. Scoring the first try, very little trouble. Sure, there must have been a little bit of confusion about the jerseys. They would have been looking look alike. Uh, that may be reason why Royal and St. Thomas's team are wearing it inside out, but we will not see any numbers on it. No, there's any way we didn't see any numbers. As Vidyata has got the points on the board, conversions on right, and they will remain five points to nil. Uh, Vidyata leads by five. So we can see the jerseys, we can see the shorts, who's, who's, who's a Tomian, who's a Royalist, but they're wearing their respective school shorts.
Arroyo combined team trying to work a few passages in their favor didn't work on that occasion just about minute okay. gone Vidyartha is in front Vidyartha I reckon one of the favorites for the title alongside along with uh, Dharma Raja and DS got, Senanayaka wait, uh, Trinity got? won their previous game not looking too bad and Wesley winning both their okay. games so far raise their hands up and saying we are here to win meanwhile with Dartha once again doing the basics right and there's no cashing how about that for a window get out of our way says and goes under the post I mean, it's going to be an easy game for Vidyata because against the Zomians and uh, Royal team combined, I don't think they were much prepared for this tournament because they are carrying only uh, nine players. And uh, But you know, it's good to have to take part in a tournament like this because I have a strong feeling it's going to be a very strong tournament in the future and it's a good concept. It's a very nice, good concept. True, true. I have the same feeling about this tournament. Uh, I'll be not surprised if other OB units starting off this concept and organizing tournaments on their own. I think Roy Tho team deciding to wear their jerseys inside out to make it easier for them to recognize their team. Royal Thomian jersey, Royal Thomian combined Royal teams jersey and Vidyarth jersey. Very much a look alike. So smart work. Wearing the jerseys upside, inside out. A Royal Thomian team. Trying to work something. On that occasion went down cheaply. Tackling from with the Arthur right throughout the tournament this is their second game has been very good nice inside ball trying to break away good sidestepping skills on display Natomians getting their tacklings right and as a result turn the ball over fantastic work even though with just nine players in the squad it's really, really nice to see them turning up. And there you go. You put the hard work. You get it right. And gets the try. Much needed one for Royal Thomian. Against the run of play, I must say. A little bit of brilliant skills by the tie scorer. The sidestepping, dummying. And see that half a gap. And he was through. The conversion is good. So once again, it's, it's, it's getting closer. 12 points to 7. Uh, one, one, one scoring game it can be anybody's game but there's no doubt about it but we are up here like to see both the teams battling it out right till the end there are a few games teams given up given it up very very cheaply very very quickly good to see from Roy Thor combined team showing some spirits after conceding two tries on the trot, coming back with their own try. Oh, there you go. Trying his best to catch, but this man got too much gas in his tank. He goes over for the try number three for Vidyartha. There's no question as to which team is better prepared, but hats off for Royal Thormians putting up a combined team to so solidarity and on top of it playing decent enough rugby conversion very easily done extending the lead and there you go the end of the first half ref blown the whistles as predicted, Vidyartha 
is in front by a big margin already. I'm sure we will get a chance to see the first half highlights. There you go, Iman Kariyapala breaking through. Key player for Vidyartha. This is the second try. Had very little trouble. Fending off and goes over. Then the comeback try for Royal Tomians. Good spirits are shown. Couple of steps to the right and left. Goes under the post. Seven points. And this is the try to conclude the first half of Vidyartha. Brilliantly done. Too much speed. There's no catching. And it's the first half, 21 points to nil in favor of Vidyartha. We'll catch you with... Back live with second half action, Royal Thomians combined team clashing against Vidyartha. I made a mistake reading the scoreline. Royal Thomians 7, Vidyartha 19. Still, big lead at the beginning of the first half. There you go, the try scorer still got enough gas. There's no stopping. Not at all. Looks like number 10 for... Number 4, in fact. Isuru Lakshan. Brilliant player during his school days and turning up for OB outfit and doing really, really well. Proud moment. Two tries on the trot. He might get a chance to score a hat-trick of tries. But at the moment, he looks like a little bit gassed out. Absolutely. Two tries on a trot. It's not about the hat trick. I'm sure the coach will start deciding to replace with fresh legs and save it for another game. Because you can't sub them out. It's it's almost mid, uh, 12, 12 mid noon. Uh, the time sir. and it's sir, sir. Oh, it's 12.45 and uh, it's very hot and very sunny. That's the good news. And hopefully this uh, hot sunny condition will not turn into a heavy water downpour in the evening usually when it when it's hot in the afternoons and in the mornings okay. you can expect a downfall in the evening hopefully not a big one that curtails the chances of continuing this wonderful tournament rep awarding a free kick in favor of royal Tomian outfit they are still de determined. That is very pleasing to see. 24 points to 7 down. This is exactly what we are coming to expect from these teams. From all the teams, in fact. Once you turn up in the middle, it's about getting your best game out. And though underprepared, Royal Thormian outfit. Playing good rugby, scored a try, looking for the second. Oh, big collision in the middle. Now, they should create an opportunity. Yes, it is. A little bit of a stutter before going over. They should give back some confidence for Royal Thormian combined outfit. Absolutely brilliant try. All, all, every, every player handle it. Beautiful support play, beautiful on the on the pod, and the distribution was good, and it ended up in a try. It's it, 
It's just a matter of time if they have been together for some time and they're trained together seriously. Look at that, the hands coming in and uh, virtually scoring that try. It's a beautiful, very nice to watch. Conversion isn't successful, nowhere near, so it'll remain 12 points to 24 in favor of Vidyartha. Very, very tough for Royal Thomian outfit to catch Vidyartha. The lead is 12 points and Vidyartha looking to preserve a little bit of their energy and cardinal mistakes not finding 10 meters and free kick in favor of Vidyartha asking for trouble definitely right at the center field Vidyartha getting their handling Less, skills no. To create another scoring opportunity, long ball to the center. Once again, coming back inside to the shorter side. Bet with the tackles, support arriving just in time, and with Arthur moving on to the next pace, still inside their own half and knocked it on right. it was the opportunity they were <coughs> meddling with the ball far too long inside their 22 meter eventually Villora says thank you so much he was coming up putting so much pressure on the the attacker eventually drops the ball must be gassed out very slack piece of ball distribution by Vidyartha wrapped them so much but throughout the latter part of this game they've been fading away yeah, so you, I mean you can't Villavara was not, not stoppable then I'm sure he won't be, be stoppable even now because I heard he's trying to make a comeback and play some cup rugby and it'd be good to see him on back on the field Now it's just a matter of another converted try to level things up for Royal Thomian Outfit. Oh, just like that. He's the man I've spoken about. Looks like coming to Perora back on field. Is he? With Jarta. Taking a, you know, taking a nap and coming back and scoring the final try possibly. Very hot, very humid. for a moment thought coming to paralyze in action because he ran like him and moved like him with the after they are safe good fighting spirits being shown by royal thomian outfit which is exactly what we are coming to expect and which is nice to see not gone 10 meters cardinal mistake ref still says Play on. And now with Gartha looking for another try, trying to create a busting opportunity. Scored two tries and presented a quality ball. There you go. It is very, very tough when you get your handling skills up to the mark. Defenders. Eventually, Vidyartha for some reason still not being able to finish up the move, keeping the ball in position, working this way to the other way. Good tackle, nice inside step. Goes into contact rather than moving forward by distribution of the ball. Advantage. A big man takes a quick tap and trying to barge his way through for a try. Didn't work. Now as a result. Back to try and tested formula. Now for a moment thought why he was stuttering. He was given a clear passage for a try. 
eventually he decided to stop and uh, wander. Could have been a cramp, but anyway, goes over for another try with Darta extending their lead to 29 points to 17. The biggest the fact is that they're making such a difficult task to score the try. They have so much position and uh, maybe they're stepped out, maybe the, the heat, the, the tiredness is saying as the conversion is not, not good. So 34 points to 17 with the other victorious expected against a, a gutty Royals St. Thomas time team this time in this game. They showed a lot of guts, showed a lot of running skills and uh, in a matter of time. But with that, of course, it's a strong contender as we discussed to the cup uh, championship. And it was good. 34 points to 17 is a full time scores. So we get a chance to look at some of the scintillating highlights. Here's the first score. This man wearing jersey number four, Isuru Lakshan, scored two scintillating tries just uh, utilizing his speed eventually gassed out this is the third try for royal thorman combined team and uh, in fact this is the third try where anruddha villavara collects the ball and uh, scoring opportunity being provided through slack handling and vidyartha eventually going over for another try Right there, I was starting to wonder why he is trying to stop himself rather than going over. Just like that, the game between St. Thomas and Royal ended. We'll catch you with the next game, which is between St. Joseph's and Kingswood. You are secured with our strength. Orient Insurance Limited. Next up, we have Kingsu taking on St. Joseph's. Looking at how they played in their first game, what do you reckon? Who's the favorite to win this game? It will be a good game because St. Joseph Kingsu. Um, but the Joes, I think, will have a slight edge over them. Taking a while to clear the ball, St. Joseph's. Now, the usual patterns. Oh, yes. Made the penetration but couldn't find the pass. Kingswood below par during their first game. Hopefully, they will come back into this tournament by winning the second game. Speedster moving ahead. Met with a couple of tacklers and uh, eventually presented the ball but before that he was bundled into touch this man with a interesting hairstyle scored two tries during their first games for st joseph's the man with the hairstyle of jim kelly absolutely fast still St. Joseph's as well as Kingswood looking to register the first points. They knocked it forward. A ref playing advantage in favor of St. Joseph's. Before moving into the lunch break, this is the final game. This is this game will conclude the first round of matches. 
we had quite a few scintillating games between top rugby playing schools right throughout the first half of the tournament and interesting second half the cup round plate round and shield round an interesting game between candy former greats as well as sierra and fc greats will be taking place around 4 p.m meanwhile kingswood still trying to get their first try ref playing advantage for for not releasing and now st joseph's getting their handling skills right now work the ball forward and uh, it unfortunately knocked it and kingswood in possession nice inside ball sent in a good long ball but he was pretty much directed into the tackler now met with a good tackle and equally good offload from kingswood kicks it into st joseph's 22 meter territory gathers the ball oh nice piece of work by St. Joseph's backline play there. Right throughout this game, we haven't seen real continuity between St. Joseph's as well as Kingswood. They're starting off well, not completing the passages to their advantage. Few knock ons error ridden game so far just about four minutes in Satit Silva man with serious speed was injured closer to the latter part of the previous rugby league season I'm sure he he's fully recovered and raring to go now St. Joseph's the throw not finding the man as a result, St. Joseph's went under heavy tackling by the Kingswood and the ref awarding a penalty in favor of St. Joseph's for player not rolling away. Now Satit Silva, oh beautiful ball! To the man with a fancy hairstyle and uh, you reckon and you calling by your favorite cartoon character speedy gonzalez goes over he's made a lot of intros he's been scoring a lot of tries and he has been fantastic he sees all over the place he's in, in defense in in in, in scavenging and in, in scoring tries and now converting just like Juropati for wesley St. Joseph's, of course, lost their first game, so they will be looking at the possibilities of keeping their hopes alive moving forward for a title. Conversion is good and uh, seven points to nil. St. Joseph's in front. They are still in the first half, Kingswood. Yet to score, Kingswood, uh, if I'm not mistaken, didn't manage to score a try during their first game. which was against Dharmaraja, a runaway victors. This is Joseph looking for their second try scoring opportunity, but yes, they're getting the ball back. Let's see of a knock on. Russia and Gunavadana, I beg your pardon. Yes, Russia and Gunavardana played for Cap Captain St. Joseph a couple of years back. Fine player. Haven't seen him turning up for a club rugby team during the previous season. Hopefully this time he'll be featuring in for one of the leading club rugby teams. Oh, nice offload. Gets the support inside. No stopping Satyat Silva. Brilliant. 
St. Joseph's extending their leads. Kingswood drilling behind. Looks like Kingswood finding it difficult. Two games on the trot. Yeah, I think the offload made the difference ultimately. So the conversion is good. That's 14 points to nil. Just like that, first half ended. We shall move in for a break before we come back with second half action live. You are secured with our strength. Orient Insurance Limited. Millennial Higher Education and Visa Consultants, your key to a global future. Unlock your potential and study at your dream university with our expert guidance. Our experienced team is here to make your educational dreams a reality. Don't wait. Take the first step towards a world-class education today. Millennial Higher Education and Visa Consultants, your future, our commitment. Back with second half action, Kingswood trailing behind, 14 points to nil. St. Joseph's getting their work rate up, looks like the favourites to win this game. Roshan Gunavadana clears the ball, but inside the ruck there was a hand and as a result, a ref awarding another penalty in favour of St. Joseph's. So far, we haven't been able to see any fluency from Kingswood outfit. The first 15 outfit didn't do too well in the rugby league for two years. Hopefully, the next season will be a good one for them. But these players who are turning up for all boys outfit played far better rugby during their school day. Oh, nice interception. Try scoring opportunity which was what they were looking for right throughout the game and they got it still not managing to get it over Left it out now, I'm trying to explain things that you got to be on your feet it's good to have him back on the field Left it out Naika. As St. Joseph take the 14 points lead, they kick to no man's land. Kingswood with the opportunity of the whole grounds to make the counter-attack. Mm -hmm. Thinking, planning, he's going on to his right. That gives in a very bad loose pass for the number 10 of Kingswood to regroup and regather. Right from the outset, Kingswood uh, looks like a team not very well settled. The more often than not directing themselves into their opposite numbers for tackling, but on that occasion, somehow managing to go over for the first try. Not only this game, in the tournament. So it must be a very pleasing feeling for the King's audience. They are expecting to see plenty of supporters to flocking in to Bogambara Stadium and support these wonderful outfits who are turning up for their college once again wearing the college colors Kingswood, St. Joseph's top-notch rugby playing schools in the country 14 points to 5 it remains Kingswood they are still in the chance of coming back into this game 
just five points just about four minutes left four minutes is a long time in the game of sevens yeah they can come back of course they they're gonna score twice oh it's 14-7 they got the conversion right did the conversion go through okay for Kinsud. well if it did then it's just one scoring point to make on equal grounds loud music cheerleaders fantastic atmosphere high quality sevens rugby in the middle this is lions rugby sevens 2023 the lead pinchers the event managers of this wonderful event let us once again go through those wonderful sponsors who made this event a possibility Call sponsor Orient Insurance Limited, official healthcare partner, Super Seven Hospitals Private Limited, official event management partner, Elite Ventures Private Limited, official clothing partner, T shirt Raja Rutter, official hospitality partner, Devon Hotels Private Limited, and NSBM Green University. On top of that, we've got team sponsors as well, as we went on to mention from time to time well supported well organized wonderful event we are just hoping as rugby fans this will be a permanent fixture in the local rugby calendar the local rugby circuit and hoping more of outfits will take up this initiative and organize tournaments of this nature in the future now st joseph's running after a chip kick unfortunately not being able to get to the ball and a good defensive work by king sudians number six for king sud chamika bandara last minute decided to get his foot otherwise what could have been a certain try scoring opportunity there you go SW, there are teams we expected a lot at, but didn't do too well so far. Would you see them doing well in the knockout rounds? Yeah, that's, I told you, as I said, it's because of the name tag that they carry, the school name tag they carry. You expect them to be of that standard because not forgetting that these are old boys who are playing and some may have been in touch with the game, some may have not been in touch with the game or completely off from uh, physical uh, fitness so it's 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 a matter of time i think the only thing that the, the, the organizers should do is to get the get the dates off uh, from being closer to the uh, uh the league tournament so because you'll have the other boys come in because the league tournament is a few uh, weeks away from the uh, uh, from today so if you could have that then i think we'll see good talented players come in yeah that was the case ob outfits they were searching for best talent left the school but club duties comes first and most of the clubs are reluctant they don't want to see their players getting injured or you know if something happens their chances of winning the title will be curtailed and candy looking for another title i'm told the ground taken the facelift you must be waiting to go back there and witness a game while candy playing league starts a couple of weeks time yeah, while we talk about those things st joseph has sealed the game and got driven in the final coffee in the nail uh, by scoring on the corner flag with a lot of hands and support play uh, 19 to points to seven uh, with against uh, with Queenswood with a conversion to come and uh, it'll be a matter of time I think it's uh, 14 on the clock so it's the first round games that will be wrapping up just two out of two for St. Joseph's that we've been looking at the possibilities exploring opportunities to win this title so wonderful second half wonderful First half for St. Joseph's in Kingswood.
just a solitary try to conclude the game just about few seconds remain there will be no coming back for Kingswood having a look at the way they played there's not enough energy not enough resort remains in their ranks heavy tackle from the Josephian St. Joseph looks very keen and uh, looks like they must have had decent preparation and the players who are turning up are very good and uh, alongside DS as well as Dharmaraja, Wesley, St. Joseph's is another school raising their hands for the title. Yeah, they might have a go at it, and as you see, oh, they want to score. They want to keep scoring. They know that time's up. This is brilliant. Talk forward says referee, and the game is over. He should have kicked the touch and reserved the energy because they were through anyway. Yes, it's about energy management. Game number 12 done. St. Joseph's, the victors. We will get a chance to see the second half highlights before moving into a break. We go the confirmation 19 points to 7. Kingswood 2 out of 2. Not things looking down for Kingswood and the St. Joseph's. Everything to look up for. One of the top teams. This is the first try. This is the first try of the second half for Kingswood tried so hard still only been able to come up with a single try and beautiful conversion a very tough angle and St. Joseph deciding to consolidate their lead right towards the end and just like that first half of the tournament is done and we will be moving into a lunch break and catch you with live action after that ape shaktiya obe rakawarneyai api orian traction samagama Secured with our strength. Orient Insurance Limited. Every bite. Mmm, Bairaha, wow, be. 
you are secured with our strength orient insurance limited Millennial Higher Education and Visa Consultants, your key to a global future. Unlock your potential and study at your dream university with our expert guidance. Our experienced team is here to make your educational dreams a reality. Don't wait. Take the first step towards a world-class education today. Millennial Higher Education and Visa Consultants, your future, our commitment. Unlock your potential at the Candy Innovation Center, the creative hub of NIBM. Explore your passion for design, computer science, artificial intelligence, data science, psychology, counseling, and language. Our cutting-edge programs empower students to shape the future with innovation and creativity. Join us to harness the knowledge and skills needed for an exciting career in these dynamic fields. Your journey to success begins here at Candy Innovation Center, where your dreams are transformed into reality. Call 0701981000 today. with our strength Orient Insurance Limited Taste the crunch in every bite 
बाय रहा वाव बे Millennial Higher Education and Visa Consultants, your key to a global future. Unlock your potential and study at your dream university with our expert guidance. Our experienced team is here to make your educational dreams a reality. Don't wait. Take the first step towards a world-class education today. Millennial Higher Education and Visa Consultants, your future, our commitment. Unlock your potential at the Candy Innovation Center, the creative hub of NIBM. Explore your passion for design, computer science, artificial intelligence, data science, psychology, counseling, and language. Our cutting-edge programs empower students to shape the future with innovation and creativity. Join us to harness the knowledge and skills needed for an exciting career in these dynamic fields. Your journey to success begins here at Candy Innovation Center, where your dreams are transformed into reality. Call 0701981000 today. Hite ni daha se rata yan ya ticket tek ganna dem kata karana. Candy Travels and Leisure. in every bite mm bye raha wow be Millennial Higher Education and Visa Consultants, your key to a global future. Unlock your potential and study at your dream university with our expert guidance. Our experienced team is here to make your educational dreams a reality. Don't wait. 
Take the first step towards a world-class education today. Millennial Higher Education and Visa Consultants. Your future. Our commitment. Unlock your potential at the Candy Innovation Center, the creative hub of NIBM. Explore your passion for design, computer science, artificial intelligence, data science, psychology, counseling, and language. Our cutting-edge programs empower students to shape the future with innovation and creativity. Join us to harness the knowledge and skills needed for an exciting career in these dynamic fields. Your journey to success begins here at Candy Innovation Center, where your dreams are transformed into reality. Call 0701981000 today. Secured with our strength. Orient Insurance Limited. Every bite. Mmm. Bairaha. Wow, B. You are secured with our strength. Orient Insurance Limited. Millennial Higher Education and Visa Consultants, your key to a global future. Unlock your potential and study at your dream university with our expert guidance. Our experienced team is here to make your educational dreams a reality. Don't wait. Take the first step towards a world-class education today. Millennial Higher Education and Visa Consultants, your future, our commitment.
Unlock your potential at the Candy Innovation Center, the creative hub of NIBM. Explore your passion for design, computer science, artificial intelligence, data science, psychology, counseling, and language. Our cutting-edge programs empower students to shape the future with innovation and creativity. Join us to harness the knowledge and skills needed for an exciting career in these dynamic fields. Your journey to success begins here at Candy Innovation Center, where your dreams are transformed into reality. Call 0701981000 today. Hygiene Plus, refreshing walls for generations. Ape Shaktiya Obe Rakavarnei, Ape Orient Traction Samagama. Secured with our strength. Orient Insurance Limited.
टेस्ट द क्रंच इन एवरी बाइट यू आर सिक्योर्ड विथ आर स्ट्रेंथ ओरियंट इंश्योरेंस लिमिटेड Millennial Higher Education and Visa Consultants, your key to a global future. Unlock your potential and study at your dream university with our expert guidance. Our experienced team is here to make your educational dreams a reality. Don't wait. Take the first step towards a world-class education today. Millennial Higher Education and Visa Consultants, your future, our commitment. Unlock your potential at the Candy Innovation Center, the creative hub of NIBM. Explore your passion for design, computer science, artificial intelligence, data science, psychology, counseling, and language. Our cutting-edge programs empower students to shape the future with innovation and creativity. Join us to harness the knowledge and skills needed for an exciting career in these dynamic fields. Your journey to success begins here at Candy Innovation Center, where your dreams are transformed into reality. Call 0701981000 today. Hygiene Plus, refreshing walls for generations. Apne shaktiya obi rakhwarne ay, apni Orient Traction samagam.
Roger Rudder Tiles. You are secured with our strength. Orient Insurance Limited. Every bite. Mmm. Bairaha. Wow, be. You are secured with our strength. Orient Insurance Limited. Millennial Higher Education and Visa Consultants, your key to a global future. Unlock your potential and study at your dream university with our expert guidance. Our experienced team is here to make your educational dreams a reality. Don't wait. Take the first step towards a world-class education today. Millennial Higher Education and Visa Consultants, your future, our commitment. Unlock your potential at the Candy Innovation Center, the creative hub of NIBM. Explore your passion for design, computer science, artificial intelligence, data science, psychology, counseling, and language. Our cutting-edge programs empower students to shape the future with innovation and creativity. Join us to harness the knowledge and skills needed for an exciting career in these dynamic fields. Your journey to success begins here at Candy Innovation Center, where your dreams are transformed into reality. Call 0701981000 today.
Light Hygiene Plus, refreshing walls for generations. Ape Shaktiya Obi Rakavarnei, Ape Orient Traction Samagama. Secured with our strength. Orient Insurance Limited. Excuse me, sir. Sir, call. Sir. 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 Check one, test in one, check, test in one, check. Test in one, check, one, two, three, check, test in one, one, two, three, check, test in one, test in one, one, two,
Very good afternoon and welcome back to Lions Rugby Sevens coming to you live from the Bogambara Stadium as expected. Cup quarterfinals. The first up we have Wesley taking on Trinity. These are the cup quarterfinals. And we had a scintillating first round matches and teams like Dharma Raja, Wesley, Trinity, DS, Vidyartha, Isipatana, and St. Anthony's excelled. Few teams whom we expected a lot didn't do too well, and Wesley trying to bodge through their way gets it across to the speedsters right at the corner. Taken a little while for a Wesley defender, Wesley attacker in fact, to clear the ball out, trying out a few steps. For a strange reason they've decided to go to the shorter side. There wasn't absolutely any room available. Good pressure from Trinity defensively, running them. The scrum in favor with a chance to get out of jail. It's very hot, very bright and sunny up here at Candy. We are starting to feeling it, so is the players, and we've seen quite a few players taking deep breaths. And it's about power output management, energy level management. And Wesley did so well in the first round. Beating more fancy DC Patana as well as St. Peter's, keeping their hopes alive. This will be a crucial encounter. Wesley, the favorites on paper, based on their performances in the first round. Joining me in the commentary, SW Chang. Yeah, going to be back after a little break. And of course, Dominica with a heavy meal, <laughs> enjoying himself, and provided by Car Carvinda, the chief of the organizing committee of this event such a wonderful thing it's it just it just it had just given birth so it'll take some time i'm sure a few contemplating the idea of bringing a tournament like this but trinity as always the first rugby such a huge game at trinity a game yeah. that can bring a bring along all the support all the parties all the stakeholders focusing on one event and this is the event they've been planning it for some time and what a success story yeah absolutely like the first we're talking about the tournament we also had a first uh, uh loose head loss at the scrummage which they lost that loose head uh, they are put in to trinity and trinity of course could, can't make much headway with the, the forward pass coming in from there and the option is given to Wesley whether they want to have a line out or the scrummage. And uh, we'll let wait and see what uh, Wesley will do. They've gone for the um, line out. And this is the quarter final of this uh, Lions rugby. Sevens. Sevens rugby. And going through the team cards for Wesley, we mentioned it already Gavin Helpwood, Rushita Hapugala. Rajesh Muradharan, a familiar name amongst the Wesleyized. Chamika Tiranagama, Radesh Sahabdeen and uh, Wesley meanwhile getting close, not quite. Scrum in favor of Wesley. Trinity on that occasion found under huge pressure. Rashen Shahabdin, Ramidu Ishanta, Metmal Gamanpila, Dinet Shamanta, Shah Melisha, Isha, Ishak Jurampati, the player to watch out, had a wonderful tournament so far. He has been the mainstay for Wesley. Now Wesley gets a ball across and slings it out wide. Running across and presented the ball. The speedster finds room and beautiful offload for a strange reason. 
The receiver decided to cut back inside and go right into the tackle instead of moving into the space. Still Wesley. Offload finds Trinity and Enterprising move curtails looks like that but Trinity committing the mistake. Not releasing and Wesley goes over for the first try. Nice bit of throw and go. Very well done. Started off the scoring. Wesley they are in front. This is the final and don't forget just five minutes per half. Yeah, okay. We cut down the cut, cut short because of maybe the weather condition. It doesn't matter. As I said to you, it is just born. So we'll have teething problems and uh, we can't fight against uh, nature. The weather goes might bring it down and then we might not even have a final. So it's a good decision to make. It's one half is gone now and um, that you see the replay of the try, Wesley forward, too strong, too much for Bandar Naikar even to get him down. Still a large number of games to work out, cup quarterfinals followed by play bowl quarterfinals and played semifinals and cup semifinals and the huge final to decide the champions. Um, did you see the trophy on offer? for the champions really really nicely crafted lion in the middle of the rugby ball wonderful idea very well crafted yeah coming back with the five minutes play uh, per, per half don't forget these are knockout stages and if there is a, a, a toe, uh, draw or a tie we might have to play some extra minutes you know so and sudden death of course that all depends so there is time for that too because at the moment, it's basically in the uh, driving seat. And hopefully, we can get a look at the glimpse of the trophy you're talking about. He's tough handling the first half with just five minutes. Now, Wesley in front, obviously. Dr. Narsus in front, which means Trinity. To get their work rate up at the end of the first half. Looks like. The first half is already ended. Trinity changing their end. Now they'll be moving from left to right. They started off moving from right to left. Time is of essence. Like SW just mentioned, whether it would be the factor. Organizers taking every measures to conduct this wonderful tournament without interruptions and nice little Handling work by Trinitians and collects the ball. No one in front. Just one chaser. And he gets his hands well wrapped around his legs. And not rolling away, committing mistake. Everyone's so eager to come up with the next score. Wesley, Sonia. Roll away! It's a penalty, not rolling away. Yet so far, <clears throat> Trinity is considering too many penalties, and you can't do that in a seven, especially in a sevens game. And uh, loose pass by Wesley. Wesley over the line. That's Jurampati once again over the line. You can't keep him away from any game. Who else? Jurampati, man of the moment so far, quite possibly. Player of the tournament, been very active. He's literally everywhere to support to attack and gets a kick right through the middle two more points being added to wesley 12 trinity nil just about four minutes remaining on our clock which means wesley they are in front looks like trinity they will have to settle for lesser categories which means trinity after losing this will be moving into the plate round It'll be interesting to see who will be their opponent. We'll have to wait a little while. Quick, 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 quick. Rep Robin Alexander gets this a restart. Wesley with a very high drop kick to start things off this time. Trinity and breaks away. Finds a support and a couple of supporters and who else but to the chase. Yes, the Jurampati, but Trinidians 
they had outnumbered Wesley on that attack as a result came up with the first points of the game they are still in with the chance of walking back into this game 12 points to 5 now conversion it is successful with wins oh I got ahead of myself he missed the conversion hit the post it will remain 5 points to 12 in favor of Wesley strange Just under three minutes remaining now in the second half of this cup quarter final number one Wesley versus Trinity. This is Lions Rugby Sevens 2023, organized and conducted by Trinity College Candy, class of 99. Wow, Trinity seems to have found the formula back to back tries and more importantly get that one just under the post which means conversion makes it even interesting cup quarter final you mentioned about extra time looks like we are heading towards extra times sw that's if, if trinity gets this conversion through they've been very bad in the conversions <coughs> well you got this time others you'd have been in the late you'd have been 14 points 12 in front absolutely simple mistakes costing you dearly in a cup quarterfinal like this trinity should have had the lead instead now everything evened up trinity brings in fresh legs with the hope of do all the attacking right towards the dying seconds of this big quarterfinal wesley versus trinity Trinity with a restart. A deep one. Collects it cleanly. Nice dummy. Couple of steps. He waits. Two tacklers and presented a quality ball. Handling. Was up to the mark from Wesley. Oh, as we trying to wrap them around for their good handling skills. Conceding position back. Knocked it forward. Wesley. Receiver under huge trouble. Two tacklers right on top of him. Abanda Raika moves to the side. Step back inside. Once again, doing the basics right. It's within touching distance. Unfortunately, not releasing the player on the ground Wesley gets a good offload but that one too went forward it seems <laughs> I should not be asking this question anyway has Trinity got the urge or are they willing to score that try there was a well within their capabilities yeah. and uh, within touching distance quick, quick, quick. Uh, somehow come, come. they just couldn't keep up the momentum keep the ball in position <laughs> but now as a result everything was brought back to the midway point this should be the last passage of play in this game wesley 12 trinity 12 cup for the final number one as expected a close one couldn't differentiate the winner we might have to move into extra times and uh, ref awarding a penalty quick tap take on trinity looking for support nice inside ball and looks like this man got the speed chase is on just brought down right in time but beautiful offloading gets the much needed try for trinity right at the dying seconds trinity strikes and move to the semi-finals try earlier uh, near the corner flag they just didn't want to didn't have the urgency all of a sudden the urgency has come back and now uh, maybe they want to kill the time 
it's almost uh, on, on the clock now but anyway the advance to the um, cup cup uh, semis that didn't do too well in the first round uh, winning just a game uh, but just when it mattered against a strong outfit like Wesley Trinity doing everything right and they are in front looks like that's it right at the beginning we were talking about Trinity moving on to lesser rounds to plate round we were proven wrong Trinity 17 points to 12 and proudly walking on to the cup semi-final there are the highlights the second try for Wesley converted they were in front here goes the second try none other than Jurampati 12 points to nil goes up Wesley then comes the first try for Trinity two exchanges interestingly that wasn't converted and luckily Trinity managing to even things up with that conversion then this final drive a memorable one for West uh, Trinity I'm sure as we move on to the next game after this quick break higher education and visa consultants your key to a global future unlock your potential and study at your dream university with our expert guidance our experienced team is here to make your educational dreams a reality. Don't wait. Take the first step towards a world-class education today. Millennial Higher Education and Visa Consultants. Your future. Our commitment. Unlock your potential at the Candy Innovation Center, the creative hub of NIBM. Explore your passion for design computer science, artificial intelligence, data science, psychology, counseling, and language. Our cutting-edge programs empower students to shape the future with innovation and creativity. Join us to harness the knowledge and skills needed for an exciting career in these dynamic... Cup quarterfinal number two just started. St. Peter's with a ball in hand, Jason Kararatna. Kicks it out and on the run collects it. DS under huge pressure. Did so well in the first round. DS, we mentioned one of the favorites to win the title, but St. Peter's might have something else to say. And quick tap taken. And the try being scored. How about that, SW? Yeah, I know St. Peter's coming back strongly against a good Manama side. We've seen some good sides coming up lately. Like Trinity, for example, the Respike Finham came through for to get into the quarters, uh, semis of the cup final. And they will uh, most probably meet the winners of this uh, game. But okay, it's too early here, but then don't forget it's a five meter half. So what matters is to be in front at the correct time. Definitely, Trinity looked a little, little underprepared during the first round, but during that game against much fancy Wesley's, they are telling this. Wesley having played so well in the first rounds must have burned their tanks empty they had very little to offer against Trinity Trinity scoring three tries Trinity should have been in front had they converted their first try nevertheless 12 points to 17 winners and proudly walking into the cup semi-finals as the host proud moment now St. Peter's they are in front against DS DS, we reckon, a strong side this time. Let's it go. Coughed it out cheaply. It's almost a case of these much fancy teams like Wesley and DS. Did they peak too early? There's always a question because I didn't see what they did during the first round against Trinitians. Wesley somehow not managing to get their defensive work up now st peter's with the ball in hand looking for support finds a man now center now he hits the ground he's on the deck and ref says play on the ball was available oh nice offload and he breaks away 
for the try number one for DS. Even exchanges still under three minutes and DS and Anaika are coming back. Conversion is successful, it means DS Yananaka is in front. Now St. Peter's got their work cut out. Very evenly matched teams. There you go, tackling from St. Peter's wasn't up to the mark. Just let it go all that easily. Conversion successful. St. Peter trailing behind by two points. Yeah, just to give you the confirmation on uh, the scoreline seven points each St. Peter's, seven, DS and Ica seven, even Stephen. DS opted for a deep restart and eventually finds a touch, eventually go Shut past down. the deadline. And as a result, ref bringing play all the way back to the midway point. It'll be a scrum in favor of St. Peter's. DS touch too keen on pushing the opposition back. Interesting, Dominic. Interesting. Tennis uh, uh, sevens. Uh, the sevens. Uh, any infringement Five. from the kickoff? It, it should Six. be a short arm. Seven. I can't. I thought it went over the goal line. Then it should be a short arm. If I'm not mistaken, the laws may have changed. But I think it's a, it's a short term. Even I thought about it. I was waiting for St. Peter's to take the kick off, take the free kick, but we're deciding to avoid scrum in favor of St. Peter's. Now DS in position. DS, such a strong team, number five, Vishal Akalanka, getting his work rate up. Another big man for DS once again to Marlon Costa. This is good work. Playing advantage. Number three for DS Sinanaika. Saranga Udavata had a fantastic tournament so far. Scored a couple of tries in the first game as well. And DS extending their lead. Absolutely fantastic, excellent. They, they, a team, as you said, to be reckoned with, they will go move forward and uh, they take an early lead with half time looming with the conversion to come. And it should be 14 points to five. Coming back to that scrum in the center, unless unless St. Peter's off for the scrum. There was no question about uh, making things easier for St. Peter's at the ass for the option they would have definitely go for a free kick but rep straight away signaling for a scrum down the players had no option 14 points to five at the end of the first half it'll be worth having a look at the highlights of the first half very short one of course five minutes be a scoring two tries to one for st peter's there you go, the try scorer for Dia Sirenaika. Had such a fantastic season. Tournament rather, Saranga Udavatta. This is the third try for Saranga Udavatta rather. Dias, we mentioned a very strong unit and they proved that they are one step closer to the semi-final of the cup segment as we take a small break and come back. Hitay nidha se rata ya tikar te gana dam khata gana candy travels and leisure.
Ready? St. Peter's restart things for the second half. D is in front by 14 points to 5 and St. Peter's got their work cut out. Good handling skills from D is and breaks away. Van Tuckler, the second one, wrapping his hands around the player but how about that for offloading? Support on time. And lucky recipient goes under the post. A good side there. DS side is very, actually, absolutely fantastic. The support play, the running lines, and the timing of the passes has been excellent, absolutely excellent. No wonder they are in front by 19 points to 5 with the conversion to come. If the conversion is good, yes, that's 21 points to 5. I think your judgment is straight away right at the beginning of the tournament you mentioned you and I both agreed on who are the stronger sides straight away we thought dear Sinanayaka looks like a team with a game plan and skills and strength to back that off 21 points to 5 it will be very very tough for St. Peter's still just under four minutes remaining Finds a touch. Precious time running out for St. Peter's. I'm sure they will be disappointed if they don't find an opportunity to go for the top tier, to the cup round. Such a good team. Year after year producing such a fantastic first 15 outfits like the current year title winners knockout champions as well as the league champions now trying to break away coming behind and uh, wrapped around the neck is the Number call two. from ref Ishan Kabe Khan goes to the pocket color is yellow two minutes advantage St. Peter's right. yeah, that was the yellow to the black and yellow so just a minute on the sin bin to cool it down on a high tackle you know, interestingly, I was told, uh, I was told that in, in England, if a ball, ball, ca ball carrier dips, right, he'll be penalized. Coming into a tackle, if he dips, he'll be penalized because he's dipping into a dangerous position to be uh, taken off by, you know, it's, it had been, so far it had been, even if you dip or not, if you go high, then the guy who is tackling is taken to cleaners. He's either seen being now sent off. But now I hear the pain, if you dip, that you'll be penalized because you're getting into a position of danger. Yeah, number two, number yes, we've two, seen number that two. happen in international two, rugby time and time again. again. At times, the players being penalized for going high and at times, the player for going down. Really? Leaning down, as you mentioned, this W. Making things tough for the defenders. The beaters trying to get their second try. 16 points behind. Will be very, very tough with just one and a half minute remaining. Black and yellow, DS Naika. I think that was a deliberate knock on. Advantage over. For St. Peter's. Moving forward, number seven for St. Peter's. Kamesh Fernando. He is very good with their counter rocking. Very strong team. They are ready to take the battle up front. The front row, mark, the forwards mark, 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 doing mark, 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 a fantastic job. Especially the guys like Sauranga Udavatta had a fantastic season, had a fantastic tournament rather. Making DS proud. They are just seconds away from working into the cup semi-final. Proud moment, no doubt. Things aren't getting easier for them hereafter. Just two matches, the finals and the finals. DS Naranayaka. 
strong team we predicted right at the beginning this will definitely be a consolation try for Jason Conrad nothing more than that DS must be disappointed I beg your pardon St. Peter's should be disappointed much fancy side tight game with Sipatana lost to Wesley and uh, now managing to find their way to the plate round 23 points to 10 it ends dear Serenaika as we predicted strong team in the semi-finals proud moment DSOPA players congratulating each other for reaching the semi-finals 21 21 points to 12 in favor of DS Serenaika as we take a moment to take a look at the highlights of the second half there you go Nippy man light on his face feet rather gathers the ball goes under the post DS had very little trouble in the second half the St. Peter started off scoring first DS managing to keep their composure this is just a consolation for St. Peter's seven points at the end wasn't good enough and they will have to settle with a plate semi-final spot as we move on to the break before the beginning of the cup quarterfinal number three Quarter final number three, St. Joseph taking on with Yarta. Yarta played so well towards their second match, preserved some energy for this game. They knew it would be a very, very tough one for them. St. Joseph's very good team won both their games now, fending off and send the ball out into the speedster, gets the kick on and ref playing advantage for late charge without the playing for all that uh, continuing where they stopped they're playing some good rugby here against uh st joseph st joseph appealing on the uh, holding on uh, I think it's a try for uh, Vidyata. St. Joseph not happy with that call there, not giving that call. They thought that there was a hold on a bit, but nevertheless, you uh, golden rule in rugby is you play to the whistle. You don't stop. Vidyata 5, St. Joseph nil. Conversion will surely be a tough one with the angle and distance. Vidyata still content with 5 points lead. Purely because this is a 5 minutes per half match organizers decided to cut down the time due to the time constraint the possibility of rain in the afternoon and very tight time schedule of st joseph they will have to find answers with jartha just about ready to restart a very good restart and uh, with Jartha gets the ball utilizing the width of the field this time going to the shorter side couple of players available Jackal. strong hey, back, back, back. fending offs from with Jartha now to the speedsters Sideways, well wrap around tackle, bring the band bundled into touch. 
in this situation because the two golden rules that they have not adhered to one not playing to the whistle the other one off the kickoff nobody called for it everyone looked at it but nobody called for it ball bounced in between all three players and the ball came the golden rule once again there call for it the man who's coming for the ball call for it not the man the ball is going over as there was a one such occasion everybody was waiting for the, the other one to take the ball but ultimately vidyartha benefited vidyartha ds wesley trinity and one more cup semi final and we will find out who are maja steady game hue the semi finalist of this inaugural lions rugby sevens tournament st joseph's still battling hard hey, which up, is very up, good to up. see with that this penalty wa ball ta kaling enne goes to the wider side good pressure from st joseph's hey, hey, tackle back 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 get back get back get Play back on the top clears the ball touch. and tackle was up and ready for number 7 for st joseph's ivon walls don't they jo hey release very good work rate from vidyartha this time ball went touch forward ref spotted but playing advantage st joseph in his chance oh beautiful stepping found the room he waits a tackler couldn't even the second one but still clears the ball he's still moving forward which is always very pleasing to see unfortunately not supporting the body weight is the call from the ref nice inside ball with dartha moving ahead release hey 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 no plan oh wasn't the best decision going for a little grabber kick a loving the josephian to touch down and uh, such it silla need no invitation and it will be 25 made a drop out or is it a penalty is it a scrum we'll have to wait and see we got a play on the ground change number 7 there wait maja wait okay ready powerful run big man strong legs pumping through bye set steady kasun bandara wait play on Now here's the opportunity for St Joseph's long cut out ball. Oh, lovely run. He's been prolific right throughout the tournament for St Joseph's. Satit Silva tries to get the ball and eventually drops it and uh, it will be a scrum in favor of St Joseph's. Ah, big one. Vidyartha that's the end of the first half. 5 points to nil it ends. Vidyartha is in front. St Joseph's to their credit didn't make anything easier for Vidyartha. but they will have to fight even harder in the second half it's any anyone's game so far it's got 5 minutes it's just one try one score away so it, it, any anyone's game and both teams are playing well the golden the mistake that st joe's are making is that they're not playing to the whistle they are they're making appeals i can see that if that try came off that uh, and a brilliant try and then we are at half time now and 5 nil because they have to play to the whistle
Pentalite Hygiene Plus Refreshing Walls for Generations Api Shaktiya Obi Rakavarnei Api Orient Traction Samagama Welcome back live as the cheerleaders moving to the beat St. Joseph's still battling hard against with Jorta for their spot in Cup semi finals. So Joseph with a restart with Darth somehow managed to get the ball. A moving ahead. Good, very good instinctive run by Vidyartha. Number four for Vidyartha, who had a fantastic tournament so far. Isuru Lakshan. And number six. Chaturanga Dilshan goes over for the second try, making things easier for Vidyartha now. They promised a lot and they are starting to deliver. This time Chaturanga Dilshan. Yes, Chaturanga Dilshan. Goes over for the try number two for Vidyartha. They are in front and they this will be a very tough task for St. Joseph. 10 points deficit to cut down. Conversion isn't successful and Vidyartha still in front. Yeah, he can change. It's just that St. Joseph are playing rugby now. They're not waiting for appealing positions for 
uh, for their uh, favor. As you see from the replay, the position has been recycled. Uh, Speedy Gonzalez is all over the place. The man who you can't miss him. Okay, this is yellow card on Vidyata. This is going to hurt. With a minute to go and three, three points of difference. Yeah, because he called for it. There was a there was a kick, but they called for the scrum because quite rightly because we are one short of the yellow card, so they're going to be short outside. Uh, so the half pack has no pressure from the other half pack. He's away from it. It'll be interesting to see if they, if they win the ball. Play on, play on. That's pretty good. Going sideways, that goes through the middle. Touch to video on that time, but. Forward pass. Oh no, oh no. The closers, the field of the Tazos are rallying the games up. But unfortunately, not take on St. Joseph's. They got themselves to blame. They were trying to hurry and face up rather than working it out quite. They decided to go by himself and. with our strength. Orient Insurance Limited. Cover gets it underway. St. Anthony's straight away under pressure. The pass not finding the player. Callous. Okay. Tabaraja taking a, a quick line out and ran around just like that, but somehow did manage to bring the band down. St. Anthony's. Now here's the opportunity for. Dharma Raja moves sideways utilizing the width of the feast. Uh, looks like Udan Kamua goes over for the try number one for Dharma Raja. Fabulously done. 
I think that's not too that Gabo. I'll let you know the depth of the try scorer in a minute. Udan Gamboa with a conversion, very tough angle, nowhere near. It will remain five points to nil in favor of Santa, uh, rather Davar Raja. Davar Raja, one of the favorites. We've been saying this right from the beginning. And two favorites already gone on to make book their place in the semi finals, dear Selenaika and Vidyartha Trinity, the others. Semi-finalist in the cup segment, Darvar Raja, exploring the opportunities to join them. Chose to go midway, want to go down Gamua. How's St. Anthony's? Boneko Dan Gamua and Bawantu Dan Gamua. Sometimes we mistake the identity. Looks like he turned up a very good kicker, and uh, St. Anthony's really swift move. Support arriving in time, trying out a couple of steps, couldn't evade the tackling, which is up to the mark. By Dalmaraja. They are up by five points. When you're up, it's a different feeling. When you're chasing the game, it's totally different. And Udan Gamo slips. He, as he goes down, he was holding on and uh, so Anthony is exploring opportunities, needing a little bit of speed there. Looks like Dharmaraja managing to escape. There's a slight knock on from Dharmaraja's hands. It will be a scrum in favor of St. Anthony's. When you reach the semi final stage, there are no favorites, really. St. Joseph's, like I mentioned earlier, had their chances, didn't took it. Yeah, that's right. Yeah, correct. The Joes, <coughs> I was just thinking about this game and Dharmaraja Antonians. They are playing everything right in the sense uh, rugby, keep it going, keep it flowing. But uh, okay. both sides are losing their crucial uh, passes. And it, it, it's Dharmaraja moving forward, then they lose the ball. And Antonians moving forward, they lose the ball. They virtually, they're, they're, if you ask me, where are they running? They're running on Mark. the spot. Mark. Yeah, we mentioned that even during the club rugby season, handling errors, staggering in local rugby. You know, as Sri Lankans, we don't have the physical advantage over international teams, so we will have to get their, it, we will have to get our handling skills and uh, speed right up there to challenge any of the international teams. All this time, nice inside ball, but when touch forward, unfortunately, on St. Anthony's, they are still battling very, very hard. Tavaraja, they are in front and they are starting to feel the pressure for the first time in this tournament. Yeah, that's right. Correct. <laughs> because it's, it's big boys from the hometown. Uh, exactly. They have their difference of uh, rivalry playing a game it doesn't matter which level of rugby you play at but it's still there the only time they come together i think they represent the country and represent candy sports club there you go friendly rival race candy such a passionate rugby following city whenever we turned up at nithavala or at bogambara 
All right, Palle Kelly. Huge support for rugby and St. Anthony's getting a lucky break and yeah. scores the try. Even okay. Steven, Half Half Eagles time. are back. Yeah, absolutely. The, uh, the, it's even right. Steven. Half it's his second half, right? It, it's, so we go into extra time, sudden death, is it? I'm sure the organizers must be running up and down and saying, please don't rain. We need some of, of time for us to play under these conditions. This is still the first half, but uh, the first half just ended. So we might still be moving into the extra time. These are the highlights. Dharma Raja striking first. Through their number seven, Samita Varnakula Surya. Then it was a ding dong battle, as you said, between Dharma Raja and St. Anthony's until. Darbaraja commits a mistake, rides towards the end of the first half and uh, St. Anthony says thank you very much and goes over for their first try. And now, we'll take a small break and come back with second half action live. You are secured with our strength. Orient Insurance Limited. Millennial Higher Education and Visa Consultants, your key to a global future. Unlock your potential and study at your dream university with our expert guidance. Our experienced team is here to make your educational dreams a reality. Don't wait. Take the first step towards a world-class education today. Millennial Higher Education and Visa Consultants, your future, our commitment. Unlock your potential at the Candy Innovation Center, the creative hub of NIBM. Explore your passion for design. So that one is having struck right at the neck of time. Things are level. Another crunch final in prospect. Crunch quarterfinal rather. So that one is with newfound strength. He hit the deck and presented the ball. So Anthony's the try scorer, working the ball out ball wide. Dan Kamua. Mistaken identities. Dharma Raja was Dan swiftly Dan Gamua, on the move Dan and uh, Udan Kamua on top. That was St. Anthony's Ishan Lienage moves forward, finds a tackler and uh, I missed on what was the offense from Dharmaraja to guess okay. there was a high shot and immediately doing the basics. So Anthony's worked really hard for their first try during the first half. I'm sure they will have to work even harder. As you can see, Dharmaraja up with the defense, the tackling is very, very good and somewhat powerful than in the first half, oh, beautiful offloading, and yes, just like that, St. Anthony's goes over and they are in front. All the while, they've been praising Dharma Raja for their skills and precision. Look what happened. Yes. Consistent rugby from St. Anthony's. Yeah, because it's, you see the continuity Star off a few phases ago. Actually, they kept the ball going, they kept it on, went into tackles, but then even if they did tackle, they made the ball available by flipping it. I was wondering why they are not doing the pot. But I know the reason now. But they, were, they had a continuation of that uh, move every time they made contact. Okay. St. Anthony's in front, seven minutes up. Darbar Raja for the first time in the tournament, training behind. 
unfamiliar territory. They would have expected to be in this situation, but they've got just under two minutes remaining to resurrect things. Just under three minutes, in fact. Will they have enough power, enough gas in the tank to come up with the next goal? The scoreline should read 10 points to 5 in favor of St. Anthony's. High hanging restart. St. Anthony's doing the basics. Nothing more, nothing less. A really good offloading instead of going forward, trying out few steps and directing himself into very heavy traffic. Still moving go forward, ahead, which ahead, is go good ahead, to see. One. Now St. Anthony's. Oh, this is lovely. Goes to the side, trying to make a breakthrough. Didn't happen. But St. Anthony conceding position back. And Tarbaraja looking for their Rajans to the lead. now Rajans hits back yeah, beautiful face do I see the, uh, 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 Lienegi on the field pitch playing for the former centre for Sri Lanka and Candy Taking a look at the team card, we yes. couldn't find Alina Gay, probably his brother or someone looks like Pradeep Alina Gay. Yeah, you were right. He looks, he resembles very much Pradeep Alina Gay. And uh, Darbar Raja, they walk back in front. Not by much, but by just Five two ways. points, St. Anthony's. Okay, time on. Right, play on. Oh, Dabba Raja. Dabba Raja gets the restart, a deep one, finds a touch, a fabulous one. Right at the beginning of the Center. tournament, we Center. mentioned Dharma Raja, one of the favourites, did fantastically well right throughout the first round. Comes semi-finals against the home stamp, hometown rivals, St. Anthony's. They're just keeping up the momentum and they are by 12 points to 5 according to the scoreline. Now St. Anthony's. Just about to throw into the line out. And free kick for closing the gap. So Anthony is still searching for avenues. Trying to cut through the defense. Just not being able to funny find the breakthrough. Now all of a sudden, the Baraja. They are attacking. And moving forward, number seven for Darbar Raja had a fantastic game so far. Samita Varnakulasuriya getting his work rate up. Okay, time over. That's it, Darbar Raja, the semi finalist, had a tough game. It was much tougher than they expected it to be. Here's the scoreline, 12 points to 5 in favour of Dharma Raja. As we take a look at some of the highlights of the second half. Yes, the scoreline should read as 12 points to 10. St. Anthony's going over for the first try of the second half and last but not least Darbaraj is striking and getting in front and moving on to the cup semi-final and as we take a small break and come back for the live action in a minute
Unlock your potential at the Candy Innovation Center, the creative hub of NIBM. Explore your passion for design, computer science, artificial intelligence, data science, psychology, counseling, and language. Our cutting-edge programs empower students to shape the future with innovation and creativity. Join us to harness the knowledge and skills needed for an exciting career in these dynamic fields. Your journey to success begins here at Candy Innovation Center, where your dreams are transformed into reality. Call 0701981000 today. අපි ශක්තිය ඔබේ රැකවරණයයි අපි ඔරියන් රක්ෂණ සමාගම Here we are back live. Isipathana taking on St. Sylvester's Bowl quarterfinal one. Isipathana expected to move on to the cup round. Didn't do too well. Drowned their first game against St. Peter's and lost to Wesley. Similarly, St. Sylvester's losing both of their games and uh, how about that for a powerful move oh beautiful offloading and he goes over for the try number one sent sylvester's in front is he part of a trailing behind right at the beginning i think well i i i was thinking whether to make a change on that is he part of a and you call it is he part of a ob or and sylvester's ob because the old boys and everyone look at sylvester's well, okay got the better of is he part of a and uh, I get it get on the screen about old boys uh, of the two, two schools powerful runs powerful try just managed to put it down absolutely fantastic rugby so far by all schools i mean uh, old boys representing their schools and the conversions not good and so five points to silvesters and is patana ob ob is leading uh, yet to score This man went on with the conversion, wearing jersey number one for Sil Silvestres. Bavanta Pereira had a fantastic tournament so far for Saint Silvestres. Scored a couple of tries, and he has been instrumental in creating chances for Saint Silvestres almost all the time, and. The previous try was a classic example once again. Man, Bawanta Pereira, with the ball in hand, hands it out to number two, Kavinder Prabash, and he was offside. And oh, he gets a yellow card. They see Patana down to five. We we'll have to contend with it. Two more minutes, which will be tough. because the, each half last just about 5 minutes and playing 2 minutes without a player and not backing away once again offside
Yeah, we're talking about this uh, player, Bhavanta Pera. Is this Bhavanta Pera for uh, Silas? I wonder how old he is because we need the players of that caliber with handling and running skills and, you know, for the seventh team, you know, they, he should be playing somewhere of upper grade with a little bit of training. I'm sure the boy, he must be quite a young youngster, uh, representing Sylvester's OB. So they lead by five points over AC Patan OB, of course, playing with uh, one uh, short with the yellow card, coming deliberately from an offside position and taking a pass. Talking about Bhavanta Pereira, not only the size and strength, the man got a little bit of speed, important combination, and we saw him playing against uh, much fancy teams and done really well, despite uh, since Sylvester went on to lose each and every game. There you go once again, St. Pilters, St. Sylvester's gets it down and just not being able to clear it, hauls it on and presenting a penalty and Zibotana taking a sigh of relief, being under pressure five minute, five minute. for the best part of this game so far, now kicks it out into touch and they will be searching for the opportunities of scoring their first try. Green ball, green. We are just hoping Bhavan the Pereira would consider okay. playing serious club rugby after this if he's not already. Okay. Fine okay, player. Okay. Uh, I, I'm, ho I'm hoping to go and have a chat with him after the um, tournament and see what his future plans are. You know, but get a, get his uh, bio data and check on it because he's, he's been tremendous. His yards have Four been good. Of course, somebody might say the opposition is not up to the real okay. mark. It doesn't okay. matter the okay. opposition okay. if you see a talent that we should be able to make use of him, it'd be very interesting. Coach! Burn! Sipotana meanwhile still searching for their first scoring opportunity. Surprisingly, playing in the bowl segment, I must mention OB each and every time. While I'm mentioning the names of these teams, St. Silvis is OB taking on Sipotana OB. Like this W just went on to mention. Otherwise, it sounds like we are in the middle of a school tournament, which, is, which isn't the case. And since investors looking for their second try, trying to barge through two defenders, wasn't the smart piece of rugby from since investors forward there. And there's your man, Bavanta Pereira. He has no stopping. <laughs> Absolutely, the, the little tank. He's strong. He has got the sense, ball sense, the skills, ball skills, the ball sense, and also he got the speed and to move away from it. He got everything on. I just want to have a shot with him and see where he are gone. We don't know. Maybe it's a wrong call. It doesn't matter. Yeah, SW really good when it comes to spotting the talent. Thank you. 10 points to nil, it remains, Izibatala. They are time running out. We are still in the first half, St. Sylvester's up by 10 points. You know, you go by the reputation of your school team, but these outfits are different, Izibatala. Just there are very good players in the middle, similar to St. Sylvester's, but St. Sylvester's showing their intention quite clearly they want it more than easy popular here's the first try and this man only one way traffic there we'll take a short break and come back with live action in a moment
saturata tiles. You are secured with our strength. Orient Insurance Limited. Back with second half action live and Sylvester's in front to okay. everybody's surprise is Ipotana looking down the barrel already. We were talking about the reputation of the schools when we are considering the possibilities of uh, them doing well in a tournament like this, Sipatana. Not off coloured. But this seems to have just haven't got enough. Not releasing is the call from the ref. And Zipotana once again in position. They still have enough time if they want to get back into this game. It's just a matter of scoring the first try. And eventually the game opened up. Oh, lovely run. Oh, that was too high. But the player. There's no hesitation from the ref straight away. Yellow card comes up. St. Sylvester's losing the initiative. Number 13 for St. Sylvester's sitting in the bench for two minutes. Isuru Lande Villa. What happened after the penalty? They were given a penalty for a high tackle. Patana. It has come down and Sylvester's ball, unless he knocked on while trying to take the quick penalty. Yes, I'm trying to find it very, very hard. What exactly going through the mind of the ref? Either way, decision has been made. So, Isipatana and St. Sylvester's moving forward. St. Sylvester's still holding on to the lead. This is the opportunity Isipatana was looking for. Seven against six. There are quite a few outstanding players in the ranks of Esipatana. Chamot Fernando is one. No, 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 no. Okay, okay, okay. Ball out, play on. Zanzoni, obviously. Familiar name. Oh, lovely inside ball to Chamot Fernando. Finds a winger. He... But there's no one to catch. Isipatana gets the first score, and all of a sudden, this game becomes doubly interesting. Purely because St. Sylvester's need to contend another minute with just six players, and Isipatana just five points behind. Just three points. You play with six, this is what happens, and then again, with, with the side like you see, part of the OB, he, he, with the conversion with uh, that's it, he runs the player, I think, and uh, of players of that caliber as we were keenly on the contest. But given away a free kick, discipline, discipline, discipline that's a crucial thing. You can't afford to lose those uh, restarters. Especially when you are trailing behind, it could be a single point or five points because Isipatana will need to take the momentum on their side. Momentum was with them until they committed that mistake and handed the ball over to St. Silvestres. Now Bhavanta Pereira with the ball in hand. Yes, they are obviously <laughs> trying to run the clock down. Isipatana trying to hurry things up, not working in their favor, making that crucial error at the restart. Coach! Okay. St. Sylvester's with only six men in the field. I think guys like Bond the player will have to get his work rate up. Very dangerous offloading. On that occasion, oh, lovely, straight through, but ref deemed. Yes, knocked it forward. I initially thought ref first got his hand up, 
uh, for a penalty but just a scrum down in favor of St. Sylvester's they wouldn't mind just about 30 seconds remaining on our clock but what matters St. Sylvester's keeping the ball in position and finishing the game off now they are back to their original Set. number seven Steady. players okay, okay. in the field. Yeah, play on, play on, play on, really. Really? Stackle, Good pressure stackle, from no Sipatana scrum half. Ball on the ground and uh, Sipatana yes, conceding a penalty. <laughs> now Sensil Lister, they want to slow it down. The time is up. They can take a quick tap and kick the ball into touch. This game will be theirs. Ball finalist. They decided to work the ball out wide. This time, deep kick and what a fine kick. That'll, that'll do for St. Sylvester's. Beating Isi Patana and moving on to the cup. A rather ball finals proud moment. Absolutely. They, they, they check with the ref in the time. The ref said there is thumbo time. If you kick to touch, you will have the line out. So they, that's what they decided to keep position with them and then put the ball into a uh, touch. Intelligent, very good. Sylvester Sten, Casey Patana Seven. These are the old boys tournament gentlemen, ladies. Uh, it's the Lions Rugby Sevens Book Umbrella 2023, organized by the Trinity College 90, uh, 99 batch. As we see, Sipatana going over for their first try and the conversions coming good. That's a trendy lion who is covering and it's good to see, nice to have a lion on. Young and all, all coming here, enjoying high quality rugby. We'll take a small break and come back with live action in a moment. Every bite. Mmm. Bairaha. Wow, B. You are secured with our strength. Orient Insurance Limited. Millennial Higher Education and Visa Consultants, your key to a global future. Unlock your potential and study at your dream university with our expert guidance. Our experienced team is here to make your educational dreams a reality. Don't wait. Take the first step towards a world-class education today. Millennial Higher Education and Visa Consultants, your future, our commitment. Unlock your potential at the Candy Innovation Center, the creative hub of NIBM. Explore your passion for design, computer science, artificial intelligence, data science, psychology, counseling, and language. 
Our cutting-edge programs empower students to shape the future with innovation and creativity. Join us to harness the knowledge and skills needed for an exciting career in these dynamic fields. Your journey to success begins here at Candy Innovation Center, where your dreams are transformed into reality. Call 0701981000 today. Welcome back. Plate semifinals is upon us. Wesley taking on St. Peter's. Two teams play. I beg your pardon. Royal St. Thomas's combined team taking on Kingswood for the plate Linda. semifinal number one. White. Back 10. Not 10, not 10 back. Just bear with me, I've made a mistake. St. Peter's is the one side and we'll let you know what's the other side. It should be Wesley iced. Or St. Peter's with the ball in hand. Gives it a good ball. And Wesley, as usual, working their thing. Working the ball out wide. Some really good footworks by the Wesley iced. St. Peter's met with a huge tackle. Knocked the ball in the process. Jarampati had a, such a fantastic tournament so far for Wesley. Just didn't manage to pull things in the semi final, in the quarter finals of the cup segment. As a result, now they'll be competing for the place in the finals of the plate segment. But first, they will have to get through St. Peter's. Steady, steady, steady. Okay. Nine, nine back, nine. Pull out. Good ball being presented to St. Peter's center. There was a player holding on to the ball and conceding position back to Wesley. A penalty. Rick Madugala had no hesitation and. Uh, Two minutes already up, still Wesley searching for their first try. Early in the morning, Wesley went on to beat St. Peter's in their first game at the group stage. So they will no, be no doubt moving into this game with a slight psychological advantage over St. Peter's, St. Peter's expected to do well based on their rugby pedigree. Haven't managed Five. to do so. Set. As a result, Steady. now Steady. they will have to settle. For the final spot in the plate segment, if they go on to beat Wesley, but first Wesley, Advantage. they know for a fact it will be challenging for them. Obviously, Moving sideways, diagonal. Oh, oh, finally brought the man down, and a beautiful love lord sends the Wesley eyes yes. over the white boys for the try number one. Wesley did well in the morning, and Wesley continues to do well in the afternoon. That's right, Wesley College will continue to do what they known. They started off the first game, Wesley OB. On the start of the tournament, they did well, pretty well. Uh, over the time period, they, they were finding a bit of fatigue coming in. Maybe didn't have the correct uh, ice parts, but nevertheless, they're back again. Zurampa, the man with the left foot, couldn't find the target, uh, but they lead by five points, and we are virtually three minutes and 15 min uh, seconds gone. Zurampa, one of most enterprising players right throughout the tournament doing the conversion for Wesley adding two more points and St. Peter's once again trolling behind finding themselves under pressure like they did in the morning against Wesley traditional rivals two schools known to producing 
high quality rugby rights to the national scene number of players going on to play for top clubs in the country and eventually make their way into the national squad and did sri lanka proud jason karma ratna unmistakable slightly build but very enterprising rugby right came out of st peters played as a scrum half during his school days did so well and wesley looks like they've given up chasing and oh really good tackle there jurampati is there tackle tackle in offense in defense whenever wesley needed him oh lovely came through the side he streams yes yes clearly came through the side Five minutes up, Wesley in front. Final play of the first half. St. Peter's, will they have enough legs to go over for the okay. first try? I think if I'm not mistaken, during the morning session, just goes over for the first try. St. Peter's equalizing things up. Five points each. Right at the stroke of the first half, St. Peter's striking back. This is the plate semi-final number one. Bentley, Wesley were made to do all the defending Toward the right, toward the latter passages of this first half, conceding their first try, and just like that, first half ended. Wesley five, St. Peter's five. It's even, Steven. As we're taking a look at the first half highlights. Try. Both players scampering through five points each. Take a small break and come back with second half action live in a moment. Hitay nida hasay ratayan ya ticket take karna dem khata karna. Candy travel sell nation. Live St. Peter's restarting. Excellent restart, putting Wesley Ice under tremendous pressure. Now, in return, St. Peter's securing the position. Wesley, having done so well in the morning against St. Peter's, all of a sudden found themselves under huge pressure. I went on to say that a couple of times. When you're trailing behind, it's a different feeling when you're in front. It feels way better. And St. Peter's getting the benefits. Scoring their second try right at the start of the second half. And they are in front. Conversion should be interesting. Every point matters. This is the plate semi-final. Number six for St. Peter's. 
Rukshan Madhushanka. Tall man, strong, got the legs and goes over. Kamra Ratna enticing his players and keeping them on their toes. Still about four minutes remaining and in a semi-final, who gets in front should maintain it and the message from Jason Kamra to his Steve Mace. Guys, come on, let's do it. Wesley, all of a sudden, different body language from Wesley. Conceding a penalty for not releasing now Wesley. Trying out their try and tested formula. This man got plenty of speed trying to break away. The tackler was efficient. This time gets the offload inside ball being presented and uh, okay. there you go Jurampati goes under the post yes he will yes. what a player wait, wait. Wait, wait. you see the line out uh, the replay of that was he disturbed by the boys who are cooling down over the goal line on the other yeah. side that's what the referee oh, meant he, that he was knocked down by or disturbed by some of the players behind the goalpost uh you may know this he says knock on he says no try interesting unbelievable but i thought uh, jurampati went all the way and uh, was the knock on took place as he trying to touch down or before that not quite clear not very clear you're good to see the replay on that please production team we can have the replay on that i think that was a clear touchdown clear touch or not he was clearly disturbed by the player behind the goal line At Bogambaro, there's plenty of space for teams to do their warm-ups. Still, most of the players doing their warm-ups inside the in-goal area. Now, Wesley, what could have been a certain chance of scoring a try, gone a begging. Where is the TMO? <laughs> Those are the instances where you need the support of TMO wasn't clear to the naked eye I for a moment thought he got the touchdown right but what matters is what referee saw yeah because clearly he was disturbed by the uh, the, the the warming up player behind the goal uh, goal post so that's something which you need to consider Wesley still trying out their best, keeping the ball in position for a longer duration in comparison to St. Peter's. Now still a little bit of room to the wider channels. Now gets it. Slings it out wide. Got two against three, but looks like a deliberate knock-on right. Wait, wait, wait. Yes, yellow card straight away. Madhugala had no hesitation. Wesley is still in it. Ten minutes up. Now St. Peter's will have to contend with just six players for a minute or so. Very advantage position for Wesley now. But they're going to score and then convert it. What's got Jurampati got it up, up his sleeve and the pass is not right. But still they have position here. Crucial minutes of the game. Can Wesley do it? Yes, they Looks can. Looks like Wesley going to do it right underneath the post. They were denied by that warming up player. But Wesley coming back and conversion shouldn't be a difficult one. Right at the dying seconds of the game, St. Peter's gave it up. 
silly errors coming back to haunt them and Wesley the semi-finalist in the plate segment he deserves it they played so well and the previous incident where the tie was disallowed I think they were very unlucky absolutely so the Wesley OB uh, peeping St. Peter's OB 12 points to 10 in the semi-final of the plate segment and they go into the final of the plate uh, segment here's the score confirmation and we can also have a look at the highlights package of the second half there you go first up in the second half for St. Peter's Roshan Madhushanka goes over and for Wesley, number three, Anger. 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 Rajesh Muralidharan. He was a fantastic player for Wesley during his school days, and Wesley proudly walking into the finals of the plate segment as we take a small break and come back with live action in the plate final number two. Oh, Ape Shaktiya Obe Rakavarnei Api Orient Traction Samagama Secured with our strength. Orient Insurance Limited. semi-final number two St. Anthony's versus St. Joseph's St. Anthony's starting things off Joseph's trying out oh lovely step still moving ahead finally met with the tackle Sajid Silva gets the ball but before that we're still trying to find the name of that player still not quite clear the jersey number he's wearing St. Anthony's and St. Joseph's. This is the plate semi final number two. Already, Wesley reached the final of the plate segment. They will be later on playing one of those teams and uh, looks like a high shot and immediately ref Gunaratna pointing a yellow card at uh, Sachit Silva. Tough times for St. Joseph's. Not easy, especially in a game of sevens. Losing a player for two minutes, especially in the semi-finals in this format. Just five minutes per game. You got to be conscious about the fact you can't go too high with your tackles deemed dangerous consequences you are curtailing the chances of the entire team not just you you can see kids playing in the foreground having fun time this is trinity college class of 99 organized Lions 
Rugby Sevens 2023. St. Anthony's gets the first score. It's just a matter of get your handlings right and uh, St. Anthony's with a numerical advantage. Get it right and get it over for the try number one. St. Anthony's is in front. Live music, cheerleaders, and a fabulous atmosphere. All the units of prestigious rugby playing schools in the country clashing against each other. And this is the plate semi final number two. Wesley already in the finals. Meanwhile, St. Anthony's getting a step closer. Organizers have decided to reduce the time to five minutes. Take a look at the conversion. Goes high and goes over the crossbar. Very well done. Every point matters. St. Anthony's up by seven point. Very high restart immediately. Under pressure. Nice dummy. Evades a tackler and looking for support and goes thinking of going inside and lovely handling. He instinctively decided to give it to this man. One of the finest players we've witnessed so far. Wearing jersey number two for St. Joseph's. Priyanka Ekanayaka, famous name in Sri Lanka rugby. Unmistakable. A unique hairstyle, unique playing style. And he had a fantastic day and he leveled things up. Get the conversion himself and St. Joseph's coming back strong. Yeah, what three kick went on? There you go. A restart went out on the full refer boarding a free kick. Hurry up, hurry up. Or was it? Uh, looks like ref asking St. Anthony's Last to move. take the restart. Pull on, pull on. Seven free points kick. each. Just about few seconds remain in the first half. St. Anthony's striking first and St. Joseph striking back immediately through this man, Priyanka Ekanayaka. Such a fine player. My fellow commentator, SW Chang, calling him Speedy Gonzalez. Priyan Deganayaka, man with a unique hairstyle. One of the players right throughout the tournament performed so well. So at the end of the first half, seven points each, it ends. We'll take a look at the highlight package and move on to a quick break. There you go, St. Anthony striking first. Fabulous conversion. Tough angle, really well done. And this man, Speedy Gonzalez, goes over. Beautiful work. Nice build up. Outstanding finish. And things are level at the end of the first half as we take a small break and come back. Crunch in every bite. Mmm, Bairaha Wow B. You are secured with our strength. Orient Insurance Limited. 
Well, what an outstanding plate semi-final number two we are having St. Anthony striking first and looking comfortable for a moment and St. Joseph's found the answers through Priyanta Ekanayaka fabulous now they've got five more minutes to get their work rate up slings it out St. Anthony's did this really well in the first round now, Priyanta Ekanayaka oh, will really well be tackled, well wrap around. I think he knocked his head in the process. Outstanding player. I'm rather surprised not seeing him in the club rugby scene. This man could have been a fine halfback for any club rugby team, SW. Uh, absolute talent and he's um, good to watch him you know he's all over the place in defense he saved a certain try there and uh, coming back he's actually fantastic who is Priyanth Ekanayaka do we have another Priyanth Ekanayaka on the pitch such a famous name everybody knows it from St. Anthony's from Candy and Priyanth Ekanayaka for St. Joseph's such a fine player, fabulous work rate, always in defense, look at him, not the, the biggest player but player with a very big heart and uh, that time St. Joseph's going upstairs is the call from the ref Priyanta Gunaratna, such a seasoned ref and a coach. St. Anthony is finding it difficult to penetrate the defences of St. Joseph's. Go to the shorter side and eventually deciding to go for the open side. Touch too late on that occasion and still managing to clear the ball for strange reason. Having big players in their ranks, they are still deciding to go to the shorter side and holding on is the call from the ref. St. Joseph's fabulous defensive work. Earning a penalty, and it looks like we got another player on the deck injured. If I'm not mistaken, he went down rather awkwardly for St. Anthony's. Looks like a knee injury. The injuries, as always, tough cookie to handle. Yeah, and especially when a big boy has a knee injury. Oh, it's that ankle or that went through. Oh, that was that was that was pretty harsh on the boy. Absolutely, but I, is it the ankle or the or the knee? This is uh, he is uh, nursing. Even I thought. Oh, it's a knee. Yes, definitely knee. Hyperextension on that occasion. Going down. Awkwardly, player on top. Never reached Priyanka Ekanayaka gets the ball gets his sidestepping skills to good use and oh what a player if St. Joseph can't win this game back of that performance they should be disappointed Priyanta Ekanayaka your beauty absolutely the sidesteps the speed the little bit of speed the speed of the mark within the five meters and then getting his body into a turning circle and finding gaps complete player and defensive defense defense also very good absolutely all right that's one player that we have really caught our eye yes this is the call from us if we not consider playing a serious club rugby this is the time for you to consider club rugby season is starting three weeks time i can't see a club outfit don't want to have a player of this caliber Sajid Silva eventual beneficiary goes over easily handles and Joseph's looks like the final spot almost secured moving ahead with live action and St. Joseph's kicking it into touch not on full so they've gained uh, St. Anthony's rather St. Joseph's were trailing behind for the best part of this game and two 
back-to-back -back tries, given them the leads and fingertip stop. Oh, slack piece of defense there, fortunately for. I think Vyanta Gunaratta should have allowed. No, actually, no, actually, I was, I was thinking why he didn't play, uh, he didn't blow early because there was a knock on by both sides. Both sides yeah. yeah. I think they are made a call on that because he he saw the first one, but he didn't see the second one, and that's why he allowed play to go on. But they are made the call, and he brought play back. Time is running out for Saint Anthony's spot in the final. Can they get it? Priyanta Ekanayaka. Take a look at him. Outstanding work rate. So Anthony still continues. Slender lead for. Oh, fabulous tackle. Place opening up for number two for St. Anthony's. Not the speediest of guys. Dananjay. There you go, the man. Scrum in favor of St. Joseph. This should be it. The finalists. Outstanding game of rugby. St. Joseph's, they should be proud of themselves. They were aided by some brilliance of Priyanta They will meet Wesley in the plate finals. From a while now. Here are the highlights. Good inside ball after some nifty footwork from Priyante Kanayaka since Satit Silva under the post for try number two. St. Joseph's wrapping the games up and we'll take a small break. Come back for. Millennial Higher Education and Visa Consultants, your key to a global future. Unlock your potential and study at your dream university with our expert guidance. Our experienced team is here to make your educational dreams a reality. Don't wait. Take the first step towards a world-class education today. Millennial Higher Education and Visa Consultants, your future, our commitment. Unlock your potential at the Candy Innovation Center, the creative hub of NIBM. Explore your passion for design, computer science, artificial intelligence, data science, psychology, counseling, and language. Our cutting-edge programs empower students to shape the future with innovation and creativity. Join us to harness the knowledge and skills needed for an exciting career in these dynamic fields. Your journey to success begins here at Candy Innovation Center, where your dreams are transformed into reality. Call 0701981000 today. Apa syak dia obi rek warni ay? Apa Orient Traction sama agama?
Welcome back, Cup semi-final number one just about to start. DS Sinanaika taking on Trinity College, the host. Trinity didn't start it off well, but they're in the Cup quarter-final. They've beaten much fancied Wesley and booked their spot for this important clash. A very strong outfit. DS Sinanaika went on to beat Trinity in the first round, but this time Trinity will definitely approach this game immediately under huge pressure big tackles coming up play on the ground looking for support desperately Trinity boldly working the ball inside their own 22 now moving ahead man with the speed trying to break through wasn't successful and he hits the deck as just not rolling away is the call from ref. He's very, very strict on that discipline. Outstanding game as things starting to cool off. Heavy cloud cover on top of us. Things are much more pleasant now, SW. Yeah, I know it's cooler, but the scary part is if we get back to our hotels after, after the game. Pandanaika, very rare, a mistake, losing position there as he hits the ground. Come boys, come boys. <coughs> Should I keep position? Trinity all of a sudden is playing this game with a lot of urgency, a lot of purpose than the start of this tournament. I suddenly realize, okay, we, we are one final away, boys. This is our tournament. Let's give it to them, to the 99 batch who's done tremendously well, bringing up a new concept to the, to the, to the, to the to a tournament. And then I'm sure and I hope and I pray that it will go from strength to strength. Coach Tarinder Ratwate must have played a part. I'm sure. Must have given clear instructions, some harsh words. Must have spoken. You can clearly see there's some change in their energy levels, their attitude. Now for dear Serenaika. Man wearing jersey number three had an outstanding tournament so far. Saranga Udavatta gives it out and trying to step out and eventually goes over number six. Slender man, but very, very dangerous. Tilanka Viswajit. DS Iranaika starting off brilliantly. They are the happier side so far. Look at them. Trinity trying to punch up in order to defend but this man somehow managing space brilliant footwork unfortunately Trinity not reading its own uh, defensive line because you could see the player come one player coming to the ball carry as a conversion looks good yep so that's seven points by uh, to DS Trinity defense when one player is moving on to take the uh, defender the other player moves in to support him uh, by taking time to take the ball carrier by leaving a huge gap for the oncoming supporting player if he stays okay. back this guy can give the ball offload to the supporting player but then you are there to get him off but instead of that you go uh, with to the ball carrier leaving the, all the supporters out there it sounds very simple but very important to get all these aspects right Trinity still exploring their chances of reaching again, again. the finals of the tournament organized by the class of 99 fabulous initiative there's no doubt top rugby playing schools in the country will follow this so Trinity could be very proud they will go down as the trendsetters I'm sure schools like Isipatara Royals and Peters with huge budgets to support their rugby. They can obviously come up with this kind of an idea and inviting OB teams to take part and keep the rugby flowing. Good thing about Trinitians, they've got the timing right for this tournament, though the clubs haven't allowed their top players to take part in this tournament. Still, we can see some outstanding talent on display the likes of russian bandar naika 
opportunity turning behind Nine. just about a minute Six. remaining in the first half <laughs> in and uh, kicking the ball inside the scrum is the call from the ref and uh, big man he breaks through <laughs> oh this is outstanding from the Vata. one of the players right throughout the tournament big presence another player you would be surprised not in action in club c got the physicality got the speed got the skills and yeah, these are the boys we got to graft into the national squad they should have a national squad and graft them in and then train it i'm sure you i mean it's, it's still worth a try right as as a ds make the conversion and it's uh, uh 14 points to nothing and we all knew that ds was a very strong side at the beginning of the tournament or at the start of the tournament not just ds in possession of quite a few outstanding players they got the skills uh, there you go the score line at the end of the first half those are the highlights very little trouble but running that one yes is in front semi-final number one first half done will back in second half action live in a moment api shaktiya obi rakavarnayai api orient rakshana samagama Second half, Cup semi final number one. DS Sirenaika up by 14 points to Nils. Udavata had a fantastic first half, not rolling away is the call from the ref, Russian Bandar Naika committing a mistake. Cardinal Sin. Trinity can't afford to make too many mistakes in the second half. Kicks it into touch, not too much of distance still. Dear Senanayaka, they'll get to they get to throw in 14 points, significant lead. It's not it's not Russian Bandanaika. Bandanaika went to the pick. The tackler he called the tackler didn't move away, but they were still questioning on that call. But nevertheless. Is 14 points to DS. Absolutely fantastic. 99, the batch 99. 99 year was a significant year for me, uh, Dhamika, because I got the opportunity of coaching one of the top school sides in the 99, and also then I became a father for the very first time. So it's a significant year. Outstanding to hear that. Some memories. I would love to know the team you've coached. <laughs> Well, 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 one of the top schools uh, had a great opportunity and privilege in in 99. Nisipatana, the rugby culture unmatched, passionate fans. There goes another man with big physical presence, number two for DS Sirenaika. Strong man, Marlon De Silva. You can now realize it. Had an outstanding season and number nine. For DS Sinanaika, gives it out. Menula, Arya Ratna, Antonetti in position, oh, looking for support, drops the ball. The Those are the kind of mistakes Trinity just cannot even first think of. But unfortunately, small errors coming back and curtailing the, uh, curtailing the chances of Trinity progressing. Trinity, like you mentioned, during the second half of this tournament, done outstanding well, didn't start it off well, lost to the Sinanaika. They scampered through against their, their opponent and 
Then comes the cup quarterfinals where they brought their <laughs> best game. But they are still finding it difficult against this solid DS outfit. Once again, they are on the move, Udavata. Oh, lovely pass. Space out wide and Tata's down. <laughs> DS Sinanayaka sealing the victory in the semi final. Number one, outstanding. Smiles around. I'm sure DS supporters watching this game on YouTube or even TV must be ecstatic. DS haven't done too well in the school rugby scene. Gone back five years playing in sick but B. It is very, very pleasing to see all boys as well as their first 15 outfit doing a fantastic job. DS promoted themselves into the top league tier A and finishing at number five, beating much fancied side like St. Joseph's, St. Thomas's and Wesley for the first time in their history significant year and these guys making things even more special the clock is going down to uh, almost a minute to the full time Trinity facing a 19 point deficit uh, it's all gone and dusted with a minute to go they're going to score thrice over as we have seen them with position trying to win the ball keep position there and DS Nika with a 19 point cushion is still going up there and battling like a true champion team as we see the interception and that's number 10 for DS all the way right under the post that's absolutely the final coffin in the nail that's it and see you in the final DS done and dusted thank you very much bye bye says DS Iranayaka they will be playing for the championship right at the beginning of the tournament you and i spoken about it and we were right big physical presence strong skillful rugby and they did even better than they did in the morning against trinity look at the scoreline that's it 26 points to nail the first uh, cup semi-final dsnrak ob finds its way to the final and we'll meet the winners of Vidyata, uh Obi versus San Anthony's, or is it Dharmaraja or Dharmaraja? Here's the scoreline, 26 points to nil. We will have a chance to take a look at the highlights before we'll be moving into a break. As you can see, the teams are already on the ground to start off the semi-final number two in the cup segment. There you go, fabulous hands goes over DS New at that point they wrapped the game in their favor number 10 for DS Iranaika another man had a fantastic tournament Balasuria outstanding semi-final number two Dharma Raja versus Vidyartha plenty of supporters gathers around supporting each team Dharma Raja looking solid strong in their defense Vidyartha very swift in their distribution got quite a few fast runners including this man the scrum half number four without having position playing the typical old and style rugby sevens here no way to go crashing tackle into the number of defenders ball lost as a penalty given I think it's on a high tackle referee 
Yes. Think about your tackle. You got a minute to go. How about it? It's it's with that who's having position. Six was seven on the field. A lucky escape, player down, Vidyartha trying to pounce on the opportunity being provided. Dharmaraja slings it out wide, trying out a goose step before, sends the ball from right to left. No space available as our oh, lovely breakthrough, finding some more fabulous out floating. Just what we expect from the semi-finalist Dharmaraja. Nice chip kick. I'm starting to wonder whether that was the right decision. Pressure on top still. With Dharta managing to keep the position and smart thing. Kicked it out into the midway point. Udan Gabur backing off and Fast runner approaching and immediately Dantabua taken a long time to Oh yes Just what the doctor orders fabulous counter rocking looking for Brilliant support and he just leading up walked to the drive for <laughs> with the He was outcast anyway not and he doesn't need to move fast Try was on the cards Dabaraja trialing behind with Java done fantastically Is the day gone with the sun shining on them which, with all the energy being sacked out I think all these players need to be re at a petrachet to re-put their energy levels back because you can see the tired legs tired movement this is where he made the mistake it was too slow to the breakdown well played picked up nicely given it in and there was nobody to tackle him only the referee was in sight and there was a slight uh, a dummy run and of course the uh, dummy offload for him to go under the post. There was no stopping that try unless you stopped it. Absolutely. He was looking at the horizon, so two players charging in. Immediately he's under pressure because he's got not only a player, a couple of players to contend with. And as a good one, got the option but to release the ball and Vyarta says thank you so much. Beautiful work. You emphasize the fact it's not about, it's not all about attacking. It's got to be proficient in our defense as well. And that was one suffocation with Vyarta benefiting and rewarding for their defensive efforts once again in position. From left to right. Lost with Jarta. Not the offload. And trying to penetrate the gap, but before that, ref spotted an infant, but an offside. With Jarta pouncing on the opportunities given to them, and once more twisting and turning and goes over. There was no stopping, there was too much of movement and one. too much of power behind, behind that one. Absolutely powerful runner. Magana has the number, number three, and the name on him. Kaluarachi. Uh, Chinta Kaluarachi. He's a famous name, played so well for Vidyartha. A few years back, of course. And half time, uh, Tigers lead 14 points. 14 points to, to you. Nil. Nil in the first half, in the first half. Uh, 
as you see with that uh, our movie step closer to challenge the Kalambo uh, Kalambo school OBA uh, that's uh, Mahanama OBA, OBA taking on uh, most probably it's only half time too early to talk about it. Uh, for Dabur Raja, yeah. 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 And boys are successful with the number of five, seven points by the end. There goes the bank. Kaluarachi, powerful leg drive, goes over the white watch for the second try and the conversion. Outstanding first half. Let's catch you with the second half action live in a moment. You are secured with our strength. Orient Insurance Limited. Without the in front, second half just started. Free kick being awarded to Dharmaraja. They need to keep the ball in possession and launch quite a few attacks. First of all, to get in front, and then searching for the victory. One of the favorites. All the teams we predicted that would go on to represent go on to make their way into the semi-finals had walked through to the finals so our predictions right at the beginning of the tournament we mentioned D about DS, Dharma Raja Vidyarta all of them reaching cup finals your expertise coming through uh, I was quite that's a wild guess but having said that D DS, I still tip them to uh, the on the scales to have a good finals, but not to outdone, outdo with Vidyata and Damaracha. There's still more to play, uh, at least four minutes to go. Looks like Vidyata just about to go in front in the second half as well. Good composure, not hurrying things up, using the hands, using the width of the field. Penetrative run. Uh, there you go. Comparatively, with Jarta being vigilant, support arriving on time, switching directions, and uh, he basically what he did there is cutting his options off, and finally went down, was under pressure, he gave away a penalty. Of Dharmaraja. There's no option but to attack. Oh, fabulous tackle! I think Bawan Taudangamu and a few players being the target of <laughs> few big hits so far. Tabaraja still not given up, still trying to work their way up, bundled into touch. Ball still in play. I for a moment thought the Baraja player. Oh, how about that? Parallel to the sidelines goes with Yarta. 19 points to nil. There's no catching with Yarta by the looks of it. With Yarta surely will beat DS Senanaika in the finals. And what a final it will be. But surely now we can say clearly, very safely, it's with that that will walk in the finals. With two, two, and two minutes to go, less than two minutes to go, and 19 points. They're going to score thrice over to beat them, and uh, it's going to be a tough task. 
a sight you want to see from uh, candy grades as well as CR grades warming themselves up for a game. I have no doubt you got at least half a dozen friends over there. Oh, yeah, absolutely. Absolutely. I heard about it, but I thought, oh, it's going to be great. I wonder what the how, what what who the greats are on the field anyway. I got they got to be all greats anyway on the field for those two clubs produce some brilliant rugby players. Of course, coming from the ranks of Dharmaraja, Vidyat, AC Patanar, Trinity, and uh, uh, St. Peter's and Jodo, all from the schools, providing them the the greats to be at club level. Uh, and uh, it'll be a fantastic game of rugby. I'm sure it'll be nice. What Karan from? two best club teams in the country it was proven during the last season and I'm sure this season as well CH looking to work a formula for them interesting club rugby season coming up meanwhile Tarwaraja still searching for their first try good to see they are not dejected not given up but next to impossible There you go with Jartha, smart rugby. This man had a fabulous season, number six. For Chaturanga Dilshan. All smiling faces of Vidyata. That's a final coffee, a nail in the coffin. In the semi finals for Dharmaraja, will bow out to the tournament. After being, after having a superb outcome uh, of, uh, from the start, but to be outdone by the home team, ri uh, home team rivals, with the other. You can straight away spot right from the beginning their handlings and their strength and conditioning was up to the mark immediately, and uh, we'll get a chance to look at the second half highlights. Go the scoreline 24 points to nil in favor of Vidyartha. I'm sure none expected this scoreline because both the teams performed outstandingly well right throughout the tournament. So I was expecting a single digit score difference at the end, but Vidyartha bring out their A game and scoring number of tries and Dharmaraja basically had no answers as we take a break and come back for the next game. Crunch in every bite. Mmm, Bairaha Wow Beef. Millennial Higher Education and Visa Consultants, your key to a global future. Unlock your potential and study at your dream university with our expert guidance. Our experienced team is here to make your educational dreams a reality. Don't wait. Take the first step towards a world-class education today. Millennial Higher Education and Visa Consultants, your future, our commitment. Unlock your potential at the Candy Innovation Center, the creative hub of NIBM. Explore your passion for design, computer science, artificial intelligence, data science, psychology, counseling, and language. 
Our cutting-edge programs empower students to shape the future with innovation and creativity. Join us to harness the knowledge and skills needed for an exciting career in these dynamic fields. Your journey to success begins here at Candy Innovation Center, where your dreams are transformed into reality. Call 0701981000 today. Hidde ni dah sese rata yang air tiket tengkan dan makan takaran. Candy Travels and Leisure. Okay, we are back on for the exhibition uh, match between Candy Grades and CRNFC Grades. When I see the list, my hand trembles to read through those great names. Dushan Luke for Sia, the coach of Sia, the coach of Royal College, the one of the most successful coaches of Sri Lanka. Seventh coach too, Ashen Karthej, Henry Terence, Nirjoshan Madipola, TK Boran, Radhika Hetiarachi, Ravinda Vekadapola, Jay Mano, Anushka Pera, Duminda. Sandun Darshana, Chatura Vegadapula, Akhil Arfat, and Kishan Musafa. That team counts a lot. And the man in the center is also a veteran, Anil Jaya Singha. As we see all veterans here, Candy Sports Club, Pradi Bas Naika, you can see him at number one. And um, Navinda Pulikutyarachi. I never sent him off the field because I couldn't write his name down. And Channa Chamara Vitanage, Amjad Bax, Pradeep Lianage, Salia Kumara. Kusar Rankot, Nilifui Prime, Fazir Marja, the sensation number 10, Satya Jawadana, Kapila Silva, Achala, Faisal, Kisho Jehan. I like to see Kishon there on, on the seventh field. Anu the Walgam, uh, Walpola, Sami the Silva, Prasad Chaturanga, what a list. Absolutely fantastic. The game is handled none other by Anil Jayasinghe, who was another top player, plus a top referee, now in charge of referee managers. Uh, they are playing touch rugby. I thought they were going to go into contact. Oh, I should have been on the field, but I didn't, didn't play for another side of them. Absolutely. I think the organizers as well as DCK Batch 99 deserves huge credit as we speak. Moving along, and he still got his... Yes, tags in tag for strike for CRNFC. Candy, of course, Basnaiga wearing specs, playing rugby. Haven't seen that before. Ten, ten. Try scorer Duminda. Fine player for CR. 
See so yeah, striking the first blood, of course. The competitive nature, competitive spirit is coming through. But once again, CR breaks through. It looks like CR must have done some serious training. Looks like Tuan Boran generously gave it away. I don't think so because he's lost the flap. Cheeky player. Try to outsmart the referees, the players, as well as us. Imagine I was on the field refereeing these guys. Tough time, tough time. <laughs> I don't know if you agreed or not. Or oh, they try to get the better of you, but I, at, absolutely at that same time, you know, you, you, you they know what, what they understand. They try, they fail, and they know they take the punishment very well. Back on the pola. Yes. Swing it along. Honest servants of rugby. Kapila gets a fabulous pass for Candy. Looking for room. And they intercepted. Who's that? Running away. CRFC. Legends. That's the second try. Third try. Candy trailing behind. There you go. Straps still intact. And look at the support play. Look at the support play. Three players supporting him. Wow. This is fantastic. Candy Legends trailing by 15 points. Not a thing that you normally see on the scoreboard. For Candy Sports Club, that's Boran. Yeah, absolutely right about that, I think. By the looks of it, these players must be paying visits to London Place quite often. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. There, there's a lot of touch rugby going on in Colombo. Well, uh, not tag, but they mostly touch. doesn't matter. They're so used to it, running into the angles. Back on the pull-up plays uh, touch rugby almost twice a week, thrice a week. And there's a group that plays in. Candy Sports Club has got different ideas. As a uh, knock forward says, referee Ani Jasinger. Who? Referee Ani Jasinger. Yeah, that's right. That's a name that we all familiar with. On the field for the legends, CR legends versus Kenny legends. I think the organizers and Trinity College class of 99 deserves immense credit for just organizing this game and bringing down these players to be in action right in front of us and giving out the opportunity for all the young or aspiring rugby players to see them. Yeah, that was Archula Pera and uh, Leon again. What a centre he was. Archula Pera was the number hooker for Sri Lanka. Fasil Marla, easily the best number 10 we have produced. Candy trailing by 15 points to nil. So looking to get something in their favour. Is that Vira Ratna? Achula. Long cut Achula pass. gives it out a long ball, handling skills wasn't up to the mark and uh, conceding possession back to CR. CR? More, I think more than the, more than the catching skills, the pass is skill for Achula. As a hooker, he coming not as a half back. I saw a lightning. Doesn't matter. If I'm not most mistaken. It's a matter about the lightning because the, all the lightnings on the field with the veterans coming on. I'm sure the organizers must be keeping a close eye. The CR legend comfortable lead. Look at them. Their handling skills. Fabulous. I mean wouldn't be surprised if someone asked them to come back and play for the first 15. Oh, any day they would love to see them playing back. Oh, G1 is playing for CR2. The former, former police and Anand the college. Oh, fabulous work by Fazil Marija. Creates the opportunity for the first try for Candy. The name you hit are writing down. Now in the Paligo Tuarachi. Yes, he's got his tags intact. 
Is, it, is that him? According to the list provided to us, uh, that's, that's what Navendra Palliko Tuarachi. Asim Marja in the thick of it. Once again, you can't keep that man off. Herons, Tenry Herons, water. That's what they all want. 15 points to 5 8 and the Legends tag rugby game. We'll take a small break and come back for the second half action. There goes the second half. The Sierra FC in front. 15 points to 5. Right before the half time, Nifty Foot. That's nil for Ibrahim. One of the best coaches in uh, local rugby scene. I mean, rugby stalwarts in action. He was dancing around, <laughs> hoping that someone would miss taking off the strap or can be going backwards here's Marija whenever he gets the ball something special happens absolutely really far oh beautiful look at that look at that pass vintage rugby here he comes can he go all the way Oh, he's tagged, he's tagged. Tag rugby in the sense, removing the tag. Defenders attempting to go to the mid-drift is ideal for the youngsters to practice tackling. Therefore, I think tag rugby in the country should be developed way more than this. Take look a look at, at it. it. Look at it. It was a proper tackle just to remove the strap. Very well done. It was a drive to be taken, Salia Kumara, this ripped time. Off, ripped off by Terence Henry. <laughs> a prop taking a full back off. <laughs> Salia Kumara, the present uh, Havelock's coach, former Trinity. Ah, oh, interception. Jeevan. Is it Jeevan? He got speed. He used to have speed, may I put it that way. Oh, oh, oh. oh super! Absolutely fantastic. Take a bow. They should be very proud. <laughs> Lovely move. Marija chasing all the way down and stopped him on his tracks. And look at the pause and the follow up. Number six for Sierra FC gets his second try. Radhika Hetya Rachi. That's Hetya Rachi's brother. Gasping for some air. Totally different physical appearance in comparison to the days they played club and schools rugby. But some players still got the moves. Good to see. with a quick tap. Good to see Tiki Jehan. He's pulled down a lot to, the, to his playing days. What a prop. Serve Candy and Sri Lanka for so long. Automatic choices coming in. Boran trying to sneak through. He's got his straps still intact. I'm starting to wonder if he saw the tracks saw those traps into the trouser yeah. the lightning i just saw hey Damika, don't stop talking about the lightning 
It's the thunder that is powerful on the field. And Jai Singer is worried about it. <laughs> I can see his face. We'll see, we'll see. Our Sierra and FC exploring opportunities one more time. Second one says referee Jaya Singer. Vaikata Pala intercepted, playing advantage. I mean, as W Sum says, if you're once a rugby player, always a rugby player. This is a classic example. The rugby player, the warrior spirit stays within you. It doesn't matter you're playing club rugby or school rugby or retired or at all age. The passion takes you back and stay close with top-notch rugby. Absolutely. Box offloaded to uh, Salia Kumara. Candy just got their second try. Score line looks much more respectable for Candy. Sierra, though in front by 20 points. Oh, just cannot ask for a better offloading. Saw the player coming and instinctively, Salih Kumar moving into the gap. Then that is, I think, uh, Talgampala. No, is, is it Talgampala? I don't think it. that is only Puli. A look alike. That's only Puli Kutiarachi. <laughs> All right, whoever compiled this list must got gotten us in the spot, but doesn't matter. <laughs> doesn't matter. Area. Doesn't matter at all. Probably the Vaikotapala interception call back. I'm sure referee was not happy. He's not happy too on the call, but nevertheless. Yeah, there was an obstruction. Oh, someone forgotten that they are playing tag, tag rugby. <laughs> he tries to push his way through. Only Jaya Singer is he's trying to see that the scores get level so that there will be a enjoyable evening. <laughs> And that's it. There you go, fabulous offloading. Saleh Kumara instinctively moved through the gaps, and requesting for a ball and fabulous fast. 20 points to 15. Oh, it's anybody's game. Now all of a sudden, different energy level. The candy camp. I think that one went forward, if not, not mistaken, yes. Now CR, all they need is to hang on to the lead they've gained. We're almost on time. Ashan Kartel is with the ball in hand. Where is Dushan Luki? We see his name on the card. I don't see him on the field. Oh, what a beautiful run there. Down the ground, a little bit of dummy. Absolutely fantastic. See our legends are driving into the candy legends. Knock forward. Knock it forward and that's the time. Fabulous outcome. Everybody enjoyed and what a fabulous game, Miss W. Absolutely bringing back memories. Tiki Chehan, Nilufar Ibrahim, the legends of rugby as players, Nilufar, and also as a coach. That's Puri Gutiarachi, the number seven for Candy. 
Terence Henry. Just to see the number of legends in action in the same field must be very pleasing to this crowd as well as to the viewers who are joining in with us. Bucks couldn't make it. In his day, he would have certainly gone and made the tackle. As you see the highlights of the tries coming from CRFC, TK Boran, the halfback number nine, combined with Mubarak, for the button of the year, they played together. What a combination that was. Fuzzy offloading it to number two. That's a long drive. No! Oh. He was just taken off near the goal line and CR sealing it. Parks offloading it to Salia Kumara, but there was an infringement, so the try was disallowed. Tiki Jehan offloading to Salia Kumara, the try was disallowed. The legends are happy, we are happy. It was a fantastic little bit of class involved there. Ball finals just about to start. Here we go, Sensei Blessers taking on Kingswood in the ball finals. Time to get your work rate to up. Kingswood running around number six. They had a good game chugging the Bandara. Now also offloads into Asel Avira Sekara. Still. Knocked it forward is the call from the ref. This is the goal final. Teams who haven't been able to win a single game. And According to the draw, they will be moving on to the ball round. And the Sensor Listers, having been Sipatana, are reached the finals of ball segment. And Kingswood, if I'm not mistaken, they managed to beat a Royal Thomian combined outfit and having reached the bowl finals, the title up for grabs. A wonderful looking trophy to wrap their hands around. Kingswood didn't play well during the first round. Two games but totally out of their hands. We haven't seen the usual brilliance coming Nine through, Nine. but this is the time for both the teams from Candy to Nine. get their skills up, Nine. reduce their mistakes, Set. and hopefully hey, steady, steady, winning steady. the title and becoming the pole champions. This is Lions Rugby Sevens. We are coming to you live from Bogambara Stadium, Candy. Quite a decent crowd already is in, and just a moment ago we had an exhibition game between Forbes CR Legends and Candy Legends. A fabulous game. Some of the great names in Sri Lanka rugby was in action in the middle. Lovely to see. Most of them went on to becoming top level coaches the likes of Dashant Leuke, Nilfa Ibrahim, Salia Kumara. There's your man. They are now Fazil Maja with Trinity College and doing a great job there. And Fazil Marija played brilliantly well as he created the opportunity. Kingswood 
0 sends it to 0 this is the pole finals this will be followed up by the plate finals and the rafter the big one the huge one in fact inter oba rugby cup finals with the arthur looking to wrap the title and they will be up against a formidable opponent at the SNI and looks like Kingswood who had a fabulous season at Afora Bob Montoda talking about him we were saying that's Tiwanka Ranatunga for Kingswood going over for the first try it is always good to see the crowd building up supporting the best rugby players who are representing their college once again having left the school many years back Kingswood with the upper hand five points to Nielsen Sylvester's they got something special to do now Tiwan Karanatunga who just scored the strike trying to work something off Trying out a few of his sidestepping skills didn't work. I think the organizers have decided to go for seven minutes per half in the finals, which is good to see. They have just about an hour ago deciding to just about a couple an hour, couple of hours ago decided to reduce the game time by five minutes per half it's to be to speed up things and as a result now we've been able to conclude quite a few games there you go the score five points to nil it remains five minutes per half so we'll have a chance of looking at the highlights Kingswood scoring the first try Ivanka Ratnayaka So the score remains 5 points to nil in favour as we end the first half and joining you with second half action live in a moment St. Sylvester's trailing behind as they are preparing to kick off the second half. The game moving at a slow speed. The Kingswood managing to break through the defenses of short restart. Still, Kingswood with possession. Because it's our nice fend off. He's still moving forward and gives it out to number two. Kingswood they are be chasing her I think the penalty was he, he was covering the ball uh, not allowing any sort of uh, movement from both sides uh, that's the right call by the referee. As you see, uh, Sylvester is on the move. They will have that line out close to the goal line with a super kick, good, good kick to touch. 
you give a penalty, you lose, lose 40, 45 meters. But in very rarely you see kick to touch in in seven tournament because you prefer to keep the ball. And but if you lose the line out here, then you're in trouble. Bawant of Pereira so far haven't had any say in this game. Haven't had opportunities to work his magics for Sensei Listers. Could this be the first try for them? I think wasn't the smartest call. King Sud back in position and evading tacklers after tacklers. There you go. Wherever there's an opportunity, Bawanta Pereira is there. And he goes over for the try number one. This is outstanding. As we can see, he's under a little bit of trouble. I'm starting to wonder if he smashed his head onto the ground. Looked to be in serious pain. I know, and also the uh, supporting players called at the referee, saying that uh, something would have happened, something bad would have happened to him. Let's see the replay. May have been the elbow that stuck first. It's it just winded. Maybe it just winded. <coughs> yeah, he's winded. He just breathe in and out. Breathe in and out. Now I'm starting to wonder was that whether the try is awarded. Yes, the try being awarded. They're ready for the conversion wasn't successful. It means scores are level. Seven minutes up. I wonder what happens in the finals whether even the scores are equal. Will they share the trophy or will they go for a sudden death? Uh, maybe first five minutes or something like that. I hope they go for extra time, at least three minutes because the duration for the finals is just five minutes. So the organizers keeping a keen eye on it. He decided to go deep and kicks it past the deadline cardinal mistake. There sh should be a free kick in favor of Kingswood right at the halfway mark. Since Silvestres as well as Kingswood trying to bring out the last ounce of energy left in their tanks. It's a tough day, very hot and humid. Not too much of wind to speak of and fabulous offload earns another try to Kingswood. Looks like they are just about to wrap things around. Are we read the clock right on the screen? 7.41, it has stopped. Yeah, it has remained 7.41 for a few minutes now. Hope the production team spotted it. Okay. 10 points to 5 in favor of St. Sylvester's and Kingswood. Good source to go midway. St. Sylvester's deciding to kick it out and chase. <laughs> Without hurrying things off, Kingswood deciding to kick it into touch and 
Get back, back. Now there is an back. opportunity not finding Number the touch. Back. Cardinal mistake. Learn. Nice ball being given and sort of a net ball pass. But Riff Forward spotted pass. that one went touch forward. And that's it. So near yet so far for St. Sylvester's. Fought so hard, reached the finals in the ball segment, but didn't have enough petrol in the tank to go all the way. And inaugural oh, Lions okay. Sevens edition, ball champions, Kingswood. Congratulations, players. Congratulating each other. And as we're looking at the highlights, Boanaka Pereira. A run around big man with big heart and speed goes round and scores the try and soon after that Kings would strike back and regain the lead and as a result proudly working out of Bogambara Stadium as the bowl champions congratulations we take a small break and come back with plate finals <laughs> NSPM Harit Sarsavia Obi Balapurun to Jai Kanwana Millennial Higher Education and Visa Consultants Your key to a global future Unlock your potential and study at your dream university with our expert guidance Our experienced team is here to make your educational dreams a reality Don't wait Take the first step towards a world-class education today, Millennial Higher Education and Visa Consultants. Your future, our commitment. Unlock your potential at the Candy Innovation Center, the creative hub of NIBM. Explore your passion for design. Advantage. This is the plate final, St. Joseph's taking on Wesley. Two formidable outfits, done exceedingly well, reached cup quarterfinals. Didn't work all that well, Wesley going down against Trinity and St. Joseph's. Haven't had the fortune of reaching the cup finals. Two very good teams. I wonder whether there is a third and fourth uh, place final uh, uh, placing uh, match. <coughs> Things are getting a bit darker now. As we see, uh, Wesley having position. Around the same time of the day, it pretty much had rain yesterday, and week leading up so the organizers will keeping their fingers crossed that the light remains good for them to continue this wonderful tournament St. Joseph's moving forward Priyanta Ekanayaka in support and fabulously stolen this man had a fabulous outing for Wesley College Wesley beaten his department and St. Peter's in their first round at just didn't manage to go all the way they lost their yeah. goes over always in the finals who scores first matters and this Wesley doing the simple stuff right St. Joseph having played very very tough cup semi-finals looks like out of energy This man, Jurampati, had a fabulous rugby tournament. Conversion isn't successful on that occasion. Wesley still in front, just about three minutes gone. Yeah, he was a sensation. 
Absolutely. He may miss the, miss the try. I mean, he must be tired. His legs must be giving away because he's been a tick off in defense, in attack, in every op opportunity and support play and creating gaps. As you see the restart, St. Joseph's need to put points on the board. He's another one for St. Joseph and the tournament who's been a workaholic. Interesting character. Priyam Pekanayaka, whenever he gets a ball, he trying to create opportunities for St. Joseph's, more or less. He was successful and on that occasion, and not releasing is the call from the ref, Madhugalla. And this time, once again, works it out wide. This time, caught him by the edge of the shot. Priyam Pekanayaka right there and trying to create the overlap three against two and eventually St. Joseph's goes over number seven well St. Joseph's got the points on the board and it's Andy Yvonne Wallace is the try scorer his uh, teammate, I'm sure, would have said it's worth losing my shots because you got the five points on. Priyanka Ekanayaka gets a conversion right, seven points to five in favor of St. Joseph's. Now, Wesley, all of a sudden, we're trailing behind. Just about minute left in the first half. Watched restart by St. Joseph's. Silly mistakes. In a final like this, this is not the time. Wesley taking a quick tap and uh, trying to move through the gaps. Jurampati, outstanding player. Always at thick of things, obviously. Be it defense or offense. Here goes Wesley looking for room. Going forward. Oh, on that occasion, he misses it. He's disgusted with himself. Slammed the ground. Now, looks like. Just before the half time, Wesley goes in front by still 10 points. Jurampati with the ball in hand, looking to add two more points. Oh, we can see a chit chat with the AR and the referee there. Uh, with regarding to the try there on a high tackle, he says, yep, the try stands, or is he bringing back play? Yep, try stands, so it's, it's on a high tackle, fair enough. That's a good, if the call is all right. The conversion isn't right, so there will be a penalty for oh, Wesley at the restart, or is it? No, it'll, it, it the, the, the restart of a penalty comes in if the try after the try been scored if there's been any foul play after the try been scored there you go at the end of the first half seven points to ten in favor of wesley they are in front we'll get a look at the first half highlights first try from st joseph's pretty straightforward this is the second try. Usually, Priyanta Ekanayaka gets his tackles well wrapped around the legs. This time, however, he missed it. And as a result, St. Joseph is in front as we take a small break before we come back with second up.
computer science, artificial intelligence, data science, psychology, counseling, and language. Our cutting-edge programs empower students to shape the future with innovation and creativity. Join us to harness the knowledge and skills needed for an exciting career in these dynamic fields. Your journey to success begins here at Candy Innovation Center, where your dreams are transformed into reality. Call 0701981000 today. Welcome back, second half of the plate finals. St. Joseph's trailing behind 10 points to 7. Wesley is in front. Now things gone significantly darker out here. So you can see if it is brightly on your pictures. Heavy cloud cover right on top of us from time to time. We've seen now a couple of times lightning striking. Not exactly from where we are. But not very far. Looked like once again Sajid Silva from St. Joseph's experiencing a cramp. So he's replaced by St. Joseph's number five. Russia and Kunavadana. St. Joseph's with a restart. Wesley gets a ball and Jurampati gets a good kick. Well collected by Priyanta Ekanayaka. He found room, cut back inside, very well tackled and looking for just holding on for too long. Priyanta Ekanayaka got isolated badly on that occasion. Two tacklers on top of him. Here goes Jurampati with a good kick. Some yardage taking the play all the way close to Center. 50 meter line. Center. Look at how he goes. If it wasn't for the oncoming defender for Wesley, he would have definitely goes right under the post. Just about six minutes up, Wesley is still in front. Joseph's they've been trying to create chances to send through their speedsters especially Priyanta Ekanayaka because the throw, throw is alright not from the head by ref oh lovely bust they, they couldn't call Cannot expect for better offloading. Got the support out wide. Jurampati with the ball in hand. Rock, 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 this is Joseph's hey. desperate rock, in defense. Yes. I think do we need a team over there. We need a team over there. Because I thought the hand came onto the ground uh, at the time of touch. Uh, it'd be nice to see the replay on that and a slow motion replay. There you are. That was the thought initially for me, but the camera angle provides us. Riff. As so is the AR. Both are happy, so we have to go with it. 15 points to 7. Wesley College is in front. St. Joseph looks like it will be very, very tough for them to come back. 8 points deficit. 
which means they will have to score twice just about three minutes remaining can they do it okay, it goes to kick off very well done player in the air tackled Priyanta Ekanayaka on the receiving end and yellow card for the player who tackled Priyanta Ekanayaka St. Joseph's were made to work very hard there. Good counter rocking pressure by Wesley Iced. Good wrap around tackle. Wasn't the best pass. Still, Wesley made to work hard in their defense. St. Joseph still not quite through. He was holding on. He was on the ground. Penalty. The question is, did the supporting player who wants to get the ball come round it or he came from there? Nevertheless, it's 30 seconds more, kicking a touch. Okay. Wesley Center. are playing a Center. man short, but yet they are ahead in the scores. And St. Joseph needs two scoring opportunities to get into the lead uh, with, uh, with 15 seconds to go. Highly unlikely, but excellent game of rugby nevertheless. St. Joseph's gave out a good fight. They wasn't ready to go down all that easily and they are getting a free kick in their favor can they get it quickly and move on to score a try will there be enough time for them to come back and looking for another try that's Ekanayaka steps inside he waits just about two tacklers and goes to the shorter side deliberate knock on oh that should be yellow plus seven points so i'm concerned that's a penalty try the try should be because there was a clear try scoring opportunity was yes it's, 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 it's about the probability of a try being scored not a possibility of a try being scored and there was a probability of a try being scored there seven certainly Seven points plus a yellow. Anyway, now St. Joseph's getting the try. They've been searching for quite a long time. But it will be too little too late for them. As Such a fine player. We didn't keep account of how many tries he scored right throughout the tournament. Conversion went astray, and there you go. The champions, Wesley College, Colombo, played champions of Lions Rugby Sevens 2023. Jubilant Wesley. They will be walking back to Campbell Park very, very proudly. Had a fabulous tournament. It's just that they didn't manage to go through the hurdle of semi-final or of quarter-finals rather but consolation prize the plate fabulous final well fought two good teams worthy the finalist absolutely fantastic firstly ob will celebrate tonight or maybe tomorrow in the in the carriage at the at the at the, at the west grounds and i'm sure the boys will deserve to it and if they have heard me, they'll say, okay, why are we celebrating tomorrow? We can do it tonight. In candy. Why not? Some some sake. Who's your who are?
we take a quick break and come back with cup final ape shaktiya obe rakawarneyai api orient rakshana samagama what a success story this tournament has been the sponsors orient insurance source of hospitals private limited elite ventures event managers event management partners t-shirt rajarata devon hotels private limited nsb green university there you go the finals of the cup segment ds sirnayaka and vidyartha as we predicted two best teams reaching the finals it will be a monumental task for each of the teams to winning this title because they are up against a solid a uh, very solid outfit rather nice inside ball with Jartha trying to move forward give away a penalty yes committing mistakes in the early stages we can't forget the uh, team sponsors too for making the success millennium high education and visa consultant trinity college candy and candy innovation center dharmaraja college 163 private limited byra and anthony's college candy next next gen education and silvester's college candy slit candy university without the college the candy travels and leisure private limited st peter's college colombo and samson mother ties private limited royal college and uh, Colombo and St. Thomas College, the combined team, and Honor Mobiles from Singer, Westy College, Colombo, and 3DH Energy Solutions, probably with at St. Joseph College, Colombo. All hats off. Thank you very much, gentlemen, for coming forward and uh, making this uh, a very good success. You need the green box to make any tournament successful. On top of it, the sponsors as well as the organizers have done a fantastic job bringing five teams down from Colombo six teams seven teams to be precise combined team from Royal Thomia accommodating them providing all the facilities to come up and play for this tournament and at the same time six teams from Candy a monumental task and what a successful story and as a result we are witnessing a grand final DS versus Vidyartha, two best teams, like I mentioned, right at the beginning of this final. Now Vidyartha moving forward, long ball being given to the center four. He is moving swiftly for the first time. Vidyartha feeling a little bit of pressure. Scrum half, very nippy one throw. Vidyartha moving forward, trying to create an opportunity, goes to the left and it looks like, oh, not ideal, right at the beginning of the first half in this grand final, a yellow card being given, DS down to six, Vidyartha. Cannot ask for a better opportunity. Oh, missed tackles are loving Vidyartha to go over for the try number one and immediately after the yellow card being handed over Vidyartha take the opportunity and pounds on it five points to nil conversion should be an easy one SWNI is starting to wonder whether there was a deliberate knock-on prior to that. In any case, dear Serenayaka now trailing behind. There wasn't too many games right throughout the tournament. DS starting off in, on the back foot. 
I think the try is converted. Yes, seven points to nil. Just about three minutes gone. Minute on the clock remaining for DS to get back the original number, which is seven players. Big number 12 gives the ball out. Basically thunders into the tacklers and earning a penalty for not releasing. Quick tap taken immediately not finding too many meters and play on says the ref looks like ref giving out 10 more meters dsn and Ica not backing off dsn and Ica in comparison to all their games committing mistakes in the finals something they cannot afford to do Now with the Arthur. Oh, nice inside ball. This should be another try. It is. Number four. This man had a fabulous, fabulous tournament. At the base of the scrum. It's no, uh, Sorry, what, what's the name? Isru Lakshan. Yeah, because with that, he's stepping up in the correct, at the correct time. And uh, it seems that uh, uh, D.A. Saranaka, OB is a bit finding it uh, lost in the game because there's some more time to come for them to dominate. But two tries already, two goals already. They're missing tackles, they're not keeping ball in hand. But on the other hand, Vidyata are punishing them on that by scoring two goals. In comparison to the all the other games that he has played, he is just waiting till the, the attackers come onto them rather than moving forward and attacking with their tackles there you go take on the back foot never the right thing they've been made to work all the defensive work for five minutes basically or quite possibly another opportunity being created but this time Luckily for Vidya, luckily for DS and I go rather. Play was holding on on the ground and DS gets a chance if they takes it to score their first try. As you can see, body language from Vidya the college OB. It's pretty good. They got a long way to go, but there you go, number three, speeding on his way up. All oh, fabulous ball inside, number 10, breaks through. Goes under the post, just we predicted, DS coming back strong. Absolutely good to get a score on with the player missing and to come back with that's the champion team anyway. I'll tell you the second half is going to be hectic. Very close second half is in prospect. High octane sevens rugby on offer in store. Score line seven points to fourteen in favor of Vidyartha as we're looking at the highlights. Here we go, the first try for Vidyartha. Lovely show and go. They struck once more immediately after that. Through their number four, Scrum Half, who had a fantastic tournament so far. And in this all important final, DS finally 
just before the half time strikes it and narrow the gap, da gap down to just seven points conversion is good seven points to 14 in favor of Vidyartha it ends as we come back with second half action live in a moment Ape shaktiya obe rakavarnayai api orient rakshana samagama kicking things start for the second half and immediately gathers the ball and goes over oh Vidyartha being vigilant DS Naga got caught off guard got caught napping whichever way you may call it fantastic restart gets it high and this man If I'm not mistaken, both the tries scored by this man, DS, still trying to pump themselves up and coming back into this game, it will be very, very tough. 19 points to 7. I was just thinking of the uh, replay on that how cool it was, such a soft try, a good kickoff, a restart can make a lot of teams get them off guard. As you see with that again, stolen it. Mahanama is not, uh, sorry, DS is not playing their unusual game. There is no aggression at all. As we see, uh, with the other OB is, is on a scale, on a winning scale, moving the ball, taking all the numbers in and getting their passes right. The mistake DS made was they are not dictating terms they let. With that, the dictating terms on them and found themselves trailing behind by 19 points to 7. It will be very, very tough for them. There you go, untidy in the ruck. With that, the opportunistic gathers the ball moving forward. They have the physical presence, so it's the skills, this man. Not the speediest guy on the park. Looks like try number four is coming up for Vidyartha. I think they pretty much wrapped their hands around the trophy. Magnificent looking one. Lions Rugby Sevens 2023. Vidyartha doing themselves proud, doing candy proud. Yeah, 24 points to 17 with seven. Seven minutes and seven and a half minutes gone on the clock. We got another three and a half minutes. Sorry, two and a half minutes. My mathematics is not so good. I'm trying to get two and a half minutes on the clock. And with the other leading by 24 points to seven, that's a, that's a quite a good huge lead they have. And with that, the Obi is leading over DS and Naga. Obi DS and Naga had had a very good tournament up to so far. Some or other, they have faltered in the finals. Because we expected a very close final, but not to be. Vidyartha brought out their best game, and looks like Vidyartha looks the fresh and stronger side in the finals. We mentioned about power output management. Vidyartha, I think they've done a fantastic job. Number nine trying to sneak through, couldn't find a way. It'll be very, very tough to score three tries back to back. So, for Vidyartha, it's just about maintaining their discipline and keep up the momentum. And I think that one went forward from Vidyartha hands. Is it? Yeah, I thought so, but referee thinks the other way around. I thought the ball came out from him, his movement. Anyway, Vidyartha kicks it on and chasing and looks like no player behind. Oh, really? Number four. Nippy scrum off goes over for one more try. All but one-sided final. 
Dear Sinanayaka, outstanding team prior to the finals. Looks like all their chips were down, off colored, and empty tanks, empty minds. Yeah, with another half, another half a minute to go, and 29 points with the conversion to come, it might be 31 7. It's all done and dusted. With that, the OB are uh, surely are uh, the crowning champions for the inaugural uh, Alliance Rugby Sevens 2023. It's a fantastic evening. Of, I really enjoyed my uh, day of rugby. I thought it's gonna, going to be so much enjoyable, but it was so much. Didn't feel the time, the day, uh, day going by. Uh, thank you very much to all the players who contributed a lot and coming in, they may have had a lot of other things to do, a commitment, as we see with the other kickstarts, their campaign or virtually ending their campaign on a very high note. With Dartha, it's going to be just a formality, kicks it out. And unique format, unique tournament. With Dartha, the champions, proud moment. With Dartha, doing fantastically well in local schools rugby scene and dominating their dominating presence in the OB rugby organized and conducted for the first time in the history if I'm not mistaken I don't know if, if some OB unit organized a tournament of this nature without Rajarata Tiles Millennial Higher Education and Visa Consultants Your key to a global future Unlock your potential and study at your dream university with our expert guidance Our experienced team is here to make your educational dreams a reality Don't wait Take the first step towards a world-class education today Millennial Higher Education and Visa Consultants Your future Our commitment You are secured with our strength. Orient Insurance Limited. Hite nidahase rata yanna air ticket ek ganna damma katha karanna. Candy Travels and Leisure.
the crunch in every bite. Mmm, Vairaha Wow Beef. NSPN Harita Sarsavia Obi Balapur to Jai Kanwana Unlock your potential at the Candy Innovation Center, the creative hub of NIBM. Explore your passion for design, computer science, artificial intelligence, data science, psychology, counseling, and language. Our cutting-edge programs empower students to shape the future with innovation and creativity. Join us to harness the knowledge and skills needed for an exciting career in these dynamic fields. Your journey to success begins here at Candy Innovation Center, where your dreams are transformed into reality. Call 0701981000 today. Ape Shaktiya Obi Rakavarne, Api Orient Traction Samagama. Ape Shaktiya Obey Rakavarnei, Api Orient Traction Samagama. Rajarata Tiles The crunch in every bite. Mmm, Vairaha Wow B.
Millennial Higher Education and the Consultants. Your key to a global future. Unlock your potential and study at your dream university with our expert guidance. Our experienced team is here to make your educational dreams a reality. Don't wait. Take the first step towards a world-class education today. Millennial Higher Education and Visa Consultants. Your future. Our commitment. You are secured with our strength. Orient Insurance Limited. Hithe nitha hase rathayan ea ticket tek ganna dhamma khata karan. Candy Travels and Leisure. Unlock your potential at the Candy Innovation Center, the creative hub of NIBM. Explore your passion for design, computer science, artificial intelligence, data science, psychology, counseling, and language. Our cutting-edge programs empower students to shape the future with innovation and creativity. Join us to harness the knowledge and skills needed for an exciting career in these dynamic fields. Your journey to success begins here at Candy Innovation Center, where your dreams are transformed into reality. Call 0701981000 today. Ape shaktiya obi rakavarnei api orient traction samagama. Millennial Higher Education and Visa Consultants. 
your key to a global future. Unlock your potential and study at your dream university with our expert guidance. Our experienced team is here to make your educational dreams a reality. Don't wait. Take the first step towards a world-class education today. Millennial Higher Education and Visa Consultants. Your future. Our commitment. You are secured with our strength. Orient Insurance Limited. Unlock your potential at the Candy Innovation Center, the creative hub of NIBM. Explore your passion for design, computer science, artificial intelligence, data science, psychology, counseling, and language. Our cutting-edge programs empower students to shape the future with innovation and creativity. Join us to harness the knowledge and skills needed for an exciting career in these dynamic fields. Your journey to success begins here at Candy Innovation Center, where your dreams are transformed into reality. Call 0701981000 today. Well, it's our the time has come uh, for the presentation ceremony of uh, Lions Rugby Sevens 2023, the inaugural edition, and uh, what a tournament it was. Uh, a day full of fun where most of uh, the older boys came out in the livery of their alma maters, beloved alma maters, and made sure that they had an enjoyable day throughout the day today. Now, uh, I'll be failing in my duties if I don't thank some very, very important people who made this uh, day and made this tournament possible. Trinity College Principal, Reverend Father Arulia Jayasu, Chaplain of Trinity College, Vice Principal, Co-Vice Principals, Director of Sports and Prefect of Games of Trinity College, Minister of Sports, uh, Minister Roshan Rana Singh, Minister Amunugama and also his uh, rep representative, Mr. Noah Nilangaratna, who is gracing us here as well. Minister Harin Fernando, uh, the police, uh, local authorities and Bogambara uh, ground staff. Thank you very much for a big thank you to all the students who uh, partnered with us. Without, without you, this would not have been possible. The participating school teams uh, and all boys associations and leagues, you guys were absolutely brilliant. Thank you for coming out. Uh, loved having you guys. Loved seeing some of uh, some of you who I thought never thought play contact rugby play contact rugby again. Candy Sports Club and CRNFC guys, that was uh, brilliant to see you back on field again. All students at, at Trinity College, all boys of uh, Trinity College 99 and uh, Trinity College uh, 99 batchmates local and overseas. Thank you so much. Without you guys, this event will not have been possible. Can we please put our hands together for all of these uh, people who worked really tirelessly behind the scenes to make sure that uh, today happened. Well, without further ado, let's uh, quickly get introduced to the presentation party. Mr. Krishan Tanantori Das, Vice Principal, Trinity College. Mr. Anandamara Singh, Co-Vice Principal, Trinity College. Then we have uh, Mr. Samir Jayasuriya, President, ECK Class of 99. Mr. Kavindu Jayasena, Tournament Director, so as I 
Uh, tell your names, uh, gentlemen, if you can uh, make your way to the podium, please. Yes, sir, thank you. Mr. Ramesh Talwatha, Director of Marketing, Millennial Higher Education and Visa Consultants. Mr. Taranga Darshan, D. Silva, Area Sales Manager, Bairaha. Mr. Dinendra Dasanayaka, Co owner, Managing Director, 163 Private Limited. Mr. Ms. Lakshana Kara, Consultant Lecturer, Candy Innovation Centre. Mr. Ashara Abhavardhan, Assistant Manager, Marketing Enrollment, Slit Candy. Mr. Harshan, Appear Singer, Managing Director, Next Gen. Mr. Ramesh Raja, Manager, Ticketing and Reservations, uh, Candy Travel Leisure. Mr. Tanu Delaksita, Manager, Business Developments, Samson Rajaraja Tiles. Mr. Shamala Disanayaka, Senior Operations Manager, Honor Mobiles from Singer. Professor Bharata Dodankoto, Head of Academic Quality Assurance, NSPM Green University. Ms. Ishika Galagoda, Human Resources, Suez Environment Hospitals. Mr. Dimut Bandara, Director, Elite Ventures. And also Mr. Shankar Dushanta, Senior Business Development Manager. Now that uh, we have everybody on stage, I don't know whether we will be able to hold all of them for very long. So let's rush through this. Uh, first of all, we will be presenting tokens of appreciation uh, to the match officials. Uh, to do that, can I have Mr. Kavind Jayaseda, tournament director, to come forward, please. Uh, let's uh, all put our hands together for the match officials uh, who officiated uh, today and uh, did a fab job. Mr. Kavi Desire Sena, if you can uh, give away the tokens of appreciation, please.
us to receive the trophy that will be good
this award uh, and uh, to give away the cup runners of medals and the award uh, let me now invite Mr. Samir Jayasurya Mr. Samir Jayasurya please come in front uh, and after a very exciting tournament uh, at the inaugural Lions Rugby Sevens the runners up of uh, the tournament DSN Anaika College let's uh, all put our hands together Yes, can we have all of you uh, to qu quickly come and uh, receive your medals, please? Well, it will uh, not be a complete uh, seventh rugby tournament in Candy if there was no rain, so do get uh, wet a little as well. The uh, runners-up crash price of 50,000 rupees will also be awarded by Mr. Samir Jayasurya who will hand over the 50,000 rupees cash price uh, to the runners-up. And now, without further ado, Captain, uh, can you receive your cash check? for the runners up trophy and now without further ado uh, to give away the winners medals and uh, the inaugural Lions Rugby Sevens trophy uh, it's my pleasure in inviting Mr. Krishan Dhanantul Nidasa Vice Principal of Trinity College Candy after a thrilling win the seventh architects of uh, the hill country the winners of uh, lions sevens with that the college please come to the podium uh, to receive your medals There you go, the winner, Radisha Senevirate, receiving it for Vidyat College. And Mr. Antony Das will also hand over the cash prize of 100,000 to uh, Vidyat College, the winners of the inaugural Lions Rugby Sevens. Well, uh, with those showers of blessings, uh, we come to the end of. Uh, Lions Rugby Sevens inaugural edition. It has been an absolute pleasure bringing you uh, this edition, and we really do hope we can come bigger and better come next year. <laughs>